Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming, I'm HBFT and we are back again with Battletech Advanced 3062 version 17.4.1. That's right, we are back. Well, is this still point one? I think it's point one. <laughs> We're on the April Fool's update where Stefana Mars has invaded. There is a giant mobile fortress now and there's a lot going on at the moment. So before it disappears, we are hoping to make a little bit of a presence and get ourselves into the fight. Excuse me. So, thank you so much, Deaths. Oh my goodness. You know, I was so excited at all the flashy shiny that I ended up getting all tongue tied. <laughs> thank you so much for the redemption, Deaths. Of the Nor Helmet. 2.0. Thank you so much, yeah. I won't ever learn this command by heart. That's okay. That's okay. That's why we've got the chat bot. Yeah. Hey, crossbow. Good to see you. Welcome. Since we're on summertime now too, you're back for me on the regular 9 PM. Excellent. High five. Yeah. Excuse me. So earlier today. Oh my. I've never gotten so water eyed before. It's kind of crazy. So I've had a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> Maybe I should be drinking more water. That's the lesson. So here we are on Tau Seti. We've done one mission in a flare up against the Rim World Republic, and we are here in this four and a half skull. It started out with a two to 51 point fight, and right now we're sitting at 10 to 49. So this system gained seven back in its favor after we won, and they lost two. So it's still quite a fight ahead of us, and quite frankly, from what it seems, these flare-ups are only going to last a certain period of time. So we kind of chose Tau Seti as our anchor to plant ourselves into. So let's see what we're working with here. Because after all, we had refit a lot of our mechs with beacons and things like that. So I've actually tried to toss some of our old stuff back in for extra speed and the like. Yeah? <clears throat> I drink a lot of coffee, but not too strong. So in practice, the caffeine intake isn't too big. Well... The bunny man goes straight. <laughs> Not all the time, but today I went straight. So it's straight black today. So as you can see right now, our bun dome or bun rod are going to come back online in one day right behind my face. So maybe you can't see the whole thing, but that means we got rid of the extra four tons it was carrying and replaced it with either more cooling or more speed for sprinting. So it should be a little more effective and a little more mobile. So overall, it should be pretty good. I'm just thinking if we advance it, we are going to get that contract. We do have to go in and we do have to take whatever's there because after all, if we do not, it's very possible this system will fall and we won't have another chance to bring it back. So we're just kind of pushing on it. Yeah. How'd the effort go yesterday? Started falling asleep, went to sleep after a point. Well, uh, well, actually, let's get this escort started and then I'll tell you a little more about it. Thank you for asking. Yeah. We'll go over to 315. It's a potential 2 million C bill payout. That's kind of insane. And I am noticing a lot, all of these seem to happen in an urban environment. You tried the behemoth again. So we tried it once blind. Uh, well, actually, just one moment. I'm totally, I will totally answer that. Let me just make sure that, yep. Okay, so this is all clear. Uh, in an urban environment, let's go in and start with our C3 master. We'll go in and grab our Deus bunny. We'll get HP into that. And we'll just kind of like filter this on in. Uh, probably with collateral damage, we'll kind of try to think maybe not the paladin this time around. Uh, we got the sandpaper bun that's always excellent to have and he's fantastic in it uh we've got our bun punchy that's actually pretty excellent it'll be kind of interesting to see if we actually close to melee i don't know if that's going to happen but it'll be kind of nice if it if we do we got our big bone bun we'll get tank care there uh we got our bunny rain let's go ahead and get serini or yeah serini into that and then after that if we can get our thunder bun with amul That'll avoid any collateral damage, hopefully. Uh, we've got our Daka bun. We got the Streaky bun. I think the Streaky bun could be kind of cool. We'll also test out our bun dome again because it has been refit. So we'll get our, I guess, Dex. Well, actually, 
we could use some of the faster ones, right? So we've got War Bun Bun, we've got Bun Guest, and then we've got our, we'll bring our HBC special. And on top of that, we'll also bring the Bun Bun Cake because it's just that excellent, right? So we'll get that in. That's going to be Death. That's going to be Cyber. That's going to be for the Bun Rodder. It's going to be War Bun Bun. Uh, we got the Bun Dome. That's going to be Gigan. Uh, for the streaky bun that was dead but this time around we'll go with uh superior here and then brick if he needs to get in on the charge not really going to help him too much in this regard but he'll still have a little bit of evasion so maybe actually we'll swamp that around i doubt he's going to be smacking people get superior for that light foot and five skull difficulty escort in an urban environment at least we're a little bit faster for our set and will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock Five skull difficulty escort in an urban environment against the rim world republic yeah and now i will catch up you saw the blind run and the result yes you did that's a lot of juggernauts and marauder list hey bloody welcome 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 bunnies if i'm sure you're fully aware of bloody but definitely definitely one of the nicest guys out there and the main modder for bta he just released a huge bomb of an update so definitely definitely worth your time so to fill you in now that we've just kind of started the load on Akitas, you were asking about our runs yesterday uh the very first one absolutely catastrophic but hilarious and amazing so we got in we didn't even get to see the mobile fortress and turn two wham bam splat we got hit with that barracuda you saw that the second time around was more of an information gathering session so we kind of brought in our cc we charged forth i wouldn't say valiantly but we charged forth maybe pretty straightforward we actually got to see the um the mobile fortress but then after watching bloody doves stream i realized oh that's not what it's supposed to look like <laughs> which by the way now i know what it's supposed to look like and i think it looks fantastic what a job and now that i know what it's actually modeled after it really looks like it so that's kind of crazy and i love all the moving parts all the doodads i think mecha is it mecha raptor mecha frost frost raptor it did a fantastic job i'm so sorry i know i got your name wrong <laughs> And overall, we gained a lot of information. So one of the things that I noticed is that our bar guest actually was able to get to the very outside of the initial Barracuda blast radius, and it survived with 35 armor on the back. And so we were kind of just spitballing and I was just curious, I guess if I had to do it again, the next step would be to just try and get out of that initial Barracuda blast and then see what happens if we eliminate the initial escort granted the additional mechs and v's and well no, v's and VTOLs still keep coming online but i'm just curious how they will behave in that kind of setup and environment how the the main rattler will invest itself to us so i actually came up with a list and i actually created it i haven't tested it and it's currently on another save right now so <laughs> i have it here i'd be more than happy to check it out together but uh yeah i'm just i'm stoked that it's there to check out yeah hello lummox good to see you welcome frost raptor thank you bloody thank you so much current theory about the rattler is if you can survive the first wave you might have a ch well i'm not saying that what i set up will have a chance but it'll be bloody entertaining oh see what i did there yeah check hb's youtube short for your brand new oh that's right that's right so i put out a short yesterday with lummox on it you you probably have seen it before and we also released a uh, a recap of the black widow fight uh that happened last stream or well, last thursday and that has the dfa on it onto the dragoon battle armor so if you're joining us right now we're in a five skull difficulty escort against the rim world republic i want to see what stefano mars is going to bring and quite frankly when it comes to escorts you can get a lot of mechs and a lot of waves if you are so lucky so here we are in an urban environment on tau seti we have friendly units about to come under fire Move to their position and provide support. Get them to safety. Keep them intact and get out of there when it's done. All right. So, oh my God, they're right on top of us already. Holy crap. Hey, the wig. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So right now we have refit the mechs that we had from yesterday to remove all of the turret beacon stuff and all of that. And there is still some of that. Looks like we've got a longbow 7Q right from the get go. Kind of interesting. It'll be cool to see if our melee is working today. And then, because we brought the Bun Punchy, not our Kiso, we've got the Banshee. Oh, great. So they've got a little melee counter punch. We've got a Pillager. Ooh, the double Gauss Rifle Pillager, the infamous. They almost looks like America, just represented right here in the RWR. We got a little bit. I only see the three at the moment. Is that right? 
so we do there are four there's one right next to us a dragoon oh hello with double death ray okay so it's the first time that we've actually seen the any of the four super weapons in the wild so this is pretty exciting you can see wow i am razzle dazzled right now this looks almost like a super super far scaled out like 50s diner floor and this guy is bringing all of the jazz it's hard to see him it's kind of blinding me right now yeah the death ray dragoon that thing is terrifying i mean i don't even know what it does it's double double energy hard point right so maybe we can hit it maybe we can punch it maybe we'll hold he can go on four earliest of them is four i believe so we're gonna go in and mobilize on five and we'll see who is available to say hello yeah we can see that lamox lamox is available on two but dead on the other hand is available right the heck now yeah he spawned in a silly spot so he's probably bone i sure hope that's the case but you never know this is stefan amaris and i've heard many things about how he's done nothing wrong at all so let's go on in on hopefully we can sweep this guy we're not using our hooks so this should connect in theory if we are lucky there's a huge hit right there on 40 and then the stack from death with five evasion with that waypoint movement and there we go we got a beautiful breach right here so oh, gentle it wasn't it gentle lummox and hey chappy good to see you yes lummox was super gentle in that setup right there yeah i think the melee pauses are fixed for it oh that's great well i'm maybe we'll try out let's go ahead and try out the panzer bun on the next one because that's the one that we had trouble with i i don't think we had any trouble with the kicks or the punches but the something i think panzer bun mentioned something about the lifting hooks on it so we'll see we'll see if we we're able to work it i bet it's just fine right we got our bun dome we'll go in and power up our ams like so and maybe just maybe there's a charge i mean we might as well step into him we'll just pull away just a little bit on two and then we'll just dash on it Ooh, hello or maybe it's a little bit too close oh no 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 maybe it's just one yeah it just might be one so we come on in there's the swift kick here for three yeah it's not ready just yet still doing some testing gonna test it further tonight but i'm hopeful well i believe i believe you work so fast and you are very thorough so thank you so much man i mean right now we're just working with what we got but tell you what we just saw right here on the ground in front of us two death rays for the very first time which is very very exciting which we means which means if we are so lucky we might be able to see what it even does without having to ally ourselves with darkness right so we're actually just going to pull away we're going to go on four and then maybe dabble on in and maybe hit him with any of the hbc specials clan small pulses straight to the dome yeah you want ams get it here yeah <laughs> there we go I forgot to just for kicks it but apparently we dinged him just a little bit that's all it takes he's bleeding out in four we got the bun rotter he doesn't really need it just for kicks it but apparently we'll just walk it on back we only have three which is a little bit dicey against rwr going and overload that sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head triple clanny rppc let's go for the dome and beautiful all right fantastic that guy is now out which means in theory if we are so lucky we've been gentle enough yes it looks like we've been gentle enough that's fantastic here comes that banshee a bit of a powerhouse in melee but he didn't push too hard so lucky us and instead wait isn't that his ally <laughs> major armor loss. that guy was maybe a little bit too excited you know what we're gonna make sure that we learn from him and we're gonna restrain ourselves and our aggression just a little bit so that maybe we don't do the same thing that that guy did because that is just that would be unfortunate if let's say the bunnies might do something like that so we're just gonna go ahead and sprint on forward uh how lucky we are right here we go maybe we'll kind of give this guy a little bit of a long tap just to say hey we see you i acknowledge your presence but it doesn't mean that we have to fear you right what if we just zoom right on by kind of do a bit of a 360 here this is the power of the bar guest and all the quads come come on in yeah he straight shot his ally double ping indeed and here we go a little bit of a breaching shot there we go nice fantastic he's got 50 right here so we got a nice little breach there on the left torso this guy gets to move on three yeah all right bunny let's get going that's right vision good to see you welcome 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 hopefully having a lovely lovely tuesday yeah Longbow's around. He's gone all the... All right. 
So one thing, one thing that I've never seen happen outside of the Rattler engagement is us running out of AMS ammunition. We ran out of 1100 rounds on the very first turn oh with our Bun Dome. Well, I actually have a different version of it. I got the Disco Laser AMS Bun Dome on my other save that I'm dying to try out. So it should be pretty good, yeah. Yeah, we ran out of 1,100 AMS ammunition. There were a lot of rhinos on the field, and let me tell you, they've got 40 LRMs or more each, and that was quite a sight for sure. All right, so we popped off that side. We got Serene. He's got the Bunny Rain, a beautiful follow-up right here. He's got that Artemis Clan LRM 90. He's going to be able to send that in with the increased clustering. Hopefully, we're going to go ahead and burrow through, maybe get a little bit of a breach, maybe get a little something else. Do not worry about the stability damage. We don't even need it. We're just going to drill right on through. It's a different game today. So we're just going to go and walk in. We're going for damage this time. Breach in the follow-up. Here we go. We're going to send four Thunderbolt 10s at this guy. Ping one, ping two, ping three, ping four. We're close, close, close. Yeah. As long as we had the AMS going, it was Iron Dome. That's right. It was shutting down 40 out of 40. 50 out of 50. 80 out of 80 on that heavy LRM carry. You got the Pillager coming inbound. Double Gauss. Here it comes. And oh, he actually connects on the Thunderbun EX. That's probably the last time that he's going to have the opportunity to do so because after all, the bunnies are very protective. We've got Lummox. He isn't really able to get into position to strike immediately. But if we are so lucky, we'll go in and sprint all the way over, give ourselves a line such that we're not accidentally going to hit our ally unlike this guy's former buddy. And we'll give him a nice clan LRM 60 just like that. Stack it with Apollo down to 55 we're just grinding it out 371 yeah you love the mix darn straight we all love these mix in fact it's like like i said the other day it's like choosing between your children it's very difficult very very difficult Look indeed we're gonna go ahead and hope to i'm a little scared i'm a little bit scared about sending all of this hag 80 right here with the other bunnies on the other side so i'm just gonna hope that we get lucky and hit this pillager with some of the plasma cannon hag 80 we'll just stack that up and hope we don't get any collateral damage just think think we're close enough we don't have to worry about it yet still to fully run out is kind of nuts never seen someone run out of that much ams at well we did have 12 systems all overloaded at the same time but uh we've <laughs> which might be a little bit much maybe we can tune it down just a touch but there we go there we go we don't even need that spilly damage come on in with a streaky bun after all he does have clan streak srm 48 that's 37 right here we're gonna tuck on in and i don't think we've got to worry about our buddy being in the way this time we still have it's gonna be the i guess the last guy for the turn so we might as well send it to him probably more than enough yeah there we go excellent so that guy's down man i'm really happy rwr paint scheme so it looks like America. <laughs> when I saw it, I thought, oh my God, it's like the metallic version of America. It is so cool. It's so freaking cool. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and jet around, maybe give this guy a little bit of love to the rear. Yeah. Tune it down so I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> oh man. Well, you know. When I say tune it down, I actually mean maybe we'll just use something enemy down. Maybe we'll use something with fewer hard points so that the bunny man doesn't have to, you know maybe dump out all of that ammunition all at once right well we got our bun bun cake he's in a good spot he's just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of drive-by as he goes after the rwr's friends just a little bit we'll go ahead and soften up the rear right here stack that yeah there it is and he's a little bit softer today we got war bun bun we're on the push i don't know if we're gonna be able to get the line immediately but oh it did see a little bit there but we will get in with a bun dome. We actually have the MAC, MA, the mask back now, which means we're going to be able to keep up with the rest of the bunnies and provide the exact coverage that we're looking for. A little bit of a ding right here. Sensor impairment. Oh, crap. Well, you know that avoid collateral damage? <laughs> we may have missed a little bit. So that means we don't have to worry about collateral damage anymore. We can just shoot at anybody, right? Uh, this is just a moment of freedom this is our time to basically say you know what we don't need that objective the objectives are just optional after all right well that one is at least well we got our bun guest uh we're gonna zoom it on by and give him a little bit of an electronic impairment as we do the same thing that deaths is this is the bun guest with a 320 rated cord kind of gives a little bit of a ping yeah 
You are not speaking my language at the moment. Yes, by going down in hard points. I did vaguely consider putting the Rattler on an urban map just to watch the artillery completely. Oh my gosh. Well, I would say that that is probably an excellent idea. Although I would wonder if for that long, if my computer would die or not. So I'm curious. So bloody, I saw on the patch notes that there's a seven penalty on the DFA. <laughs> And I'm curious how it's going to go after the hotfix. Don't know if it's changed. So we're going to check, right? We're coming in from on high in three, two, and one. Get up, Don Sun. So we hit him a little bit for like a little bit. And he's got... Well, he took some stability damage. It feels different, though. But at least we hit him, right? At least we hit him. Let's go ahead and hold. We got Serenian with a Bunny Rain, at least since he's unstable. Although he's not completely unsteady. We'll hit him with the Clan LRM 90s at two and a half bar. He's so 50s. That's Assault Armor. Serious. And he's at two and a half bar. We got Amul with a Thunder Bun. We'll hit him with the four Thunderbolt 10. One, see, we got a breach. Got three breaches at two and a half bar. I'm pretty sure he's going to come in and strike. He can't use the Gauss rifles at least on the... Oh, is he going in the building? Oh, no, he's just pulling away, getting a little bit of distance. He pings us pretty hard there. Tickles our leg a little bit. Uh, this is fine. And clears the building for us. I love the fact that he gave us a little bit of a line of a line of sight advantage. So we're just going to cross on over, make sure we don't accidentally hit our guys. And we're going to go in and send a full 60. And that should be enough to get those internal crits, yeah? There we go. Beautiful. So that secures our location. We kind of take a bit of a rest. We'll regroup, regather our senses. We've got to see we got our convoy rally point for our escort. So we're just going to go ahead and move on up rest any recoil penalties anything like that make sure that we've got a moment just to recover as the bunnies get on forward get cooled off remove stability damage things like that it's a little bit of a breather yeah aye, aye. and we've got our streaky bun here Double time. Oh, the <laughs> i think someone linked the clip to bd yeah we we definitely we definitely went at it i did not think that it would actually work <laughs> But we were very lucky. Let's put it that way. We were very, very lucky. It could have been uh, less than successful, right? How's it going? I, did, I, I didn't know it was possible either. Location. We have surmised that it might occur when you target for DFA and you tab targets and then tab, it becomes an option. That's at least what one of the other bunnies had happened to him. So as far as the sourcing of information i think it might be something like that yeah Location hb in another city i see aiming for civil well i wouldn't say aiming for civilians i would say maybe they haven't fully evacuated when they should have right <laughs> we had a bowl yes we did we had a poll that's right it was um copy that it was an egalitarian decision let's put it Where that way yeah it's an amazing to i'm glad to hear it i'm glad to hear it vision sorry i missed you there for a moment yeah I think it's likely unintended in the consequence of doing tab targeting. I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure because I don't normally see it even as an option. It was just something that I was tabbing because my computer was already going for hours. And so then at that point, it was like I didn't want to manually click. So I just tabbed to make sure that I had a target to select that was valid. And it just selected it for me. So, <laughs> so that was new to me. I've never had that happen. Yeah. Good. It looks like you've secured the area around the convoy's position. They're ready to make their way toward the extraction point now. Keep them alive. Keep in mind that the convoy will try to stay near you for protection. Continue advancing to get them to the extraction point. All right, so on eight, we've got our HBC special. Ooh, hello. So we can actually see them. We've got another Dragoon out here. I think it's interesting that we've got AEM. It's like the car parts manufacturer out here. We've got all these cool running mechs for all of that energy. We got the Victor standard with the AC-20 right on our destination. We've got a 90-tonner. Maybe we've got another Highlander 732 and got a 65-tonner out there. 
so a lance between us and victory fortunately we've got a bunch of speedy assault is speedy ish assault yeah aem is amaris and oh really so they're kind of like the Better. staple decor or something along those lines that's a little scary almost like the maybe the Lyran regulars or something like that i don't know too much about the lore yeah i honestly believe none of us have ever had this happening before it was probably a genuine first time i've only heard about another bunny having it i think it was green green team i think i think he might have and he mentioned something about tab targeting as well so my best guess is that might be kind of a, the reason for it so honestly it, it was totally fine it was fun i'm glad it worked i'm glad we didn't destroy panzer bun and i'm it was an opportunity that we had to take, yeah? All right, got our Bun Rotter. We actually have the resolve this time, despite the evasion. This is a little bit rough. So we're going to go in and just try and target. Maybe instead, well, we can try it on the Victor, but... Okay, so we've seen this before. We saw this yesterday. Do you see this? 69.7%. So I'm curious if that has to do with the 8 evasion. <laughs> because whenever I do this, it's 13.7. The Bunnies mentioned this before, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's what you saw. So here's the thing. Right afterwards, when we fought the RWR last night, I moused over just to check, and it was 13.7% max. But these guys just dropped. They've got eight evasion. They've got spawn protection. I don't know if that's maybe showing... Maybe that's the reason why. Because the last time that we got it was in our first blind engagement against the Rattler, and we were targeting the spawned lance behind us and they were still active in their spawn of spawn protection so i don't know if maybe that contributes to it yeah yeah we have we had 13.7 on the regular and the bunnies mentioned this and i didn't really see it yeah have a huge called shot but yeah i don't know if it matters but we can see if we actually are going to hit this guy sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head Hard of the victor required. but none of them hit so either we really got xcom or it's just a display issue i don't really know yeah I was believing I was hallucinating. Hey, Commander. we we call it if we see it, right? And the bunnies mentioned it, so we're looking. That's all. That's all. Thank you so much. This guy's at six. We did hit him before, yeah? Hey, Antonite is good to see you. Welcome. HB pause. Can you get me a log? Uh, sure, sure. How do I get you a log? So if I, if I don't touch it, right? You want to check the shot? Yes, absolutely. I will help to the best of my ability. I know in vanilla Marauder. Yes. The Marauder back in OG, like in Heavy Metal, that's quite something, yeah? Yes. If you had... It was like the King just because it was able to get the headshots. I mean, I have noticed that War Bun Bun does a fantastic job, but it doesn't always hit those shots, yeah? I'll tab out, go to Mods, Mod Tech, and get the Battletech Clean Log from the folder. Throw it. Yes, I will absolutely do that. Let me make sure that I'm in... I think I go here, settings, we go video, we go windowed mode, so we can actually grab it. And let me pull this back for a second here. Uh, so you said, alt tab out, go to mods, go to dot mod tech, get the battle tech cleaned log. There's a cleaned log and a cleaned text. I'm thinking one is engaged currently, so I'm just gonna grab all of them. There we go, so we got three. And then I will go over to Discord and make sure that I select it there. Just kind of doing a little bit of IT talking it through. <laughs> let's go. Let's go ahead and drop it in here. So we'll, I'm going to send you three files. They're kind of small, but I think it's because it's currently in progress. If that makes any sense, yeah. Bro, meant you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And let me know if you need something else. I'll keep that folder open. Okay. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring this on back. We are already, although I, I will put this back to full screen for just a moment, yeah? Yeah, no worries, no worries. Back to the action. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and helping us out. So, I'm honestly, I'm okay if we have that kind of headshot chance. I just want to say that. So, it's not like we have to Should change it or anything. <laughs> I mean, I didn't actually hit the head there, but it, it would be great, yeah? Bloody Doves is always in fast response mode. What can I He's, do for you? incredible incredible we are close oh wow i love the fact we can get this close we can hit this guy after all we do have the clan small pulses we do get to ignore some of that evasion so sometimes you got to just for kicks hit straight to the head king out hope we ding him dinged him a little bit perfect excellent so we're gonna come around we got our var oh yes i forgot we've got the darius v's we'll hold right here 
and then I think our convoy is fully on five now. So hopefully some of the initial reinforcements here to intercept us are going to be in a position where they're actually going to give up their spawn protection so we can engage them more effectively. Yeah, you've just seen 89 on that little guy. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. So you saw it when they still had spawn protection, right? So we should try it when they've lost it. So this exterminator right here lost his spawn protection. He just gave it up. He just moved, right? So it's a perfect time. A lot of our bunnies have the capability of shooting and targeting a location. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. This is kind of what we do. We force science it. Or I mean, it's one of the things that we do. We usually for shenanigans it, but in this case, we're going to force science it, right? <laughs> it's for the good of the community, I say. Oh, hello. He just gave up his spawn protection. That means the victor is a valid target for science, right? Right, bunnies? We've got to help out the community. We got Superior Daisy with a bun guest. Got the media mass driver. Actually, we don't have the capability of shooting this to the to the head, but we will definitely shoot what we got. Yeah. The event in question yesterday was on War Bun Bun. That is true. But this time you said you saw 89% and it was on uh, site. Who, who's driving? I think it was um, Dex, right? Dex just drove. Was he driving it? HBC special? Some. Well, and we'll just ping this guy. Locked on. There we go. Beautiful. That's excellent. He still has his AC-20. He's still a big guy. And we will hold right here. So we're bringing it down to three. Yeah? Didn't recognize who it was. It is... Uh, Cyber Gizmo, actually. Cyber Gizmo. Yeah. So the Dragoon moved. So he's now a valid target. Now, mind you, both of those headshots, one was targeted at the Dragoon. And Dex said he saw 89%, right? And then we all saw targeting the victor when it had the spawn protection it had 69 percent right uh, wait so is, is there anyone else who can do it is we got the bunny smart? rain we got the thunder bun i think serena hey. should be able to so we'll get on forward he's the bunny rain right Copy here that. and we got clan lrm 90 we're gonna target the dragoon and as you can see it is oh it's still 69 <laughs> what about other people 69 here 69 there all right well uh i doubt it's actually 69 but sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head because out of 90 lrms i would imagine a lot of these are gonna ding that dome so you can see we got one hit out of 90. we got two hits out of 90. two hits out of 90 lrms you know the visual bug i think so too because otherwise i would imagine even with xcom luck that that would be much higher right and after all, when we shot with the 69.7%, oh, that guy just friendly fired again. <laughs> Either the bunnies are really evasive or I don't know what to say about the RWR. Ooh, Rivalman 3. I've heard uh, some of uh, the, oh my God. Okay, that is interesting. A 90 ton Rifleman 3 with quad improved large binary laser. Never seen that before, but I have heard the bunnies talk about it. And I have seen in general dash BTA that oh we have an increased chance to find these things this is kind of i don't know he looks rather hot right now love the think you're an honest Wait, man <laughs> why am i in a cockpit is this well smart? let's push let's push we're getting on in we'll kind of ding that victor a little bit say hello yeah ping out stack him on the victor beautiful we got amuel's got those thunder bolts right here he can give a little bit of opera love to a couple he'll go in and give a couple of pings to the dragoon maybe a couple over to the victor and hope that we'll be able to take home the prize here's the one and the two big ding there nice moving that breach up still no stability damage but we are connecting we are getting those breaches we're going to be able to drop those guys because we're going to be able to follow up with a lot of crit seeking we after all do have the sandpaper bun on the table still which is excellent we will actually hold that means the entire reinforcement lands will have given up their spawn protection speaking of which we just mentioned that crit seeking we've got that hag 80 we're going to be able to stack this right into that victories open everywhere stack it Excellent. There we go. Well, there goes the collateral damage, but you know, that's okay. Yeah. Didn't you do this yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't. This one is the second one in the flare up. The flare up seems to be mostly in an urban environment and we've kind of retuned the mix a little bit so that they don't have all the extraneous, like three to four tons of stuff. Yeah. And good to see you, Emil. 
Uh, we've got our Bun Punchy. We've got the MRM-60. I don't want to hit the bunnies, so we're going to go in and try and maybe soften up the Rifleman a little bit. He seems to be the one that we're going to have the best chance to connect with, so we'll just kind of say hello first. It. Stack it. I mean, he definitely has a lot more armor than a standard Rifleman, yes? Look at that. He's now down to 128. Hey. We got our big bone bun. Now, Tank Hair is also capable of shooting Whoa, at the dome. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and try it. We've got the exterminator, and it is 69%. Okay, there we go. Now, Tank Hair usually hits the dome no matter what. So, I don't know what that means, but sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the oh, head. Right. Uh, well, he didn't. He didn't. So, that's a lot of... Uh, my guess is it's actually yep. legit visual, right? Just came into you shooting the same two guys. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> You're just very, very consistent, Amuel. You always dish it out the same way every time. That's why we go to you all the time, yeah? Here we go. We got a precise strike. We've got that clan streak SRM 48 to open this guy up a little bit. Pop off an arm or two. That'll be excellent. Okay. We just breached him. And then we got our J37. I guess we'll just sort of sidestep a little bit, kind of get behind a building, hopefully, yeah? Hey there, Panzerbun. Good to see you. Welcome. Lucky tabbing. Very, very lucky tabbing. Oh, we're a little bit far. I guess we'll just move a little bit up for the meantime, yeah? And hold. And we got our Varga right here. Not just visual. We got X com Yes. Okay. In that case, we are... We have a 100% chance to hit, but we have an XCOM 100% chance to hit. <laughs> We'll go, we'll go ahead and lock up the Dragoon. He's currently down to three. That's excellent. So we had a five evasion that whole time. Very surprised. I didn't notice and we were still able to hit him at all. We'll go ahead and lock him again. He'll be down to one. That's going to help us a lot, right? Then a lot of our firepower will not be in vain. So we'll just hang tight. Seems like they've got one to pass. And we get to go. So that's our HPC special. Get on in on the kick. We'll come around to the backside. Kind of give this guy a little bit of a scratch. Right on the back of the kneecap. Snap kick. There we go. Nice. And we'll come in with the burst. Guns. Excellent. And out he goes. We got our check. We got our check as Tank Hair would advise. We've got the Bun Dome. We'll come in on over. And we're going to go in and hit that Rifleman 3-1, but mostly for the initiative push. Push him back to 1. Ding out. There we go. Good connect sensor and pair. And that just leaves these guys on the field. Just these guys. No one else, as far as we're aware. Obviously, once we get the convoy to where it needs to be, then that might be a different story, but we can focus to our heart's content. So they are completely outnumbered. That's excellent for us. That guy's got four evasion that we have to overcome, but this, after all, is the war bun bun. And 69%. <laughs> Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Ding on leg did not connect to the head. Super, super x com We'll get our 12 bun bun kick on the move coming around. And we've got the shots. Oh my. And we'll stack on that guy, bring him down to two. So now that we've got the kind of the big ones on two and one, we should be safer on the approach. If we can focus, we've got our Varger. So we'll just kind of come on up. And I think out of everybody, we'll just start working the exterminator first. That we can be a little more gentle with the Rifleman three. He still has, I think he's still got four. Is that right? He's still got four. Yeah, he's still got four evasion. We're going to send the LRMs in. Oops, hello. We're a little too far from their buddies. So we'll go indirect here. And we will we might as well push him down to one. So we get a little bit of extra benefit out of it for our resolve, which is fantastic. And then Darius, number four, <laughs> comes on in, gets the line. That's excellent. And we're going to be able to just... We just want to increase the chance to connect, even though it's 7%. Maybe we'll just lock him down to two instead. That seems to be more productive. And that is looking great. So now he's down to two. The Rifleman three is down to one. Both are on initiative phase one. Uh, we'll come on out. We've got a line with our lasers. Hey, Mr. Mac Dad. Welcome. Welcome back. Good to see you. We have thoroughly enjoyed the shop. Absolutely. Hopefully having a lovely, lovely Tuesday. Yeah, there we go. We got that ding. Got that ping. Yeah. And we've got our Bungus. All right. Excellent. So we can go ahead and give this guy a swift kick if he is so lucky. Maybe kind of come on in. Maybe dislodge him a little bit. Or maybe we start pressuring the Rifleman while the rest of the bunnies do their thing. We'll give him a big kick. 
After all, it is coming from a Bungus, the quad. He does have the scissors down there, so... There we go. Got a good connect here. 81 and a little bit of a ding, yeah? Oh my gosh! Mr. MacDad! Bunnies, if we could show some love in chat for Mr. MacDad, that is the... You are now the leader of the gifted subs for the month. Thank you so much, and thanks so much for taking care of the bunnies, and thanks so much for returning and swinging on by. Very good to have you with us, yeah? That's very generous of you. Holy crap. Wow. Mac Dad doing Mac Daddy things. That's so true. But the Rival Man 3 is not stand. Oh, the Rifleman? Ah, oh, well. Why am I, in a car? I mean, I'm okay with it's not smart. standard. <laughs> Let's go ahead and ping the Exterminator. He's having some trouble staying above the board. Ping out. Stack him. Very Mac Dad. It's so true. Very, very Mac Dad. Thank you so much. All right, we got our Bunny Rain. We're going to go ahead and stack it on in. We are probably going to hit with most of it. We're not going to be able to knock this guy down, but we can definitely kind of send this into the breach. Let's back it in. There it is. Beautiful. So Exterminator has been exterminated. That leaves just the one at the end there, yeah? So we got our Thunder Bun. This is where we need to be extra gentle. And Amul is pretty, pretty gentle. We just have to be maybe spread it out a little bit. Not all in the same place. Oh, that both went in the middle. That went to the arm and that went to the torso. Excellent, yeah? Yes, Commander. And we got our sandpaper button. Well, here we go. This we can actually target the dome. So we might as well go for it. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. But it's tag 80. Not known for being extremely gentle. But this is after all Annie we're talking about here. We dinged him on the dome three times. And he's feeling it. A little bit of a breach there. Lamux is kind of far for the approach. But we'll kind of get the line here. Having to listen to Bunny Mercs from Get Hopped On. Ballads of the Bunny League. Well, yeah, yes. Gigan does an amazing job. He does an amazing job, yeah? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Dad, thank you so much for the gift of sub. And the return favor. Dad, thanks so much for taking care of the bunnies once again. If we could show some love in chat for Dad, that'll be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. High five, man, yeah? Ready for roll. Got our streaky bun. We're zooming on forward. We're a little bit far out, but that's okay. This guy's got quite a lot to live up to. We'll just maybe Tank Hair can thread it. He's going to walk it on up. Tank Hair is actually known for being pretty gentle. We've got that. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. It's 69.7%. That's not it. That's not it. And that is it. There we go. On the rifleman. Hopefully he's out. Out. Is it four? And it is a rifleman three. That is the first for the bunny league. That is super exciting. Let's go in and tuck it on up. There we go. A hey, panzer bun. Welcome. Welcome. He was naked behind that yellow gift box. Well. I mean, I gotta say that you did right. You did right by him, yo. Thank you so much, man. Advantage. This is awesome. Never, ever had a chance to really look up close at the Advantage. Rifleman 3. It definitely seems like a much chonkier boy. He's got four improved large binary lasers. That's kind of sitting in the similar realm to our awesome 8Q2 with the four clanning air PPCs, originally with a five PPCs, which is very, very intriguing. Absolutely, because then we can actually shoot things and pretend we're Cyclops with a little bit of support from both sides of the body. Symmetrical still. We even had that ERPPC shotgun that we creamed in, crammed into the dome there. And fortunately, Bloody Doves taught us, well, was able to share that you probably don't want to get into any sort of ECM shenanigans because after all, we do have that virtual reality piloting pod in there. And it does, in fact, turn our almost 99% chance into a 0. Point something percent chance. And I definitely feel that. So super, super glad to actually be <laughs> kind of aware of it now. Oh, hello. We've got our ambush. It looks like we've got Vs in those buildings, a full Manticore, and also a Von Luckler, Von Luckner flying in the sky, shooting with a high ground. I don't know what they're shooting at. It seems like maybe they're shooting their own building. Is that right? It looks like Actually, it looks like they hit something. Well, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we've got AA, but <laughs> maybe we've got the AA. I know HBC special is pretty good at it. We've got another flying manticore right here. Maybe if we get right beneath him. Do tanks have underbelly armor? Can we? Is it more effective we shoot them from below? Is that how that works? So we're just going to zip on forward, maybe come it around. We've got the green. We don't want these guys to survive. Uh -huh. So I'm not too sure what our chances are looking like here. We're going to try and we're going to go for it. 
how lucky are we that we get the opportunity to go full bore straight to the butt of a manticore oh, here we go give him a little love right there beautiful full value and he's down to one armor that is fantastic i kind of feel like i'm cheating but this is the best kind of cheating we're gonna push on forward and maybe give him a little bit of a double tap here there's that green flip it around yeah the floating ambush that's right well guess what not only did they float it definitely filled the bunny league with wonder but that shortly was replaced with vengeance <laughs> they silhouetted themselves against the sky i'm not complaining there's that three structure left and the enemy is down that leaves just the two on the ambush this is what they get for targeting their own buildings i saw him shooting there was a lot of orange numbers there he probably destroyed that empire state building trying to show off but this is what happens when you're a little bit cocky that usually someone's there to bring it back down to earth right bunnies and usually it's the bunnies with a swift kick in this case we can't really kick the guy because he's kind of flying above our head but i think maybe we've got other opportunities available to us if we can lock this guy maybe we can connect with a dfa i know we haven't really been got a lock too successful with those lately but Commander. but i think we should be okay we'll kind of come on in bun rotter ready to give it he's got the triple ping kind of ping this guy anywhere von luckner vehicle flamer one of the best for the overheat damage that's awesome maybe we should be so lucky as to acquire some of what he's got the opportunity is available to us we've got that lrm how accurate is darius if he shoots people not from the butt but from the stomach right look at that that is fantastic 210 right here yeah i gotta bounce got work to get back to have fun fighting the rw or enjoy the noise toys bloody thanks so much for hanging out i hope you have a great time at work and i'll catch you later man high five thank you so much again for the update yeah not in BattleTech, but if this was Renegade Legion Centurion. Oh my. Well, we've got our SRMs. We're just going to go ahead and continue to feed it right to the back here. Let's go in and stack it in. We've got our Manticore. We've got... There it is. Full value. That's what we like to see for this SRM 16 right here, yeah? And oh my god, we finished up Hype Train level 4. That is amazing. Thank you so much, bunnies. Thank you so much, Mac Dad. Thank you so much to Deaths, yeah? and let us move we got our lrms we'll kind of come on forward we don't want to enter the zone just yet we kind of want to deal with the interlopers first yeah they've got grav tanks in that game that can actually fly like beats oh well wasn't there there was the wasn't the wa wawa kalak is that right and we saw in max dust ball there was like a wa oh it's oh look at that it's like a vtol tank just like that that guy is terrifying and he lowers himself like some kind of celebrity superstar in some kind of intro coming on down and hit the mat ready to go but we saw like a oh, i think it was a wawa clock and it can the bunny said it can climb buildings is that right it was something like that i think yeah it could be kind of interesting to see who is more capable of flying through the sky i didn't check that bloody oh yeah no bloody bloody was there from the get-go we were very lucky to have him got our bunny guest I don't know if I want to kick him, but I will come on through. We will go for the green. We do have the media mass driver. Should be relatively effective. Battle Lord. Hell yeah. And we're going to come on up. Got the guy in the sky. Target lock on enemy's rear. There it is. Beautiful. And enemy down. Fantastic. So he's bleeding out and he's oh, gone man. all at the same time. We've got the day as bunny. It's coming on in. We're coming in from on high. In three. Two. And one, apparently for a potential 739.5 damage, get up on sun. And we dinged the front for a little bit. Is there more? There was a little bit on the right side. I think something's up. <laughs> I think something's up because, I mean, that's cool. I mean, we definitely hit him, but I think something's up. There's a variant of the Wawa Collect that ignores all terrain features by having the ability by Quirk. Ooh, that's awesome. And I think it was like a quad V, right? It was a quad V, I think, if I recall. And it definitely looked vicious. Let's go in and hit this guy with a Clan LRM-19. He's got 74 armor, 78 armor. Now he's down to a bit of a breach and enemy down. Beautiful, 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 yeah. Do you know which variant this is so I can check it out? Of of the manticore which one yeah and we're coming on in yeah there's a variant of the oh of the wawa yeah it's a quad with tracks kind of sorta 
Well, hang tight. So now when we enter the zone, we sh might be able to trigger it. We've got our sandpaper bun right here. On my way. Double time. Does the MKD stand for Mac Dan? I, I just connected that right now. <laughs> Believe it or not, I just, I might have just connected that right now. It may. <laughs> You kind of think I would have picked that up a little sooner. Oh, My boy, God. Careful. Well, you know, Bonnie Man, always the paragon of awareness yep. out here. Well, you know, I can't I can't always be everywhere at once with my brain. I'm already everywhere at once in my own brain. <laughs> so. All right. So we've got our Darius crew. They're coming on in. All they got to do is dip their toe inside and wrap this up do the last trigger here we've got multiple waves should get a little bit of extra bonuses here the rwr has their last opportunity to engage us before the darius crew disappears into the everlasting beyond yeah so there's that group of four look oh is that a, is that a king crab more contacts on sensors bunnies looks like they're sending an additional units to destroy the convoy I think, oh my gosh, they have King Crab. I want to see an RWR King Crab. So we got a Levelis. Sniper Artillery, all right. We do have a King Crab. We got a Banshee 3 E, PPCAC 5 small. We've got a Royal Awestruck. A lot of streaks. Extended range large lasers times two. And the Royal King Crab. Double AC 20 large laser LRM 50. That is excellent. Well, my goodness. We're going to go ahead and push that up. Kind of get to the forefront of everything. Kind of give him a little bit of a sanctuary ping on the next one. Sandpaper Bun's going to break over to the right side. Got it. Force them to push on up. We'll have the Bun Punchy rush forward as fast as he can. We'll have the Big Bone Bun maneuver kind of go wide and have okay. the building close by for a line of sight break. We're moving on forward here. Hang tight. That's for Amuel. We've got Big Brick and his streaky Bun. Just rush into the red. Amuel on the push. Hang tight. We've got Geigen in the Bun Dome. We should be able to unjam our stuff pretty soon. I believe it should. Is it there? Is it there? Can we un can we get it? Yes, we can get those AMS systems back online. Bun Rudder on the charge. Bun Guest. The nice thing is we're going to be able to get our medium mass driver online on the next turn. HBC will break far left. And we got the Bun Bun Kate kind of stacking up like they're going to breach. Full speed seven evasion and then we got the j37 cistern everyone's just gonna tuck on in hopefully to the right side of the escort zone so we might be able to tempt them to either overextend or push over to the edge and put themselves into line of sight of that medium mass driver on the next turn after they give up their spawn protection yeah hey there jammer welcome high five good to see you Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely tuesday yeah if you're joining us right now we're currently in an escort mission for the rwr on this lovely Tuesday. Kind of tuck it up. We will let them go first if they please. Royal Awestruck's got that double ER large. He's also got the Streak SRMs like that. Streak SRM 4. Got the Bun Dome. Come on up. We'll tuck. The nice thing is we do have the resolve. So we can push the next in line back a little bit. So maybe we'll ping the Royal King Crab, Sensor Impair, and push him back to Initiative 3. Hang tight. There we go. Excellent. Commander. And then we've got War Bun Bun. He's got the line. So it's going to be interesting, too, because after all, we were seeing what might be a bit of a display thing. Maybe we'll start with this Halepolis since he already has not gone yet. Sometimes 69. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head. And we did not even connect there, yeah? I have a question for you. Are you able to play missions for clans or is it only rogue tech? You can do you can do that here in BTA as well. Yeah, Jammer. So you can do it in both. So very, very lucky to have the options available to us. Thanks for asking. Uh, we've got Cyber in the HBC you. special. He does have the ability to shoot, but actually we're going to wait till four. We'll let that Banshee go. And he did not engage at all. I guess I don't know if they can shoot on this turn, so we'll let them set themselves up we'll actually reserve again let the royal king crab act if he wants to so he moved and that's it so in theory oh no they can definitely act he hit a building there which is excellent because now now he's lost that spawn protection so hopefully we're going to be able to land this stuff yeah you haven't been able to find one. Oh, for the clanners well are you are you up in the north by any chance like in the free Rosselhog republic area and just north of that Usually, I see them over there, if that makes sense. 
We got a Deus Bunny. I'm actually going to go in and ping out AoE ping. That might strip them all down to zero. They didn't really move too much, right? So let's see where they're sitting. They're currently at zero, 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 and zero. So all of them, we've got the best chance possible. So we've got Amiel. He's able to give them a little bit extra each, right? So we can go multi-target. One to the Royal King Crab. One to the Royal Ostrock. One over to the Banshee because they're all tough nuts to crack. We'll actually give... We'll give one and one and two to the Royal King Crab. So two up front to a mostly fresh Royal King Crab right here. Yeah. Need rep with a clan you want to work for. I've been all over clan wolf territory. Most of the one and one and a half skull planets. Do you see like contracts, but you can't accept them? Is that kind of how that what you're seeing? Or are you seeing like zero contracts spawn at all? Commander. And and just like Amiel said, you will you'll need the rep for it. So you might have to start smaller. Maybe. Roger. I tried to write the mech's name in type before and after, and it did it together. Oh, <laughs> it can happen with links. It definitely can. All right, well, we got that Helepolis. I don't want to have to worry about the sniper artillery, so sometimes you got to adjust for kicks, hit straight to the head. Stack Hag 80. Give him a little ding there. Ah, we dinged him once on the head, but we mostly hit the torso. We got Tank here. He's just going to walk it on up. He's got the opportunity, so we're going to take it. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks, hit straight to the head of the Royal King Crab. Tank here is very, very good. He's got a very nice record for actually landing these things this time around. It all went to the side. At least the guy's bleeding out, but that is a little bit unfortunate. That's okay. We got the bun punchy. So this is going to be something that we haven't really tested in a while. We've got a 99% chance to connect. We're coming in with a punch. Potential 354 on the follow-up. He's got Brawler. Lummox in with a swing. And he connects right to the middle 22. And we've got another additional over 100 in the stack for 60. He's not gentle. Oh, he is gentle today. Oh my gosh. I didn't actually expect that guy to take it straight in, but he is a king crab after all. Bunny Rain. If anyone's going to make it happen, it's going to be him. We're going to go ahead and send in the 90, and I don't think he's going to be able to survive, but sometimes you got to just for kicks hit straight to the head. No contracts at all for the clan. Oh, interesting. No, the cat and Snow Raven are the only ones you can work for. Oh, really? See, I didn't realize that either. Well, there you go. You hear it straight from the source, yeah? Orders. I have learned something as well. I know that Nova Cat I would see quite often, even when I'm not in clan or territory, they seem to wander out and be available to engage with, even if I'm near, like, let's say, the, the center of the inner sphere. So I don't know if it has something to do with that kind of... Good to go. I don't know if I call it neutrality, but maybe like egalitarian attitude. I don't... <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Novacat has cool stuff anyway, right? And they've got an awesome, awesome color scheme. Well, here we go. We got that Alepolis. We already dinged him once. We'll send a little bit of a media mass driver just to say hello. There it is. It's not the right side. That's sort of the hunchy side of the Helepolis. He's got the big gun there. We got the bun bun cake. Kind of coming around. Give him a nice swing. I don't know. If, can we land it on the Royal Ostrock? Doesn't seem like it. So maybe we'll just do a bit of a zoom. We'll come it around to the rear because we are capable of it. Primitive. Full speed, seven evasion, 360 degree turret, and we're just kind of send a bit of a smack battle lord right to the rear of the Helepolis. Stack it. He's got 20 armor. Now he's got 69 structure, no armor. Cyber Gizmo does have the ability to call, so he's gonna tuck on over, come around to the backside, and I, I think something's gonna go in because he's pretty pretty good with this he's got the clan small pulses that guy's got zero evasion already got a breach and straight a core we should and we clear that sniper artillery shot that was queued for the next turn so we have now stopped more civilians from dying that's right i don't even know why we do it <laughs> but we try sometimes we try sometimes we got that opening beautiful it looks like darius is actually useful this time around this is excellent a little bit of lrm straight to the rear on the breach on the royal ostrock he's facing the wrong way or maybe for us just the right way that leaves one that's going to be the banshee and that is it darius has not even escaped to wherever it is that he's headed to so we'll just start stacking this guy it is natural that we focus fire the only available hostile on the field at this time so we are very very lucky that we do not have to micromanage it at all and we're just going to hang tight right here and there we go so we have succeeded at the main objective we failed at the optional objective but you know what collateral damage in the bunnies we don't really go too well together at least we're going to earn some money and offset some of the fees that maybe we might owe 
but we should be able to take care of business because we're going to come around get over to the side give him a nice swift kick and give him the love yeah theoretically you can also fight against or with a nameless clan in the innermost fairy cough cough clan <laughs> i didn't even know there was a clan wolf or clan wolverines active holy crap darius in a natural it being a decoy that's true no that's not a good fit for the bunny league oh well that guy's going down excellent that means we get those free called shots gotta love it Commander. got geigen on the walk Oh, interesting. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. It's at 70.2%, but we hit the tummy. And we got War Bun Bun. We'll zoom it on forward. Oh, there we go. And sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head on three, two, and one. And we ding the torsos instead. Hey there, Shaw's. Good to see you. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely, lovely Tuesday. We are wrapping up our very first escort against the RWR and hopefully bumping that score a little bit closer to save Tau Seti from the invasion, yeah? Something about a Royal Regiment, I just can't think of the number. Oh, for us, uh, 331st that we're talking about here. Excellent, there we go, beautiful. And I think we're good. All targets eliminated. Sit tight, I can collect it from you all right now. All right, bunnies, total win, total win. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? That is a no. Congratulations to those who had the faith. One head less, that's right. That is how I know I watch HB too much because I have started saying that also. Oh, the just for kicks it? Oh my gosh. Does it work for you? I'm curious, does it work for the other bunnies? I feel like it does. <laughs> I don't even, honestly, there's a lot of stuff that I remember, yeah? Total win, congratulations. You always believe vision. High five, as we're talking about, yeah? So as you can see, we failed at this, but we won at a lot of other things, so it made up for it. This time, the RWR lost three points, so that knocks them down from 49 points all the way to 46. I don't know how much we have increased by. Last time we went up by seven, right? So we're at no losses on the bunnies. That's excellent. We've got the Dragoon, the Banshee, the Exterminator, there's that Rifleman 3. We get a full 4 on the stack. Oh, let me bring this over so you can see. It doesn't work. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, Chappy, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks so much, man. I hope you have a good one. Von Luckner, the Death Ray. So I'm going to grab those because I've never seen those before. And then I think they also had the Royal King Crab. Exchanger 3 is excellent. Was the Royal King Crab up there? I don't know if we've got a lot of parts of it, but there might be something. We only had the one. Okay, we'll grab it three two and one it did in my previous game but not since i started a new one. Oh, they nerfed the just for kicks it they nerfed the just for kicks it but thank you for trying it and reporting back yeah so what i'm interested in these are some of the new weapons right here these are called death rays so it's 10 tons but deals 145 damage oh that's 80 heat holy crap but that's a lot that's like more than improved heavy gauss and improved heavy gauss costs 20 tons and then that's just for the weapon <laughs> plus two accuracy with the weapon two evasion pip ignored 50 percent chance to deal a crit hit and it works with the laser insulator and the fire control system that's awesome after his mysterious return to the inner sphere stefan amaris the usurper set out to learn how military technology had advanced in the intervening centuries based on the raw power of current large laser technology this is a so-called death ray weapon developed by the rim world's republic at the order of stefan amaris himself though heavy and bulky the death ray does tremendous damage to anything it touches it is also unusually accurate for such a powerful weapon ensuring it can easily land shots however the death ray produces prodigious heat and is difficult to use because of it well that's very very interesting what might be kind of cool is if we couple it with let's say like sanctuary uh like the stacking sanctuary version of the exchangers like the con heat controllers and the negators and stuff like that so that might work maybe we'll have to see you like the king crab yes well we've got one part of the royal now hopefully we can keep that moving i vote we stick this on a flea and have it run around and backstab people well the question is is it going to fit on our bar guest considering we run around with an 18 ton mass driver I would imagine yes and we can probably fit in additional cooling too so that seems really cool that seems really really cool because that's 145 in theory if we can support the heat with let's say exchanger threes things like that you could shoot two of those things consistently yeah 
it's a flea on four legs in a way that's true that's very true i'm i'm just curious will it fit so let's go in and bring this over as you can see one of the biggest issues we have with the bun guest and the medium mass driver even though it does a monumental 200 damage potential is in fact the fact that a it can't shoot in melee and on top of that it has a cooldown which kind of works in our favor because otherwise we'd be i would be shot happy <laughs> let's be truthful about the situation we'll get our scissors wherever we got them so we can kick even harder so we were to pull this off as an example and if we were to actually pull off the medium electro laser we could in theory get over we've got sanctuary double heat sinks what if we pull the double heat sink here sanctuary double heat sink kit there which is less efficient on natural the heat efficiency right now is negative 50. so one of these is going to raise it to 80 will be at n plus 30 right and is it going to be actually in the laser category that's very interesting death ray in theory if we had two right now we are at a positive of 126 okay <laughs> that might be a little bit just a little bit on top of that we've got clan masc which is definitely not helping with the heat generation but what if we were to go 300 here what if we were to go with i'm just not necessarily going to do this but just spitball it right battle pod bring that down what if we try we've got a clan ecm suite do we have a sanctuary one we'll pull the guardian ecm we'll get into clan ecm suite we pull the clan well the masc is what lets it go do we have a sanctuary supercharger we don't so what do we toss this in here so how much space do we have now we've got seven yeah that's not a lot that's not a lot if we've got a awesome there we go we've got an awesome exchanger right here that helps now we've got a positive delta of 90 that changes a lot yeah is the structure type fixed are you talking about the um oh the structure here i believe so anakitas i believe so yes you can add an exchanger three to the sanctuary exchanger the problem with the whole thing is the sanctuary double heating is generally worse yes that is correct that is correct if i had the clan double heat sink kit that might change some things we obviously have e-cooling as well so maybe we need to take advantage of that so we'll go e-cooling plus two and now we're sitting at what 68 if we pull this off obviously it's it's good it's good negative two right here and we could actually get maybe heat banks things like that to kind of adjust some things i know we got a bulk exchanger as well um oh we had not a bulk exchanger a bulk heat bank but i think we've used that elsewhere so we can stick in like an improved heat bank we can stick in maybe some double heat sinks and it's gonna be 10 tons otherwise negative 20. yeah i don't know if we're gonna <laughs> i don't know if i necessarily have the exact technology required to get us to where we want to go yeah armor not cooling and so on and so forth mm. Mm. so clan ferro fibers probably gives us the most so it seems like at best we can kind of support one i'm curious what we'd be able to couple it with as far as energy maybe not but if we had anything significant that is lighter like i know the lbx like the clan lbx it, it runs like 10 tons right we've got our clan uac at 10 the clan lbx at 10 which could be interesting if you kind of start with a death ray and then follow up with the lbx because that could be pretty lethal i would imagine heat efficiency is still fine negative four so very nice yeah heat banks are good for mechs with high alpha delete a mech and hide a bit to cool that is very very true our heat efficiency even with this is only eight only eight but obviously we would need to stick on some ammunition but kind of doable if we pull off the b pod we can get a ton of ammo right and if we're looking at that lbx ac 10 oh gosh we have a lot of ammo and we go in like cluster that's going to give us 10 shots i mean it's not the best thing in the world but kind of kind of works we can pull the precision computer it's going to save us another now we got 20 shots so we could go death ray for 145 slam in a cluster around for 60 right afterwards and we can do that over and over and over and we can still sprint at the same volume because even though we went down to 300 it's still the six hex sprint distance so that could be kind of interesting i mean it doesn't have that 200 alpha punch but between the 145 and the 60 damage here it's basically the similar output except we can hopefully get a breach and then get the crits afterwards right so that might be kind of cool yeah only structures actually fixed there are some clan mechs or other mechs that have fixed armor but that is quite rare oh yes like the clan lamellar I remember some of the community content I think has fixed clan lamellar which is awesome oh they've even got like clan hardened armor and stuff like that this might be kind of cool 
this might be kind of cool we're at 142 around we're running kind of hot yes is there anything that we can do to cool it off a little bit i mean pulling the clan masc but i don't know what we could do if we have a sanctuary supercharger that's going to be lighter than the clan masc it's going to get us another ton we're going to be able to get another double heat sink and essentially bring this down to like a positive two heat delta so there are things that we can do which is kind of cool and and i kind of dig it yeah we might try it might be kind of nice it's the new death ray yeah i like to place a few good heat banks on a supernova whenever you get it that's the way i mean previously we were taking the turn off with this anyway so to have the option to kind of double tap two turns in a row seems pretty awesome so let's go ahead and move we'll push this forward we got three days oh i do want to take a look be at the actual score right now we were at 10 to 49 we should be at something versus 40 oh 42 wow so we dropped three points it looks like there are other people working here too so they've actually dropped a total of seven points and the Lyran commonwealth forces stayed at 10 so we've just closed that gap even farther by 32 now so the delta's 32 very much in reach it seems so let's go ahead and we'll get on into the next one. We've got two days here. I think we can actually skip a mission if we want to, but that's probably not wise if we actually want to wrap up the flare up. We've got a battle mission. Excellent. Called Commander Pincer. Pincer. So launch a mission. We got a Pincer battle in urban environment. Five skull difficulty fight against the Rim World Republic. We'll go in 315 at a potential 1.9 million C bill payout. Yeah. And it'll be really cool when we eventually can bring in the glory that is the death ray we haven't really seen it engaged thus far so that'll be kind of interesting and maybe just maybe we're going to test the panzer bun again we kind of missed 100 percent of the time last time so i'm really curious to see if it's actually going to work for us today right we've got big brick he's in this streaky bun we'll pull him on over he's our juggernaut pilot should help with the weapon strikes so maybe it's the same maybe it's different so we'll just kind of have a backup just in case uh since we're going to be in an urban environment and it's a battle i don't think they're going to have any sort of shenanigans like let's say please don't destroy the entire city so so maybe maybe we can be a little bit bombastic this time we can go ahead and maybe bring the paladin and maybe bring the shiltron i think that that's probably the best way to spread the bunny love don't you agree we can get superior you can kind of shoot and move things like that oh actually we'll get dex here and oh we'll swap this around now i forgot he does have that knife fighter we'll get cyber gizmo and the shiltron and there we go so five skull difficulty battle in an urban environment this time it seemed to be popular with the bunnies we're gonna go with the part loss because it seems like that is a tradition that we used to have that i totally forgot about well the bunny leagues suffer a part loss so that should be more exciting and more plausible because at this stage we're kind of tough to kill against the rwr you yeah? It could be i'm getting it wrong but can't these things explode oh for the the banks you just alpha go behind the lines didn't ever get them to explode so i'm not sure but you can fire the full complement of energy clan mech with them that's true that's true it kind of has more it dumps the heat afterwards i believe at the end of the turn i think so it's a little more efficient than let's say countering the six that you might build up with a with the heat sinks with like a double heat sink or something like that but obviously it takes up a lot of space and it is uh it happens afterwards right and you got to do exclamation in order to use your command but it should work pretty well yeah all right so here we are we're going to push into a battle urban environment a potential 2 million c bill payout but we went in for three pick 15. we're up against the rwr and stefan amaris's crew we've got access to pincer and this time around uh, we're going to test out the Panzer Bun as we push on forward. Yesterday, we had trouble connecting pretty much every single time in Melee. So we'll see if we're able to do it today because there was a new hot fix since yesterday. So I don't know if it necessarily addressed that. I don't think it did, but it'll be interesting just to double check. Yeah, we have enough bunnies that I think we can cover for each other. And besides, it has airstrikes and things like that. It's not helpless at all. And it's got a lot of a lot of regenerative capabilities with the hard gel and everything like that yeah it's about things that you can use once or every few rounds i cannot remember exactly oh for for the banks 
I'm always tough to kill, even in battle armor. That's true. I don't know if Amiel's ever died. Actually, I don't think Amiel's ever died. <laughs> even when he might have been in some rather harrowing situations, yes. There was a time when Amiel was our front line against Clan Novacat, and he was on the very peninsula that they were passing right through. There were a bunch of fire moss. Every single one of them basically had battle armor on it, and they were ready to deliver packages. We coated the place because the bunny said, fast cam the heck out of that, burn it all. We came in with the Inferno. We came in with the fast cam. We came in with everything and the clanners got stuck. Amiel sent in all of the support PPCs and almost single-handedly destroyed another battle armor unit, all while standing out in the front on the tip on the peninsula closest to Clan Novacat. So yes, I believe it when Amiel says, I'm tough to kill. <laughs> I want a community content, a cooler that cools more the more spaces you move. Oh, wow. Mr. Mac Dad, that sounds like it's the coil's best friend. Wouldn't that be awesome? Can you imagine that? The far faster you go, the more heat you generate with a coil, and the faster you go, the more you cool off. Like maybe it's like a bunch of large oversized intakes with, I don't know, some weird exchangers inside, coupled with freezers. I don't <laughs> Yes, it, it was quite entertaining, Amiel. I was almost sure that you would die. You did get hit once, but you basically said, Put me on the ground. I was too scared to do it. Yeah, that's basically what happened. I had Amiel pre-mounted. He said, get me on the ground. Get me shooting in the front line. I didn't listen at first because I was too afraid. And then sure enough, I put him down thinking he would die. And he just refused to die and ended up destroying the other battle armor as well. Yeah, they're already freezers. That's true. But are there freezers in an intake? I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like aero cooling of some cars. Yes, kind of like where you reroute the air, you guide it over the carbon ceramic discs or something like that. Maybe, maybe you can have some ceramic cooling exterior or something like that. I don't know. Freezers are double heat sinks, which are even stronger, but can only be used with single heat sink and are also a bit larger. Just chewing on the idea. Well, honestly, I mean, anything that'll allow you to effectively run a coil could be very interesting. Because can you imagine if you ended up swapping out all of the rotary small pulses with small coils and you had the 400 rated XL with, you know, obviously if you've got like a sanctuary supercharger, you're going to generate more heat on the sprint, but you can get on in, you can hit even harder. I mean, like catastrophically hard. I mean, that would be awesome just to make it possible, right? Uh oh, I'm hoping we're okay. Looks like we've been potentially, maybe the com ye old computer has finally given out so many urban environment missions. That is the one downside to fighting against Stefan Mars. It's his main tactic, really. He wants to take out the bunnies by having us go into the most crowded of areas. And the bunnies, we have a lot. We've got spirit, we've got heart. But when it comes to RAM, we're having trouble with... <laughs> having a little bit of trouble. There are no small coils in BTA. There's only one, the coil, and that is basically the large coil. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, it would be cool. Maybe we community content the smallest who knows oh oh it's moving again this is excellent i might need to restart after this though just looking at what's going on here yeah but it is moving or the pc wanted to give you a bit of time to discuss with bunnies while waiting seems like it's still loading i think you are correct oh there it is it has moved again are we ready apparently we got a big battle on our hands that is taking so long to load and we go here we go we're playing babysitter to a bunch of regulars that might be why we're in pincer it's possible we've got allies which is why there is so much on this battlefield yeah what do we got going on here ultra instinct run in his blood yes what do we got this is the target area bunny so i'll be on station for evacuation we're expecting significant enemy strength and possible reinforcements so keep your eyes open this is the rwr we're talking about here all of them are out so apparently i think we got allies right it said we're playing babysitting, so I assume so. Okay, so we got smog. Do we have another drop? Oh, there's gonna be a lot of mechs in this fight. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a little bit scared. Yeah. Bunnies, my superiors have sent me to provide you with support. My people will engage the targets alongside you. Once we've eliminated them, we'll proceed to our own evac LZ. This is Argo Actual. Good to have you aboard, Lirens. 
But he's under no obligation to keep these people alive, but I expect if they all come back in one piece, our employers may feel a generous. Oh, man. All right, so only one lance we've got to worry about here. They've got the old standard longbow. We got a Marauder, standard Marauder UAC 10, LRM 30. We've got an Archer with LRM 40, four medium lasers, and a Fafnir. Oh, yeah, that is excellent. Look at this guy. He's got four LBX AC 10s, two ER mediums, and an ER small. He's basically our Annie, except cooler. <laughs> Holy crap usually crowded plus it's urban yeah this is like the worst case scenario for the computer so on the right side we see a little bit of an 80 ton v we see out there a 90 ton mech last time it, it could be a bunch of things maybe a rifleman 3 maybe it's perhaps a highlander 732 you never know we're just going to tuck as far forward as possible with decks so we can get that sense of contact they seem to have good range they do a lot of indirect yeah and they're asking us to avoid collateral damage. It's a shame. Not, not going to happen. 95 tons, 90 tons, 70 tons. We've got that 80 out there right on the back line. We've got 80 tons as well. We're going to go down the lock up the lead 90. There's a 95 behind. I'm assuming it's a Banshee. So far, it has been. We've got a Highlander 732, just like we... Well, we threw out a couple of things there, but we did have that as one of the guesses. We've got the Bun Bun Cake, and we're going to go in and tuck it on in and hold. I don't think we're in line for the Sanctuary Pro Pink. You can make it worse by generating multiple ambushes. Oh my god, let's go with some beefy CC opponents. I sure hope so. Ready for orders. It's gonna be awesome. We've got a Bun Dome. We're gonna charge on into the center and try and provide some overlap and coverage. Are we stuck? We might be stuck. Okay, so we're not charging anywhere, but... <laughs> so we're gonna carefully charge forward, if that makes sense. We're gonna carefully charge. Actually, maybe backwards. There we go. We are so careful right now. Excellent. Just Ready just part order. of positioning things with such a large group of bunnies. Yes. And we might also carefully maneuver with War Bun Bun. Yep, yeah, we're going to carefully... Oh, no, no. He's just... He just had to think a little bit. <laughs> this is going to be a long fight. <laughs> they don't necessarily have to trigger, but once they are generated, they cost performance. Well, yeah, I'm... I'm not necessarily... My computer's not looking forward to that, but I'm looking forward to the fight. Ooh, it's a Night Star. Okay, I have not seen this in a long time. This is super exciting. I will definitely take a freaking Night Star. My God. Usually, I'm most excited about the Highlander, but we actually have the CC Highlander, which is incredible. I love the X1, so I don't feel the need. We also have the Royal Highlander back in the bay, just chilling. So right now, the Night Star is numero uno we're gonna go ahead and charge it on forward we'll get a little bit of our sanctuary pro ping closer taking a look we've got the 80 on the right side heavy lerm carrier that's lrm 80 as a potential we got a guillotine in the distance we've got an emperor with double lbx ac 10 heavy lerm carrier also potential 80 lrms to send so far i'm not detecting any additional but you know you never know if we use that 350 meter range we are not able to really tag anybody so we're just going to go ahead and continue to lock these guys down we'll lock the highlander 732 down to zero and we should be able to get some nice indirect shots on more consistently we got the panzer bun it's going to charge on forward because he actually can move we'll stay on the road so we can be as efficient as possible with our movement and the nice thing is he's going to teeter-totter on over and hopefully be able to connect we are doing a second test yesterday we did a test it wasn't really able to connect with anybody this time we're hoping where he's going to connect with everybody right we got amiel and the thunder bun he's going to toss on up We've got all those Thunderbolts. Hopefully, we'll be able to land it. This guy has zero evasion. Amiel's a bit of a maestro. So this is to the Highlander 732, the lead 90. And he dings the head even without aiming at all. What a beast. That's what we're talking about. In my opinion, the Night Star are not really good, especially in BTA. Well, the thing is, it's a bit sentimental to me. <laughs> it's a bit sentimental to me because I remember for the longest time, did, I'm sure the bunnies remember Doyle, right? You remember Doyle, the streamer Doyle? He played a lot of uh, uh, E3025 when it was just extended 3025. I remember when I first watched Doyle, his white whale was the Night Star. And ever since then, I've always paid it a lot of respect. So whether it's you. good or not, <laughs> I tend to like it. That that may be just sentimental by me, but, but it is how I feel. So that's kind of why I'm going for it, yeah? 
It's pretty much an assault sniper. Heck yes. If I want a king crab, I'll take a king crab and not an nice star. It's actually a successor to the king crab. Ooh, let's go ahead and try and connect with... We got the Shiltron Prime. I'm thinking if we want to hit anybody, they want to come at us. We can definitely force them to move, right? So we could definitely attack the ground. This is definitely not going to help us with the collateral damage thing, but maybe... Oh, we've got the arrows. I mean, we'll just target this here. It's a pretty small radius. I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to get out of it. So we'll see what they got. Problem with the whole thing is he was more or less replacing the job of the King Crab, which he should supplement or replace. I can see that. So like from a, from an efficiency standpoint, it wasn't as efficient as maybe they had hoped. And look at that. He just fell. <laughs> so maybe it's not in the best condition, but you know what? Second hand is second hand here at the Bunny League. And so sometimes you just got to make do with what you got, right? Well, you know, the positive of this situation is he's not getting up anytime soon, so we might as well make him hot, right? The nice thing is we can probably target the ground right there and he's going to get caught in it. In fact, we'll overlap this just a little bit like uh, that. There we go. Whoever's in the Venn diagram is going to hate life. So we'll just go in and send that there. Yeah. And hopefully that'll move them over to the right. Guess what's standing there? An electrical transformer. So all of this is just sort of, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Do you find yourself in the Venn diagram intersection? Do you move towards the enemy where you need to be, but end up next to a transformer? Or do you back on out and get away and be unable to actually bring all of your firepower to bear as you try to relocate and the enemy that's lying on the ground, the Night Star, who is unfortunately not doing what he's supposed to do, stands right next to a Highlander with zero evasion? That's the real question. Yeah, it's a death trap. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Sandpaper Bun. I think we've got what it takes. We've got a little bit of green here. We cannot resist that which is green, just like the enemy cannot resist that which is the intersection of a Venn diagram. They're all closet mathematicians. We're just going to go in and send a little bit of hag and hope that we can tag that guy a little bit to shave a little back off that heavy LRM carrier. Seems like he's got 32, so he's still quite full of vitality. But my hope is as soon as he moves, he'll be a little bit less so because after all, he might find himself in a bit of a crosshair, or should I say a cross-section or an intersection of said Venn diagram. So he just shot from the right. That's LRM-60 with a former hey. capability of LRM-80. We've got the big bone bun. We're going to be able to kind of come on over. Since that guy gave up his right to spawn protection, he just... We don't even need lawyers to issue this warning. Kind of give him a couple of double pings here that's a total of four get full value on the connect and there we go so that guy had his one moment in the sun our flank is relatively clear at the moment and the skies are looking well they're not looking blue but they're looking rather smoggy so these guys are shooting this is you're shooting at deaths which is a little bit laughable deaths is kind of i don't know he seems semi-immune to lrms let's uh, <laughs> but you know he has been hit by them before, so it was a valiant effort. There are allies. They've got the quad LBX AC-10 shooting at the zero evasion. Oh my god, that's not gentle at all. Poor 732. Not only is he losing half of his mind at looking at his poor pal who's on the ground and standing in a long Tom Inferno barrage, but he also is only half the guy that he was, and now he's got a standard longbow with LRM-50 right on target after being dinged on the dome and half the body gone. Stack that. Unfortunately, I mean, unfortunately for us, and fortunately for him, it seems like LRMs do zero stability damage at the moment, so he's able to at least stand up and face the threat that is coming his way. So we got more LRMs. That's another 40 on top of the 50 already sent. He can basically stand there and take it, which is kind of cool, because at least if you are trying to hit him in the front, I'm a, we'll be able to hit that front all day long. We won't get the called shots, but it makes him even more effective, right? Got the Marauder coming on in. He's got the follow up. Got a little bit of a ping here. Yeah. Stacking more LRMs, zero evasion or zero stability damage, but he's hanging true. There was a little bit of a ding on the dome. So that's helpful to us. Oh, but guess what? He's made. on five. Serve Cold's going to be on three. So can we push that's him? Fine. Can we push him a little bit? I don't think we've got the resolve to kind of change anything there, but we're just going to be fishing. We'll be right on the edge of the circle. And let's go in and just send what we got. We might get so lucky and we'll just send him anywhere. Saw a little orange there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a pretty decent amount of orange. Aye, aye. And we'll get deaths. On the move, you can see that Night Star down there. Maybe we're lucky there and we can actually get in with a ding to the dome. 
Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. Hit straight at the head of the Night Star. Stack from dead. Looks like he's got a reinforced cockpit. But, uh, uh, oh, what? How did that? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> what he had he had five out of five no he had four out of five what in this situation you're simply being simple and screwed no matter where you run there's something around that's exploding it's true it's true it's called accuracy through volumes of bunny fire right we're moving on forward we can finally provide a little bit of protection and we're just gonna ping anybody out here 69 hopefully we're lucky get that ding there we go sensor impaired excellent he's not having a good time night star went to sleep a bit early <laughs> super early i didn't even see the head come off it looked like he had a bit of uh i don't know let's move he just decided he didn't, didn't want to be a part of this anymore right so we got our bun rotter he'll go in and send all the hottest stuff right on in should be enough all right excellent so we actually maybe can avoid the collateral damage because we no longer have to send it with a long tom never thought i'd hear that you described it very well <laughs> well these guys are very brave i won't put it that way here comes our archer i mean our buddies i mean they're i love the fact that they can continue to apply pressure despite the situation them being behind skyscrapers them being guided by the bunny's sight and long range vision but they're never in a spot where they can't actively contribute to the engagement where right now because of the giant venn diagrams on the ground the enemy has to make a decision whether or not they can contribute effectively so right now our allies are better than theirs <laughs> that's the simple truth yeah hey guys also watch out for the super weapons the ballistic mercy does 150 oh my god aoe oh, holy crap wow that is incredible well i would love to check out the mercy maybe not be on the other end of it but if we are we shall definitely prioritize it thank you so much we're actually putting together our very first death ray on the bar guest and it has a potential of 145 damage in energy even though it generates that 80 heat but we're gonna follow that up with a nice cluster close range lbx ac10 cluster right on the follow-up hopefully that 145 is gonna breach reliably especially we got the speed on the bar guess we're gonna be able to come around open up the back side where most mechs don't really have more than let's say like 100 ish armor or so and we'll be very more consistent than we were even with a medium mass driver we're gonna be able to shoot every turn is my hope we do have a little bit of a heat delta there i think it's like eight positive in the badlands gonna be worse but it might be worth it if we can get out that alpha drop the enemy and then we've got a moment of respite afterwards right shiltron we could take the shot i mean the guy's still they're both still there so we might as well do it i guess here comes a collateral damage here we Yeah, we're just we're just dinging him a little bit just a little bit and there go <laughs> oh there's only one building oh that's excellent you see the bunnies are showing incredible restraint in this engagement i'm actually quite impressed we're gonna go in and push on up see if there's anything else that we can provide to the battlefield we've got the shots we'd love to connect with that lerm carrier yellow give him a little bit of a ding there absolutely perfect i'm eyeing a bar guest for civil heck yes high five you and i think alike i think that says a lot about the kind of guy that you are no I <laughs> i'm so egotistical that honestly it seemed like the best platform that we had that's all yeah let's go ahead and hold here you will actually be i would imagine that you'd be interested in i was thinking about the rattler fight and i have a save right now that i haven't used yet with 12 bar guests on it so <laughs> i really can't wait to check that out <laughs> it's got 12 bar guests and two juggernauts the juggernauts are all laser ams juggernauts so that'll be really really cool i don't have any death rays though now i'm if it works out i might swap in the death rays i don't know if that counts as community content or not so we get a thunder bun let's go in and ping the emperor he's already a little bit a little bit rubbed off there one two three and four double tap on that left arm got that little breach right there and this guy's just chilling chilling in the sky i think i heard something about leg damage and buildings and falling and stuff like that so we can definitely for science it yeah doesn't it it sounds cool doesn't it classy 
All right, stack to the dais, but I mean, the dais bunny is all about jumping all over the place, keeping it moving, <laughs> difficult to hit. hit and we got tank care on the follow-up for the more accurate shots. So I might actually shoot at the guillotine, although I'm more tempted to shoot at this. I, yeah, I might shoot at the guillotine because if we miss, we're definitely going to accidentally hit that building, which will be awesome because then he'll fall. But looks like we opened up the lake anyway. We got Annie. He's in the sandpaper bun. He's charging on forward. We know we've got a breach on the guillotine. So if we connect up there, it's going to be fantastic. But it's only a 63% chance to connect, almost guaranteeing we're going to nick that building. Stack him 80. So we didn't hit the leg and we didn't hit the building. It's very impressive. Look at that. 35 structure left on it. Well, we got the paladin. We're definitely going to hit the building. <laughs> We're definitely going to hit the building, so we're just going to brace and hold. Because if we can avoid the collateral damage, that's going to save us a little bit of money on this extended engagement. Hold. That's going to be really cool to see a pack of our guests. It crashes what I got warned about shooting mechs on... Oh, gotcha. Okay, thank you for the warning. Thank you, Architect. Yeah? I knew there was something. Bunnies, I've got eyes on an inbound leopard with Republican colors. Marking its landing zone for you. All right, so we got more inbound. That's excellent because we're we've almost run out of RWR to fight. We'll come it around the backside. We've got the shots, but maybe we reserve it for their friends that are about to land. Right? We're just gonna go in and soften the back up here. Should work pretty well. He's only got 65 in the rear. Oh, there we go. We open that right up. That's beautiful. We got deaths. If anyone can keep up, it's gonna be deaths. He's got the green, and he's in a perfect position to actually get information on the new drop that's coming its way we're to stack this in exploit that breach and there's that emperor and he loses one of his long range weapons one of those large lasers we've got war bun bun on the push get on up he's super accurate so who gets to move first we've got the six we've got the five we might as well hit that guillotine sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head that's a very hard shot to connect with but we are connecting just maybe not in the place that we want to so we'll just push up with a bun dome we finally have a little bit of coverage we're gonna go ahead and just try to ooh, 63 if we can connect in the right place he's gone so that hits really hard oh 42 so on the fall he's gonna take additional damage he had 75 structure we had full value there it is now down to 17 and we pushed him back and now he's out he was robbed of was that three initiative phases? Yeah, not just from that single attack, but the one before and that one. The fall caused a negative one. Our uh, our push caused another one. And the attack before that caused another one. So he went from six all the way down to, well, now two. <laughs> that must hurt because he thought he'd get a chance, but he didn't. But at least he can now decorate the top of a building. We got an emperor He's pushing on in, not very fast. But he's getting into cover. Maybe he's going to fall. Looks like he is. And, uh, well, he tried. That's the important part, right? That he tried. He tried. Well, <laughs> hopefully our allies are going to be able to... Yep, they are. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we don't have to deal with this. Let's just try and get a line on the reinforcements that are about to come, yeah? Their suicide. Well, I mean, what option did he really have? I guess he could have he could have started jumping towards where his allies are going to be. But really, all this is going to do is draw attention to them. He might actually be very heroic. You never know. He was kind of thinking, I don't want to draw attention to our allies. Instead, I shall lie here and look at the sky and the enemies will definitely attack me. And that way will buy my allies time to engage. But more likely, he just wanted to get in and cover and that was the best thing he could do. And he fell flat on his butt. That's my guess. But I, I like to kind of give him the benefit of the doubt. Although, I don't know how much the benefit of the doubt is going to do him good at the moment. Because oh, we do have the Deus you Bunny. We could kind of flip it around. We've got the Poe. So maybe maybe we work on the Partisan. It's got three active AC5s. And we're going to go in and work, uh, I guess, the right side if we are so lucky. Oh, can we? Oh, we cannot. I can't choose. I guess I'll just shoot anywhere, yeah? Stack it. I forgot I don't have the location designator. Oops, I might have. <laughs> now it's easier to hit him, right? We were able to ta tag him up with a C3 Master, so that's what we wanted to do, right? So we're just going to charge forward with Panzerbun. I almost feel like we should start the... We should start an air airstrike now. I don't know if that's smart, but it seems like it'd be cool. 
we're actually going to use defensive formation this is going to last a couple of turns this turn and the next so this way we're ready for anything that comes our way i think the bunny rain is the perfect guy to head cap that guy but we're just going to go in and work on that partisan instead we've got 90 coming in we're going to go in and target that right side stack him oh but we're hitting the opposite that's okay not the most accurate thing in the world but there's that breach and enemy down beautiful so right now the last guy that is currently on the field that is currently hostile is this one and sometimes he got to just for kicks it straight to the head this is amiel after all he's very good at doing this kind of thing and he dings the dome and the enemy's out that's a double ping to the head lethal damage and now we can move in a position so who's left on the field it is this guy i didn't even know that guy was there what is he doing apparently he's in enjoying the radio hey, opera <laughs> let's let's uh tuck up and we're gonna try and start with a little bit of inferno we're gonna go ahead and attack the ground if we are lucky we'll just kind of lead it right there there we go perfect that means this 80 tonner out here can either just tunnel i don't know if he's trying to turtle up next to this yeah he just wants to be in range of that maybe it's a cool in exchanger maybe maybe it keeps, but he's a vehicle it doesn't even need it that's interesting well we're ready we'll do this this is okay so we get to kind of rest up a little bit we got tank here he's gonna break over to the left side yeah he may be stuck oh excellent well he should maybe try a little bit of careful maneuvering but maybe he's just trying to stay really still so that the bunnies will not notice him right well there's a good way of telling if he's actually stuck right we can always just send this right <laughs> actually you know what we should probably give him the ultimate venn diagram called the bullseye and we're gonna come in with a little bit of burn there there we go excellent it's an arrow for a long tom that's how it reads all right so that's gonna suck let's see what happens i am anticipating that we will fail perhaps a collateral <laughs> collateral damage objective but you know it's the kind of good fail you know the fail where you kind of learn something you learn how hilarious it is bunnies it looks like enemy reinforcements are landing and they're in hot pink did we know there would be reinforcements oh wait i just told you a moment ago didn't i and i also marked their landing zone well it was a possibility smear and you did call it just a moment ago bunnies the new targets are part of the contract so you'll need to take them down as well <laughs> oh man all right, well, these guys are going to have a bit of a rough introduction to the Bunny League. Right now, we see that they've got themselves a Longbow 7Q. They've got a V at 95 tons. They've got another V at 80 tons. And they've got a 100 tonner. That's going to be cool. So who is available? We've got that HBC special. We can run it on out, say hello, kind of tuck ourselves right in the pocket and see what's up with this 80 tonner is he truly stuck? That's the question. Bunnies always do collateral damage. Well, not always sometimes we do sometimes we don't oh we've seen lots of these haven't we bunnies we've seen lots of these in the rattlers employ so we're just going to soften up that right a little bit from 270 down to 93 we've got debts on the approach we've got war bun bun we've got geigen in the bun dome definitely want to push that up i suppose we can get some kind of a line right here push that guy down the basically down to one i well push him down to two hang out I don't know where we connected was it the same side it wasn't the same side but we did seem to hit i think Good to go. so we'll hold here these guys are all later on in the order allies are up it'll be interesting if our allies actually had swarm and fast cam that'd be awesome yeah hey hamster robotic oh my gosh wow we've got a double raid welcome 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 raiders if you're joining us right now we're currently fighting in a battle against the rim world republic and stefan amaris thank you so much for the raid i really appreciate it to robotic battle toaster and hamster thank you so much that is incredible hopefully you're doing well yeah and thank you so much tank i really really appreciate it do we have just want to double check make sure you got a shout out yeah uh let me give you one i'll go tank if you want to get the other <laughs> i'll go ahead and make sure that we can get a proper greeting to our lovely lovely guests here yeah so we've got one for robotic and one for hamster thank you so much for joining us hopefully you had a great stream what were you guys playing yeah golden corral cannot hold him oh my gosh golden absolutely thank you again yeah hell divers too oh my gosh man the last time 
well, almost every time, I say, I think you two are coordinating somehow. On it. And now I know that you guys are the best of friends. That's not... <laughs> it's awesome. Well, we just had, right now, we're kind of messing around with a little bit of Venn diagram madness. If you like Venn diagrams, you're going to like it here. This one is actually a, a very much reminiscent of a bullseye. So it's almost like we're at the bar. This one's an arrow for long Tom. Uh, dr <laughs> drop, yeah. Away Usually me, toaster, and wab that's right. Was it uh, wa Wabalabalam? Is that right? I, I hope I got that correctly. One, one of these days I shall, right? We're coming it around and hopefully we're going to be able to give this guy a little bit piece of our mind. We're going to go in and uh, actually we'll hold here. We'll bring it down to five. Yeah, that's heck yes. High five. We did it fighting and dying together. That's the way. Well, you know what? It's always fun to fight with your alongside your friends and it's always more fun to die alongside your friends. So it sounds like you two have got things down pat, right? I usually just call him a Wabba. Uh, that's probably smarter. I am not. <laughs> I could take some tips from anyone who's willing to share enemy down as we're talking about. So now the right side's clear and all that is, everything that is hostile is contained in this one beautiful diagram right here. So this shot's gonna come on three. They can probably move before that. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get out of the way in time. We've got four, right? So we're just sending it, yeah. I'm kind of thinking we should start with Arrow 4. Mind you, we are sending in Inferno, so this is really going to suck, right? So we got Cyber Gizmo. We're going to send it while we can. There's four in here. We've got a V and three mechs out there. Give him a little bit of heat there. Excellent. Hang tight. And then... Oh, was that... Yeah, our collateral damage is, is failed. Yeah, our collateral damage failed a little bit. That's okay. We'll reserve one. That means whoever's available can move. They didn't move, so now we'll send him more heat. Here we go. Double long, Tom. Pretty sure we'll fit. Yeah, we, we just lost. We lost some buildings there. We went from 4 to 13. Oh, yes. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of burn there. Uh, how hot are they? Uh, they don't look hot right now, but trust me, they're feeling it. Yeah. Let's go in and take a look. First hand, yeah. Came in to try out the new of Heck yes, high five. It seems very, very cool. All right, what do we got out here? We've got the fancy iron clad. All right. So they're looking rather cool for being in the thick of things, but we'll do our very best and just give them a little bit of a ping if we are so lucky. Yeah, the bunnies take care of the bunnies. Yeah, gotta be quick. It's time is limited. Well, if you actually get in, as I understand it, if you get in and log in and trigger the event, I think there's like multiple phases then you at least have it available to you yeah sometimes you got to adjust for kicks hit straight to the head hag 80 razzle dazzle camouflage can't stop the bunnies stack it oh we didn't well we dinged them a little bit scraped a little paint you have to spin the time yes you do you really do stefan amaris is uh he's doing the things well we do have this strafing run so hopefully that's effective we can kind of try that it's been a while I kind of feel like we should probably tag the buildings too. I don't know if it's actually going to do it, but I'd like to try. So we're going to come in with a little bit of McBuster here and hopefully we'll be able to get them. Granted, they could Hell leave yeah. the zone, so it's possible we just wasted 70,000 C bills, but I think it's not ever a waste to send a bunch of AC-20s down from the sky. So we'll just go ahead and poke. We've got that ironclad. We definitely want to hit that guy. We'll give him a little bit of fun right here. Hopefully we'll tag him with the equivalent of an AC-20 from the front. And then he'll get tagged with the equivalent of, well, literal AC-20 from the back. We got Big Bone Bun. We'll cross on out. Get a line. Here we go. Seabill spent on ammo is never a waste. Yes, absolutely. If you're able to keep that fire going, sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Literally all of them. <laughs> there we go. And the longbow is down. That leaves just the three. Just the three. We got Serini. He's got the rain. He's going to push it on up. He's got the 90. If we can keep pushing him back, it's very possible they're not going to be able to move before this strike. Oh my god, I think that guy might be gone. We're just going to send what we got and hope for the best. Yep. All right, there's two left. There's two left now. The ironclad and, of course, uh, the big guy right back there. There he is, that rhino. Uh, we got the bun bun cake will not be in the airstrike that would just be catastrophic we'll stay in a little bit of rubble still maintain our evasion just kind of slip on in give him a little bit of a ping here if we are so lucky we'll just keep pushing back the rhino down to two stack it 
Maybe we don't need the airstrike. <laughs> Maybe we don't need the airstrike. I don't know. Fafnir. I, I kind of wish I could see that guy shoot the four LBX AC-10s again, but he's not the fastest, but at least Watch he's got guy. some... He's got some... Oh, they actually got to shoot. Or did they not? Oh, did he miss? Oh, wow. Did our airstrike miss? Maybe they missed. I mean, they should have another pass, I think. Right? Maybe. Oh, man. We got this made. Did he? They're airstriking us. Oh, there we go. There's the airstrike. There's the little guy. Wow. Uh, we might have... Yeah, we may have missed. I don't know. <laughs> we might have missed. Okay, that's first for everything. Let's get on in there and do it the old-fashioned way, right? Here we go. Hey, left. Good to see you. Welcome. I have a blood ass with quad clanny or PPC. It, too, is a headshot. Oh, my gosh. We think alike. You and Panzer, or you and Tank Hair, have the same idea. Tank Hair's got the big bone bun. He's got that quad clanny or PPC in a very similar style. He just want to do a bit of a flyby. That's right. I mean, after all, you got to buzz the tower, right? All right, there we go. That guy's down. That leaves just the one, the ironclad in all of the Jimmy Jeans. We've got Depths here coming in with a swift kick. Kind of drive this guy unstable, make him feel a little more heat. Yeah, he didn't even hear any shots. He didn't need to. He knew if he'd hit or not. He knew he would miss, so we just saved the ammunition. But still charge us 70,000 C-bills thanks guy well the thing is is you know sometimes you you've got to be an entrepreneur out here in the inner sphere and he knew the bunnies had it taken care of he just wanted to make sure that he could check first you know after all we wouldn't be able to get the maximum experience for our bunnies even though they're all tens but the maximum experience for our bunnies we wouldn't have the opportunity to finish the job yep, so we decided that he wanted to make sure that we had all of the opportunities available to us i quite frankly am very thankful i think he's a very considerate gentleman but i would like it if he didn't charge us seventy thousand seed you know he loaded the firework around that's right oh my gosh i just picked up a daishi that had 80 rpbcs and one skull oh my <laughs> jammer high five that's what we're talking about one skull indeed that is excellent i think you have the appropriate amount of clanny rppcs oh uh, that guy is not feeling so ironclad right now and there we go beautiful three salvageable parts and that's all she wrote that was kind of rough bunnies for them and hp's pc well done all right bunnies total win total win will the bunny league suffer a part loss that is a no congratulations to those who had the faith? Yeah, while the janitor stole the daishi. Oh, excellent. If the janitor can do it, that means he must be cleaning house, right? <laughs> He's cleaning clans, yeah? But it only cooled three or auto shut down. Well, so we actually picked up a dire star with, I think, a thir 13 clanny or PPCs. And we got that one specifically because we wanted the PPCs. So it sounds to me like you got exactly what you need. It shut down because it wanted to save all of this stuff inside so that you can take it for yourself and use it to better effect, right? All right, you just got to distribute it amongst your pilots. Let's bring this over. We've got negative 403,000. We might have cost the company a little bit of cash. We might have maybe had a little bit of collateral damage there, but it was worth it. It was funny. And now we've got our Emperor. We've got the Highlander part. We've got three parts of a Scott. Ooh, hello, Nightstar. There we go. I'm gonna grab that while we can. Coolant pod. XL engines perhaps to sell. I'm actually, I'm thinking, although between the XL engines, the actual parts, they actually gave us three of an ironclad. I think I'll grab that because I think that'll sell pretty well. Three, two, and zing, that's right. Oh, look at that three quarters of a longbow three quarters of an ironclad we've got half of an emperor half of a guillotine a full night star a full partisan with all the ac5s we'll clear the ac5s the medium pulse the small pulse the xl engines for 150,000 c bills 12 tons of lrm ammunition and we will go like that not bad at all we actually have a lot of stuff to sell because after all we got a lot of parts we're at 14 million right now we've been just raking in the dough and spending the dough so that's why we don't really worry too much about the buildings right yeah oh heck yes there is that ppc build that is designed to fall asleep each time it fires i forget the chassis i think it is the dire star there's a it's a, a daishi as well and it's got a bunch of omni hard points and each of them is loaded I, I think it's like the beef special is that right i think that's what the bunny said 
and it's got 13 clan or ppcs your shoot it catastrophically melts down but if you can hit oh my god the guy's probably the other guy's going to sleep permanently and you're going to sleep until at least you can recover right so here we go we got battle mech repairs apparently is that because we've got new mechs to put together i think probably the i know the night star was a possibility let's go over to the mech bay and see ya it's not the giga drill what's the giga drill Did, have we seen the giga drill here got our mech bay too we'll go over to storage we've got stuff to sell we got our lights got our mediums got our heavies we want to clear some of this stuff out we got the exterminator to clear for one royal ostrock to clear for one we've got the guillotine to clear for two you notice our money just shooting on up there we've got that dragoon this is the dragoon with the double uh death rays i believe and then we've got a lot that we can put together we get the partisan we've got the longbow 7q although the ow2 has 50 lrms and this has 50 as well four and six versus a full eight let's go all the way here so we'll get the ow2 we'll also put together these are all chassis that we can sell yeah talk about being blinded by the 16 oh my god okay i stand corrected oh this one i'm excited about rifleman three developed by stefan amaris as a wunderwaffen during the amaris civil war that destroyed the star league the rifleman three was quickly destroyed and forgotten for centuries however in the old rwr the rim collection discovered a hidden bunker with the rifleman three and plans for its construction in the late 3050s this is a newly built rifleman 3 though bereft of the null signature system oh my god could it handle that kind of heat that's crazy where the rf2a carries quad gauss rifles the rf2b instead carries a quartet of improved binary lasers for heavy range firepower it also speeds up somewhat and mounts a trio of jump jets for maneuverability oh wow that's quite ambitious i would say we got a banshee out here there it is and we got the night star excellent there she is the genesis of the night star lies in the amaris civil war the mech itself was only produced until the first succession war when both of the factories and engineers capable of producing the night star were destroyed or killed the night star is armed to keep an enemy at standoff ranges the primary weapons carried are a pair of gauss rifles each of which can strip almost a ton of armor off an enemy unit these are backed up by an er ppc that is capable of hitting a target at 690 meters for defense at short ranges the mech has two medium pulse lasers and a small so not necessarily the most bloated but it is de it's definitely quite potent that's for sure and we got our emperor we'll clear that half we're shooting up to that 15 million mark that's excellent we got the ironclad maybe we'll hang on to that and let's go in and take a look at all the new stuff here yeah you lucky i want it couldn't originally when made it shoot like three times and shut down or ran out of it <laughs> stealth assault rifleman quad gauss oh my god that's that's terrifying and it's huge just 90 tons a weapon to surpass metal gear <laughs> well let's take a look so we got the longbow this is i'm curious what's on this let's bring this over before we get rid of it right so very nice spread they've got three each on the arms for that accuracy bonus looks like you wouldn't be able to stick yeah you wouldn't be able to stick you would be able to stick lrm 15s on it but you wouldn't be able to stick multiple lrm 20s you basically have to go 20 15 15 at most but that's pretty cool nice layout there very well distributed symmetrical like it longbow combat computer of course we're going to bring that down we've got the banshee we'll go <laughs> we'll bring that down instantly and we got our night star out here so i do want to take a look at that clearly metal gear was just a prototype for this behemoth that's true wow that's a quite a variety of hard points out there it's got three heavy hitters medium range and hit for 276 Obviously, if you do a little bit of finagling, you can do other things. We've got improved heavy gauss hags. This would be a really cool hag machine, but we'll deal with that later. And then the Rifleman 3, the RF2B with a quad improved binary laser. Yeah, it'd be better than Metal Gear as Metal Gear makes no sense because Kojima. But he has cool cinematics. Yeah, yeah. It works. Work it. It's worth working a Night Star. Yeah, Armored Core 6 is awesome. I didn't think I'd like it, but I loved it. Yeah. Oh my God. So it comes with the multi-track, right? grants the multi-shot ability to pilots cockpit fire control system providing targeting and weapons control system so what's interesting is the actual fire control system for multi-track comes with an extra five percent per shot this one does not seem like it does but it is built in so i guess that's kind of neat comes with the xl already the heat efficiency is not that great at 52 uh i i mean you can definitely mess with this for sure yeah i actually love mgs i love mgs 
Talk about emergent gameplay. Holy crap, you can get a lot of it, yeah? No one ever talks about it anymore? Well, it, it was a while ago, but it doesn't mean that it is not potent. It's a very, 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 very flexible game. If you've ever seen videos of people playing with that, it's, it's quite impressive for sure. So we get 10.9. We can actually get a little, squeeze a little bit extra if we've got a gyro excel. I don't think we've got any at the moment, but still not necessary because as far as heat goes, so right now we've got 100, 100 with this. We can probably get an exchanger on there, even if it's just the exchanger one. Sanctuary heat control. Oh, did I accidentally grab? Oh, I did. I kind of zoomed around there, yeah. Saddest thing about the game, your fun is not wrong. That's true. That is true. It has potential. It does. Saddest thing about the game is the wasted content. Dude, um, oh, that was unfortunate. I wouldn't really want. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Oh, I forgot. We had multiple, multiple jump jets, three jump jets on this thing, assault jump jets at that. So they were very, very heavy. So we can definitely cope with this kind of heat for our core. If we need the speed, we can increase it. Obviously, it'll eat up a lot of space but we can get some engine heat sinks in there that's actually not too bad we can get two internally then we have space for seven more seven on six okay so um, we've got our exchanger already improved heat bank we can toss in there we can go with i guess we've got the double heat sink kit so we'll just see what can fit i know they already had some definitely can get in that and that's sitting at 24 24 so what's the heat generation on this 40 each so you basically have yeah if we got a better exchanger right here that could help a lot and we can actually shave off another like 12 i would imagine so i mean you could definitely pull this down you could go with a clan double heat sink kit i'll probably make it a little better very very cool though it does have potential i'm pretty excited about this guy yeah Amara's a terrible tyrant, but he did design some comedy mechs. Well, you know, sometimes it takes laughing at yourself to be able to design some amazing things. Let's go ahead and see. Right now, we've got another contract coming in three. Our bun guest. This is the one with the Death Ray and the LBX AC-10. It's coming online in five days, so it's not going to be ready for the next one. If we double check the score, we are down to a 27 point delta now. We came down from an over... well, almost a 50 point delta down to 27 within three combative encounters right so very very nice indeed let's go on over to the command center we'll see what we got take the bait oh yeah i forgot we've been doing this in like six in-game days kind of crazy and we'll see what the next one is it is attack and defend oh my god this is this is <laughs> there might be a lot of a lot of mechs on the field proxy war attack and defend holy crap it's been a while uh, shouldn't have left you. <laughs> well, we do have some fast movers. I kind of wish we had the bar guest with us because that would absolutely fit the bill. But you know what? Our group is kind of good. If we bring the paladin, I mean, that's definitely going to make things work, right? But maybe we need something a little bit more reactive, right? So maybe instead of the Shiltron and stuff, perhaps... Ooh, I forgot we got the Partisan too. We got the Heavy Carrier. Maybe we come in with a little bit of Mortar Carrier. Always nice to send out 40 Mortars. And then as far as our, uh, I would like something faster. We've got our longbow, got the rifleman, got the solar bun that's super close, got our new night star. We've got the streaky bun. We've got the, the DACA would apply a lot of DACA. That's for sure. I almost want to bring our, our bun, boom, bun. I mean, we're definitely, definitely not gonna, um, let's be real. We're definitely not gonna not get collateral damage if that's a thing, but uh it should be pretty good <laughs> it should be pretty good we'll get superior there so we can kind of shoot and move yeah over everybody else i think this has been working pretty well we still want to test the panzer bun out so this seems perfectly fine let's do it four and a half skull difficulty attack and defend in the lowlands will the bunny league suffer a pilot part loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got yeah they're frequently your roommates a fair point collateral damage well the building should have ducked it's true it's true the last time that we fought against the buildings, they kind of seem to have at least learned a little bit of slip. So we shot, we tried to hit the building, called the mobile fortress, and it kind of just went, Shh. and I was thinking, oh man, that, that kind of sucks. I mean, this guy's definitely taking some evasive classes, you know? But these buildings here are typically less trained, 
they're more like i don't know ashigaru or something like that they're just sort of like the the peasant buildings out there that are just trying to make a living and this time we're just hoping that they're not gonna have been taught by the upper warrior elite cast and we're gonna be able to just slam in as many mortars and fun things as possible and kind of let send them off in a, with a bang right we would like to send people off with a bang knowing hb if the game had white phosphorus he'd load all the mechs for it on civilian targets yes yes absolutely absolutely white phosphorus is so cool because it glows so brightly i mean where else are we going to be able to provide enough light in the darkness that is this universe unless we use white phosphorus and it's it's not to be hidden away by warriors only and warrior bunnies we should spread it to the masses i think it's important to have that kind of equal opportunity stance on things like wp um we usually just call it the burn how about <laughs> The great thing is if the bad guys blow up the same or more number of buildings, you don't get charged. That's... Oh, really? Really? It's like a reverse race? So as long as the bad guys blow up seven and we blow up six, then it's fine? I like those kind of rules. Who made these rules? That part of the Geneva suggestion? Geneva checklist? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It was a checklist this time. They're phosphorus grenades for the high velocity. Oh, really? Wow, I think we've got to get some HVACs, don't you? Well, should we get some HVACs? You finally understand. Welcome to the league. <laughs> High five, what we're talking about. We have so many bunnies out there with understanding beyond their, well, beyond HP's understanding. That's what I like. Pull me forward with you, bunnies. Pull me forward. Been in there for a while, apparently. Oh my God, I found out. You did? Oh my gosh. I am so jealous. Maybe I shall ride on the tailcoats of your greatness and find myself a little bit of bringing the light to the civvies, right? After all, maybe we'll go and find an capellan world and we'll also bring it to those poor poor orphans out there all right we're coming on in we are landing for the first time there's going to be an attack and defend there's going to be gargantuan there are oh it's not in a oh that's excellent we're not in an urban environment we are expecting the rwr forces to begin their assault on this facility at any moment if they destroy it our employers lose their eyes they just lose their eyes they'll scrub the mission at that point so here's the plan. We're going to hold the Republican force and keep them busy and well away from the friendly fire, <coughs> friendly facility. Meanwhile, the Tortugan strike force will be inbound to the AO. Once they land, they'll engage everyone friendly and hostile and generally everything. The goal is to get them to take the brunt of the enemy fire. We move in and clean up the mess afterwards. The number one priority is to destroy that base and cause as much white phosphorus damage as possible. Once it's gone, the RWR brass will call off the assault and will be clear to evac. Questions? Yeah, whose whole crap idea was this? Not helpful. All right, good luck. Wow, he's full of intelligence, isn't he? I don't think I've ever had such a brilliant intelligence briefing ever. <laughs> Darius, what is this? What the heck? Ammunition's rare. I've only looted it so far. Was on an enforcer. Oh, mercenaries always have fancy. Well, they often can have fancy stuff. Yeah. I was referring to the exploding building exchange. I think the mech grenade launchers have inferno rounds, though. Oh, now you're talking our language. That's what we're talking about. We're going to go ahead and reserve just a little bit, tiny bit at a time. We'll coax them on forward. Don't know who's out there. They got a 75 tonner, a 70 tonner. They got a 95 tonner. They're in this very convenient bowl in the terrain, kind of almost like we could just sort of, I don't know, drop some inferno let it drip 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 even if we miss so we're gonna hold and hope that they commit trying to get out of said bowl or they go deeper into the middle of the bowl either way it's gonna be helpful to the bunnies they don't have the sight and we sort of know where they're gonna be oh did he oh all right our allies are doing some work let's go we've corrupted hp he's gonna be tried at the hog in no time i don't know what the hog is but i'm sure if the I, I, yeah, I don't have anything for that. I don't know. What is the hug? <laughs> I mean, at least we're tried somewhere, right? They give us this, you know, a bit of a trial, it sounds like. Maybe, maybe it's not a fair trial, but it's still a trial in name, I would assume, right? Wait. All right, we're moving. Coffee? We're is ready to go. We're going to go in and push on up, get a little bit of sight on these guys. No. There we go in the distance. The Op Four is holding forces back at the captured base. Presumably to cover their intel teams. They're optional targets, bunnies. But of course, we're going to take them. We've got another Dragoon. It's the AEM Dragoon. This is not the one with the double death rays. We've got the Onion up here. He's the easiest one to hit. We're going to go in and start working that guy. 
stack him, soften him up a little bit. Fortunately, our allies already locked him for us. It's like gift wrapping time. We got the sandpaper bunch gonna stay up on the edge of the bowl. And we're gonna go in and work on the best chance. Sure, we'll hit the same onion on the damage side. Stack Hag 80, we got that breach beautiful. We're hitting the head like four times. He took two injuries on that, that, that exchange. Hey, oh, Hague, International Criminal Court. Oh, I like it, ICC. It sounds very fancy. Obviously, we've upgraded our place in the world if the Hague has decided to recognize the criminality of the Bunny League. Some people said the Bunny League is a nobody, but now the Hague has confirmed our validity, right? I'm sure that's how it works in the Intersphere, right? Right? Ooh, that's a lot of medium lasers. Maybe we should, yeah, let's work on the Dragoon instead. <laughs> I think it might be easier to commit some, you know, some WC. Let's just call it my code. Maybe then the Hague won't know what to do with us. They'll just kind of be like, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what an WC is. They're obviously talking about the water closet. Way, they must be British in origin. And in that, in that case, they just need to use the restroom. That seems fine to me. That is probably our best defense right now. So I don't think they're going to have much on us. We can just demand the proof and they'll just say, yeah, we heard you talking about the WC. And we're like, yeah. And? Oh, good point. Good point. All right. You're free to go. But you are nationally recognized, and we all think that you're awesome. <laughs> Why, thank you so much. We are the Bunny League after all. That's, that's probably how I would imagine it going. Is that the truth? Probably not. But is it entertaining to me? Yes, absolutely. Let's go ahead and try and hit these guys. We've got already a few dings on the Dragoon. Might be able to get a breach or something. After all, Amiel's not exactly gentle. He's only gentle when he wants to be, but right now he's feeling a little enraged at the thought of not being recognized by the Hague. The Hague would probably be quite in the inner sphere, or, or quit. Would probably quit. Oh, they would quit easy yeah. easy so we get our recognition and we don't even get tried that sounds like a good deal to me got our bun dome we'll go ahead and overload this here we'll push it on up kind of get on the outside of the shenanigans they're trying to hit us with a little bit of a thump but i think we've got a little bit of an advantage kind of sensor impair these guys both of them already been hit both of them already marked up pretty significantly not this guy and whoever that guy is maybe we should target out there and just sort of guess that there might be artillery there so we do have serve cold mm, well, i guess we'll get out of the thumper area we'll hold fast cam we've got guided we've got it Ooh, i love inferno but i'm thinking a little bit of acid stack would be excellent yeah sweet lord that's ams tastic that's right it has saved our butt quite a few times although if i'm perfectly honest we found out we might need a little more ammo we only have 1,100 rounds, and it only lasted one turn. <laughs> it only lasted one round against the Rattler, and that, that was a little bit much. Oh, hello. We got a little bit of love here. Looks like the Deus is completely unprotected. Sounds about right. That's right. They had a significant volume of firepower, and we were trying to make sure that we were protected, and it protected us for as long as it had ammunition. Commander. Well, we've got our Bun Rotter. Let's go in and move it on up. Should we brave the Circle of Doom? I don't think so, but we will get a little bit closer to our evac zone. It's kind of like a safety blanket right here, yeah? Invest in a J27. I did, believe it or not. I brought a J27 on our... Yep. I brought it on our very first attempt, but it didn't last very long. It's not exactly an assault vehicle. <laughs> The Hague would be under Comstar, which, you know, would defeat the purpose. Well, Comstar likes the bunnies, kind of. I mean, we do pay our, we do use our Comstar gift card, you know? So, I mean, they kind of like that, enjoy that we believe so much in them that we would buy a credit card with them. So now I am the owner of a direwolf bee. Heck yes, high five. That's what we're talking about. The bee is awesome. Is that the one with the, the DACA as well? Let's go in and lock. He's on two. We'll lock down that Dragoon. He's down a zero. It's not war crimes if we do it. Oh, well, there you go. Then Comstar completely understands the Bunny League and how they operate. At least we've got something in common, right? All right, we're, we're headed on over, getting as close as we can. Should be able to kind of rough this guy up a little bit. Give him a little bit of a ding. He does have a lot of ding for our ding, so I'm hoping that we'll ding him harder. We'll stack him here. He's got 10. I got a breach on that side, 40 structure not much left we got superior he's got the bum boom bun if we are so lucky we'll be able to snap this off no problem we're going in indirect we're going for high explosive and we're hoping to connect a little bit here oh boy he's got two structure the bunny league curse for sure he lives he's got a plethora of lasers 
Bunnies, there are more hostiles entering the area. I've marked their landing zone. Wow, how helpful. Thank you, Darius. Become a direwolf bee goes dock it dock it dock. Heck yes. All right, HBC. Let's go in and finish these guys. There's that hostile drop, but I think we'll be okay. We'll get in closer. We'll just kind of build up our resolve a little bit. Hopefully pop this guy. HB, for us, it's more not a war crime if it's the first time. And also not a war crime if no one reports it. That's so true, though. I mean, isn't that the way of the world in general? I mean, if you got something worthy of being in the Guinness World Book of Records, they require that someone witness it, right? I mean, so it's kind of the same with war crimes. You know, you're going for the world record of taking out as many orphans as you can in one salvo, and then you got to have someone there to verify it. You can't just say, oh, yes, I took down X number of orphanages all at once. It was great. I cackled like a mad bunny without someone there to say yes. In fact, they cackled for the next two days, and they even had white phosphorus in case they missed. Oh, hello. Boss, I'm, uh, I'm seeing turrets powering up. Big ones. Holy All right, don't worry, Samir. This is fine. We've dealt with turrets many a time. We're just going to soften up the Dragoon here. Give him a little ping. No survivors, no witnesses, profit. Someone, probably. Yes, I agree with that logic. I will most likely convert it to an LRM carrier because the problem with the clan mechs and BTA, they hardly have any armor. They can be rather fast, though, which is kind of nice, too. Oh, we've got an Insanity PBC Mark II turret on our side. I'm so glad that is on our side. That's all I have to say about that. So we're, we're headed on forward. We're going to hold our fire here and we'll hang tight. We could have snapped off a shot, but unfortunately, I did not think that went through. We're going to climb on forward and come in with a little bit of guided. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch a breach or two. We've got 40 guided mortar rounds that he cannot stop. No pro. Oh, yeah, that guy done. <laughs> All right. That is totally not a war crime. We were just clearing the landing zone. So their allies have a free and clear place to land. Well, let's just make sure we've got a good concave as well. I mean, that'll be excellent. Maybe we can. Oh, they've got a rhino up here. It's a lot of LRMs. They've got a. Oh, it looks like we got. A 75 tonner. We got a 75, an 80, and an 80. We got to keep moving to the base. After all, it's mission critical that we take care of business. You know what I mean? So we're just going to hop it up, get a little bit of sight on everybody. There we go. That's what we're talking about. We've got the beautiful MRM 90. Oh, my God. Let's... <laughs> That's not good. We've got the Royal Black Knight. Hello, nurse. America's favorite Royal Black Knight right there. We've got a Shrek AC carrier. He's got all the AC. Got the Bulbous Flashman. That is a lot of energy. Holy crap. He's got three large lasers and five medium a flamer and a little bit of AMS to top that off. And then a mortar carrier to match our own. Can we lock them? We don't have that kind of range, so we're just going to go ahead and take a shot at those who would accept our superiority. This is awfully close right here. A right side's getting whittled away a little bit. Yeah. Clan mechs and BTA are sort of one class lower in weight regarding armor, so assaults are armored like inner sphere heavies and so on. The Shrek AC carry is just disappointing. Well, it would have been nice if we brought that quad AC5. I forget what what it was called. Oh, the Heavy Partisan. That had a little more Daka than that guy, but, but that guy has a lot of support weapons, right? It's got a lot of support. I feel like we can probably get... Can we actually destroy the buildings with a strafing run? Is that allowed? Or better yet, can we... Aren't they going to land somebody here? Destroy Republican defenders, destroy turrets, destroy attackers, and destroy reinforcement wave, which is coming in 10 rounds. Oh, so the landing zone that Darius marked is not really an issue yet. Oh, that's... That guy got us worried for nothing. Nothing at all. We're just going to go in and sprint on over, make sure we're heading towards the hostiles out here. And where are we at? We got Serini. He's got the bunny rain. They do not have much evasion at all. We might want to start with Amul. He's very good at dishing out the juice. If we are so lucky, he's going to be able to wipe out the thumper before it has, we have any issues at all. Oh, uh, that's the Royal Black Knight. Do we even have sight on that? Oh, we don't. It's on the turret. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Let's go in and ping this guy instead. We're looking for a little bit of a breach. Might be kind of difficult, though. He's kind of a hardy, hardy nut to crack. He's got 67. Between armor and structure, he's got 107. We got Serini on the follow-up. A little bit of bunny rain. The stack in 90. We've got that nice line of sight. It's going to be excellent. 99% chance to hit with those 90 LRMs into... 
the side. All right. <laughs> High five, there we go. So goodbye, Republican attackers. Now all they can do is defend. They're on the back foot. This is what we like to see. This is how we attack and how we defend. There's that thump, it comes out. It is gonna connect. Ooh, poor big bone bun. Fortunately, we do have some beefy legs on the big bone bun. So that means he's gonna be able to take a few mind shenanigans. He bought a tank. He brought a tank to a mech fight. Well, the Royal Black Knight brought a... It brought a more efficient oven to a mech fight. That thing is probably gonna run kind of hot. We can definitely make it a little less efficient, that's for sure. We are all about managing efficiency here. There's that Flashman. He's he's also a little bit hot, and boy, is he kind of bulbous. Oh my god. I'm I'm actually legit glad I didn't get hit with that. That could have been maybe not so fun. I do like a little bit of a laser massage, but that one is a little bit ridiculous. But we've got our sandpaper bun. I think he can push up. I think he's got the pro appropriate range. And I think we don't have to worry about heat too much that we can probably jack up our damage a little bit because we can't hit it very effectively look at look at that it's all over the place maybe we gotta we need a little bit of a choke on the end of our hang right we want to tighten up that group and we got tank carrying the big bone bun he's gonna walk right through doesn't even care get on out take a little bit of a ding to the legs right there depends on the tank you can sort of call the rattler oh yes that is kind of a tank <laughs> that is kind of a tank well tell you what we can give them a little burn they were looking like they were doing so well. If we are so lucky, we'll be able to connect and make him not do so well. We want to maybe show him what it's like to be a regular Black Knight. There we go. Give him a pass on a little heat there. I don't know if it did much. Actually, I don't know if it did anything. <laughs> we hit him directly, but it didn't seem to do much. I guess we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out as he actually activates there. They got their Shrek AC with all the machine guns and the three AC5s. We've got four and a heavy Partisan, but it is a little bit heavier. Here comes the 40 mortars that we cannot negate, yeah? Hey, Hamster. Dip out as it's getting a smidge late here. Hamster, thanks so much for the raid. Thank you again. I hope you have a great rest. I'm glad you had a great stream, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, man. High five. The Rattler reminds me of the Bane Blade. Ooh, yes, from 40k. That was excellent. And it is definitely, I would say, harder than the Bane Blade. Nice thing about the Bane Blade is it, it had, well, not thousands and tens of thousands of armor as well as... AOE the size of the map, right? Looks like our Tortugan friends have arrived. You'll need to get them shooting at the target facility. Uh, so are you sure about this? You see the size of those mechs? What are you talking about? Our mechs? I mean, yes. Oh, these guys? These mechs are what? 85 tons? Oh! <laughs> uh, that is appropriate for the periphery variant. 40 Inferno Rocket Launcher and 80 Reloading Rocket Launcher and Double Large Binary on a Stalker. We've got an Atlas S, Streak SRM4, LRM20, SRM6, Quad Medium Laser, and an AC20 for a little bit of punch. Got a Victor with Double Medium Cannon, Heavy Rifle, Reloading Rocket Launcher 40, and a Medium Chemo Laser times 2, and a Zeus. Okay, so I would love to AoE these guys. That'd be great. Thank you so much. We got the HBC Special. If anyone's going to make it happen, maybe we should hold. <laughs> they get to go on what? start on five okay so we can go to six essentially right we can go to six so who can actually do something we've got that we got war bun bun we got guy again in the bun dome uh we shall i guess extend our set right here if we can shoot the guy who's able to go soonest so we got five five two and three the zeus has an ac5 lrm15 i feel like the cannon's a little scarier so i'm just gonna go ahead and push him back on the order to four we got a good ding center impaired there we go And we've got go. War Bun Bun, who actually is able to do no the shoot. same for his yeah, bunny. Funny. So sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Shot on Zeus, still has the spawn protection. But more importantly, even though we didn't connect, we pushed him back Reporting on the initiative order that allows us to push up one in additional. So go in a reserve again. Now we've got three on the grouping. And then our, I believe, over here, they have someone on five. Is that right? Yep, there's that Royal Black Knight. I thought we hit this guy with double inferno, but he seems to be okay. Okay. I hear you. Well, we got our mortar carrier. Be nice to kind of stack these guys. Got air burst, got acid. I mean, acid would be fantastic. We'll go ahead and stack here. We'll hit that victor if possible. And if, if we miss, we're going to splash his allies a little bit. There we go. That's awesome. 
we like to be equal opportunists once again so we're just spreading the love for their welcoming party and then they're on four so that means the zeus so let's hold one the zeus does have an opportunity to go most of the initial lance on the right side has an opportunity to go and we are still as yet to push straight down the middle and assault their fort but we have had simultaneous drops out here it looks like nine rounds so nine rounds of what we have in front of us at least there's the zeus and he doesn't seem to be able to engage that's great so maybe we'll let them be right maybe we'll let oh, them man. be a little bit we got the dais bunny we'll continue to push just so we can actually target this thing this their thumper turret as well so we're going to utilize defensive formation that's going to help all the bunnies a little bit for the next two turns get us that 20 percent damage reduction across this turn and the next and now they're gonna go to engage the Deus Bunny is relatively hardy. It has a decent volume of armor. It has good evasion for its size, six evasion on top of it, and it's standing currently in cover as well. So hopefully that's going to keep it alive. We've got the Panzer Bun. I feel like I'm going to hold with a Panzer Bun. I think where we're going to get our strength right now is in the airstrike. So I'm actually going to hold there. We'll let the other guys move because it seems like they're going to move in the general the same direction i don't think they're going to split up too much they're not the fastest right and the cool thing about that is i don't think they're going to shoot either so they're going to lose that spawn protection that's excellent as you can see they're still grouped we're going to go all the way down to one we just have to be careful we don't hit done like we've done so many times before there's the counter reserve they're kind of reserving down to one and okay so two the guys can go atlas s they're still grouped up. That's great. That means Dexmex can actually kind of attack wherever he wants. And then last but not least, going to be that Victor with all of the cannons and rifles and reloading rocket launchers. And there's the push. Okay, so now it's on us. Excellent. So these guys all have one to two evasion. We've got that guy with like nothing. And then, of course, we got the Thumper turret. Who are the three? That's the question. It's all of the remainder right there. Okay, that's fine. I say we just ignore the guys in the bowl and we try and focus on these guys right here. We can kind of give them a little bit of a ping. We'll go one, two, and three. Just separate it a little bit. It would be nice if we could send one to each. We're just trying to spread the love. We'll give two to B and one to C. There we go. I left for a bit. What mission is this? Well, currently we're in an attack and defend. It's been a while since we've done it against the RWR and we are out in the open and we're getting a lot of assaults on the attack this is their first turn so they cannot engage so we're kind of taking advantage of that and hoping that maybe we might be able to drop their numbers delay them kind of mess up their day uh, as we push on by and try and kind of start bombarding from afar on the enemy on the base yeah good to go uh, we got our sandpaper bun now is not the time we got a panzer bun i mean now is the time we can definitely strafe these guys so if we go for it we'll stay still we've got the strafe we've got the back here so we can kind of go like so and we're gonna go maximum we'll come in with the let's come in with the eisensturm i mean the fact you can get two gauss rifle hits is kind of amazing and we'll just overlap like that that should be pretty good i think from the back side and i don't know when it's gonna fire but it seems like it might be now <laughs> yeah no worries thank you for asking classy Ooh, hello a little bit of burn but fortunately we can jump out of that seems like i don't know things things have changed how they work i feel i don't know we got tank hair oh, no. can we climb up yeah we'll climb up and we'll just kind of hit the guys anywhere if we are so lucky we got a stalker we got the victor we've got the atlas there we go sometimes you got it just for kicks it straight yeah. to the head that's ah, looking pretty good. We got one in there. Beautiful. So he's reeling a tad. And I think it's... Is it just the last guy right here? Okay, so it's going to be this V. Oh, no. There we go. The Flashman. And doesn't have a target. So it should be all us now, right? So we got our sandpaper bun. We got what Serini the and the bunny rain. I mean, like, hitting these guys is going to be excellent. We could definitely do it, but we're going to do zero. St yeah, I don't know. Is that actually, is that, has anyone else had this where 
we're not doing stability damage at all or have things changed do lrms not do stability damage is that is that like by design i, I think i might have missed that one yeah yeah uh sandpaper bun will kind of bring ourselves over and then we're gonna follow up on the atlas right here he's already got a bit of a ding to the dome oh that's not it that's the victor we got the zeus and sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head he's already opened up the 15 two and enemy down beautiful so the atlas is off the field that should mean it's only two gauss rifle blasts to the back of the zeus to the back of the stalker and the back of this burning guy <laughs> the victor the victor it. all right got our bun bun cake let's push on we're gonna push on forward Confirm. getting closer to those turrets are you gonna try and kill the crazy huge mech that you looked at yesterday i want to try something towards the end of the stream yes i have i don't know if i'll try to kill it but i do want to try a setup that i'm interested in but yes so thank you for asking yeah we'll bring ourselves to the front i guess come around yeah that said 69.7 hit chance on the headshot looks like it was purely because yes yes it it really it really is i mean take a look at this right so we got our victor and right here ours is 70. <laughs> we either we are the worst XCOM players known to man uh well we gave a log to bloody doves as well and he was here he was able to see it so i'm not too sure what's up with that yeah sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head oh actually that looked like it hit though okay so that one hit i don't know that was not the best example that was not the well maybe it was a good example i don't know i'll stick around to see that all right classy i'm glad thank you so much yeah all right got our bun boom bun also the stability damage thing is not an intentional it started with yesterday okay okay awesome thank you for letting me know i was curious about it and i wasn't sure if i wasn't sure if maybe i should switch up tactics a little bit <laughs> thank you so much for letting me know i really appreciate that yeah we'll come in direct with these guys and we've got our zeus so we'll just kind of give a little bit of a ping to this guy double inferno direct hits oh man we got i think made. all right there's the airstrike all right beautiful i don't know if the <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's supposed to oh okay, yeah that's fine sometimes you have to open the cockpit and let the sunlight in with small lasers all of them that's true that's true oxford in this case, it was very, very helpful to the ventilation. And that guy decided to go on siesta, right? He was kind of in a bit of a hot spot. Although, you know, hot enough, let's say. We got Dex. We're on the move. He did such a good job. I almost feel like he should kind of do a bit of a re repeat. Maybe we'll come on forward and... Ooh, we got the smoke out here. We've got the side. We're going to stay outside of that strike zone. And we're going to try it again. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. 70.2 percent apparently there we, we hit with one and that was the side i don't think that was lethal damage yeah it was not lethal damage we got the breach there most of them hit that breach on his right torso and then we got a couple more on the follow-up and whiff with one and that guy is still a bit of a powder keg but that would be the end of that airstrike right as he flies on look at it looks awesome like a stealth fighter for your pilots doing the called shots, are you using the gear or the pilot skill? The percentages are definitely whack. I am... So I've got location designators. Not on all of them. Some of them have precision master. So as an example, like like Gigan, he has precision master. The Bun Dome... Actually, does he have precision master? That's a good question. We'll have to take a look. We can take a look at all the mechs. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to wrap this one up pretty quickly, yeah? Thank you for asking, Lojon. I'll just go in and ping here. So we use precise strike. We didn't have the opportunity to select the head. So Gigan, I don't think he has Precision Master. I know that War Bun Bun is... He's got a location designator. Oh, no. So War Bun Bun has the skill. So here you go. So War Bun Bun, I know, has that display. This one's Precision Master. So Precise Strike. And there we go. And this one's at 69.7. Although, let's be real. War Bun Bun hits the head quite a lot. He didn't hit it that time. So he's a little off today. <laughs> Commander. And we got dead. We are finally, we've been sprinting this whole time. We're going to drive it on in. Try and get some shots on the thumper turret. Yeah. So you're seeing 70% headshots on both. Bloody Duffs asked me to try to duplicate the issue. I couldn't. So I figured to come back. Yeah, absolutely. If there's anything we can do to help test, I would be more than happy to do so. Because this is a for science channel. It's for fun too, right? What and I just I appreciate the fact that you're, you're trying. I mean, that's awesome. Super, super appreciated. Max speed. 
Let's go ahead right and hit. Here. We got our heavy mortar carrier. I think I'm just going to start beaming up the bull. So we got fast cam. We've got inferno. I am. I feel like. I don't know. Let's see if it translates any heat. Because we've got 40 inferno mortars. I feel like I, I don't know if it's just me but I feel like stability damage from like the LRMs stability damage from MRMs all of that like we're not taking that right like you had mentioned and I feel like with the heat it's not transferring heat because I know we did a double long tom blast last night as well for the seismic charge the SC and it, it didn't well that was stability as well I guess um but this guy seems to be kind of okay I don't know <laughs> Uh, we got the Deus Bunny. Is this smart? And we are going to just, I guess, pull on over, get over to... We'll hop on over to the left here. Oh, man. You got me. And we should be able to hit that turret pretty well, yeah? No. I don't think it applied any heat. So I think that's a little odd. Uh, headshot calls are supposed to max out at about 14. Yes, yes. So I saw, even last night, I remember the bunnies saw it happen the first attempt on the rattler with like 69.7 it was specifically on our bun rotter v2 the 75 ton uh, marauder with war bun bun at the helm and then afterwards we checked it later on when we fought the rwr in the beginning of this flare-up and it said 13.7 percent so you're absolutely right that is what we were seeing and um but as of today it's been showing up as the higher 69.7 or 70.2 percent those are the two numbers that i've been seeing for our chances for headshots at the moment yeah didn't show a floaty would have to see logs to be sure okay cool because i know when i did the update i was a little paranoid so i deleted the whole mods folder and i deleted the cache so i kind of came in with like a full clean slate so i don't i don't know if that helps us like a point of reference on the install got our bunny rain although this guy right here i think he might have a bit of trouble because we do have 90 and we are going to target the breach so it doesn't matter about any sort of shenanigans or, or anything like that we're just gonna pure destruction works flawlessly yeah take a look at that that's awesome yeah that's awesome double thumper where we used to be right yeah where we used to be that's awesome we got our thunder bun just gonna go in and drive it in and hopefully leave that guy maybe in the dust there it is beautiful and that's clear so that's the first of the waves that are coming on in everything's looking fine yeah and we got two on the two on the right side here yeah royal black knight he is definitely <laughs> He's definitely feeling scouty, that's for sure. He's kind of taken a a note from the Haussteiner book, I'm sure. He's in quite illustrious company. And then we also have the other turrets are on four as well. So there's the flashman that was in all the heat. Since that full barrage, full alpha. But that's okay. We can shirk that off. It's not a problem. Got our big bone bun. I will walk it up. We've got that flashman. So now this right here. So just for reference, I'm going to show this as a targeting computer on it. So tank hair has the precision master skill. So he's going to go ahead and select right here. And it says 69.7%. This is on the awesome 8Q2. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Good connect. And we got a kill. This is really, really accurate though. It's got the assault targeting computer on it it's got the virtual it's the awesome 8q2 with a virtual reality piloting pod inside so it's got a lot of bonuses for sure but the display uh does look higher obviously yeah but it, it doesn't seem to change the functionality at all we got the sandpaper bun we're gonna go ahead and get on up and we got our royal black knight here so the sandpaper bun on the other hand has the location designator Animatter has Ballistic Mastery. He does not have Precision Master. So this is purely off of the location designator, giving us the opportunity to select the head. This is the Royal Black Knight, close range, hack 80. 
Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks it straight at the head. 69.7 on the display. Locking in. Always. And we're able to whittle away at it just a little bit, yeah? We brought it from 45 down to 10. I look like, at least visually, like three impacts on the dome. Shots inbound. Awesome. And I think, I think this is all the turns should be ours now. We got our bun, boom, bun. One thing I, I don't know if it's supposed to, but one thing I did notice is that if I go indirect and I send in heat, it doesn't really burn things like the long tom, but maybe that's how it's designed. Uh, if we look at the burn, this was the, was it? Oh, it was the mortar carrier. Mortar carrier did this. We've got indirect long tom cannon inferno rounds shot out. We'll connect directly, sure. Yeah. So we, we do have the impact damage here. And then on this one, it doesn't actually have any sort of like inflammatory after effect. Yeah. Heat delivery. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, I hope it's helpful. I apologize if I, <laughs> I don't, I don't mean to beat a dead horse or anything. Yeah. I think practically heat is useless for now, so maybe go for damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you so much. Thank I've you, bunnies. I know we, we have some dedicated mechs to different things, so it's very helpful to know. So I appreciate it, yeah? So we're right at the base. This is excellent. We can probably start to wrap up go the turrets and get rid of these guys. So this is going to be excellent. We'll hit that Thumber turret. I don't think they're going to be able to attack after this. There we go. Death clears that. Yeah, that guy's do down. It. We've got three turrets left. And we got War Bun Bun. We'll tuck up. I mean, it, we'll just get ready to assault if they do want to push up. They've got the heavy mortar carrier and everything. We've got Gigan in the Bun Dome. We'll kind of cross on over, get a shot, but also provide our guys with some coverage right here. And we'll just try and tag from afar. If we can connect, you get a breach there. Right at one armor left, almost on breach, almost on breach. And we got Surf Cold. He's got the heavy mortar carrier. This one seems fine. This is also Inferno, but this for sure is going to hurt. It's going to burn, going to burn the forest around it. And it, of course, does direct damage as well. That is freaking awesome. There we go. You can see that burn right there. That's excellent. Oh, hello. We got a little bit of turret love, a little bit of additional help there. That's awesome. MRM 90. There she goes. And of course, again, evasion helping so much here. Yeah. Got the Deus Bunny. We can hop on over to the backside, get a finishing blow on this MRM turret so that this is the half of the 180 MRMs right here. We'll just stack it in. That guy's down. We got another 90 on our left side. I'm not too... Wasn't really paying attention to the fourth one out here. There we go. And, okay, so 90 and... Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> There's 270 MRMs. Is that right? 93? Yeah, 270 MRMs. Well, we've cleared out a third of them. There we go. That's awesome. Got our bunny rain. We'll at least start to thin out the crowd here work the royal black knight and we're coming in for the damage sometimes you got to just for kicks hit straight to the head and this comes from serini's precision master and he's got 10 right now and no connection there no connection to the head we've got brick we've got amul amul i believe does not have location designator and he also does not have precision master but seems to be working just fine Slam that in. <laughs> Works just fine. Just fine. That is amazing. No hits to the head still, but he only has four armor in the middle. And if we can... So this is the other one that we were having trouble with. So this is going to be the test for today. We had a 100% miss rate yesterday with the Panzer Bun. This is the Kiso Construction Mech. It is the... Actually, what variant is this? I don't remember. It's the one with the Pile Driver and the Rock cutter so we're gonna come in with a swing display shows 88.7 percent chance we'll just i guess come in on the damage side here we go hopefully we can connect i think it's the kr3 we can double check oh never mind 
It's yeah. good. <laughs> it's good. Got him. All right. So <laughs> maybe we were severely unlucky yesterday. That is awesome. All right. That guy got hit. That's great. Awesome. <laughs> wow. That was a little unexpected because I didn't actually think he'd hit there. That is awesome. Thank you, Serini. Thank you. To the sandpaper. We're looking good. And we're going to climb on up. We have significant volume. And we've got the clan plasma cannon, so it should be pretty bad for the V. But we'll send it where we got it. Stack it in. This on the... Ooh, I targeted the wrong side. I targeted the opposite side. I don't know how we hit it, but maybe it was a bit of a ricochet from those 80 yes, hag commander. projectiles. We're coming with a big bone bun, and we'll send in the rest. Hang out. There we go. Beautiful. So that's clear. That leaves a couple of turrets and the base as well. We have seven rounds until the next wave. So we have a lot of time. It's just a matter of sprinting on over to the destination and making it happen. We got a bun, boom, bun. Got the long tom cannons. And we're actually going to hold. I don't want to accidentally hit. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally hit our guy. Coming on down. So it's going to be MRM. 180 coming on in. This one's 90 of them. The next one should probably be going over to deaths. So we're going to tag team and split up the fire. Yep, over to deaths. I'm surprised. I kind of stuck him there with five evasion. I didn't really notice that until now, but he still dodged most of them. That's like great. So let's get deaths. We want to clear the blast zone. So let's get him out of there. Coming on over to Rough Terrain, but it's okay. He's on a quad. And we're going to go in and Battle Lord and stack it to the nearest. It was in perfect condition at 300. We bring it down 196 armor. That's excellent. So 104 on the ping. And we got our HBC special zooming on in. Not really anything to lock here. So we're just sort of a witness for the destruction. Good to go. And we got our bum, boom, bum. I think it should be safe to engage here. We're going to go in and target the big building. We're coming with high explosive. Pop, pop, fully fresh, 945, down to 789. And we got Waiting served with a mortar carrier. Go We're going to come in with... Actually, yeah, let's come in with AoE. That seems fair. Shot on MRM turret, yeah. Sensor lock applies a to hit debuff. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you so much, Lojon. I totally forgot about that. Thank you so much. Well, maybe we should do a little more than just witness the destruction, right? <laughs> Why am I in a coffee? We'll hop on out. Smart. And we got the shot. We'll go ahead and send a set. Work it. 187. And we got Annie. He's got all of the stuff. As soon as he reaches that next turn, he'll be able to crest. And then we've also got Brick. He'll charge on forward right beside the man. And we got Tank Care, who is going to try and crest the hill as well. That's all for next time. In the meantime, we will get Serene. I'm actually wondering if we necessarily need to push this hard, because I think our evac zone's behind us. So maybe we should just go with some of the bunnies. <laughs> it's been a while since we've done the attack and defense 640 out of 720 a little bit of damage done by that initial high explosive from the double long tom cannon we come down to i think something like 383 363 left Roger. thunder bun and ping out should be left with a little bit of structure definitely burning through it has a significant volume of structure but we're okay we'll just kind of like hang tight back here oh refresh come back in geigen and hold there we go there we go and hold or bun bun hang tight and hold all right we've got down to one they've got that one turret still good it's because I'm lazy. <laughs> Obviously, we could have engaged before it got the fire, but I was lazy. I just wanted to shift down to one instead. All right, we got our HBC. We'll get in there, start burning these guys away. Roger. 
shot there it is beautiful so all turrets are now clean and down we've just got to remove the existing buildings we've got hp hang tight shot and i guess we can also come in with our indirect nice thing about amuel he's not gonna hurt the bunnies that might be a lot for 113 but i will take it there we go so that's down we should only have two more after that i believe right we got a good kill there excellent we got two more we got serini we'll tuck up and we'll send in 90. should get in most of the hits there we're coming on down looks excellent excellent down to 590 or 586. right here tank to crest Copy. shot down to 375. Ready for annie in the sandpaper and hag 80. I'm on it. 582 down to down to <laughs> down to 85 okay that is significant and we shall hold with the bun dome some say a job well done i say your job is done well yeah well they're they're definitely feeling hot they're not feeling so hot but they're feeling hot at the same time vision i think you're absolutely right we're just gonna prep for evac got our bun rotter i guess we'll pull back as well and we're just Prepping for the inevitable bun bun cake on the push. They're both pretty low. Shot to finish. There we go. We got one left after this. Oh, never mind. I stand corrected. I was wrong. We'll come in with ooh high explosive. We might hit our. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Death will be fine. And the bunny man and cyber. It's all fine. There we go. 23 there's one left on you, serve cold Got it. and hold no shooting. Oh, man. all right just barely a bit of a building made. left we'll get dex he'll come it around i think this is going to be the last salvo shot 23 there we go all right last one down so objectives have been successful there we go that's it bunnies the enemy base has been destroyed Commander, we completed all primary objectives and you're clear to extract. I'm on station to pick you up here whenever you're ready, buddies. As long as you're still in the AO, bunnies will need to keep the Lyran base secure. Pretty sure in this case we just leave, right? Yep, we got it. All targets eliminated. Excellent. Excellent. Total win. There we go. There we go. Will the bunny league suffer a part loss? That is no. Congratulations to those who have the faith. Great thing is we had a 27 point split, a 27 point delta with RWR and we should be we're right within victory's grasp yeah and victory no need to even that's excellent i'm so glad i'm so glad i usually i come in not as cleanly and there's an additional lance that's dropping in and i've got to sort of race for the finish and make sure they don't destroy the buildings so that went very smoothly thank you so much for your help so let's see what we got we're not so negative this time that's excellent this time we're in the positive we didn't have to worry too much about things like collateral damage <laughs> which let's be real we're always gonna trigger we're looking good the bunnies are still feeling good we've got a full atlas available we'll go ahead and take it we've got the dragoon the royal black knight part interestingly enough i, d I actually don't remember if we kept it but that's pretty cool we got the flashman that we can put together as well and out of everything mortar inferno ammunition i believe we've got enough the seismic charge for the thumber we've got two heavy mortar carrier times three i mean should we just bring all the mortar carriers in the future i will definitely grab <laughs> i'll grab that three two and one maybe we'll end up with two of those things that's 80 mortars on the field we got a full atlas half a dragoon one part of a flashman stalker part zeus part three quarters of a heavy mortar carrier we'll go in and clear the 23 medium lasers clear the 160 rated core the 300 the 320 the chemical laser ammunition will keep the mortar airburst and clear the streak srm2s excellent that was very very nice so now our delta should be sitting at least at the rate that we were going we managed to hit at least like three points of degradation of control so but we 
with whoever or whatever AI force was out there, we actually had a net seven. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're going to sit at something like a Delta 20, yeah? But we can definitely swing on by the navigation screen, kind of. And for the first time, we'll actually get to use our brand new Death Ray. That's right, because the Bun Guest, in theory, should be ready for the next engagement. And then we'll be able to grind out the, the end of it. Afterwards, we can kind of take a look at what is available to us and either recoup and take a bit of a vote. Because I do have another save that I haven't really messed around with yet that is somewhat new and i do have something i want to try and if you want to be there with me you totally can yeah so we got two on the bun guest we'll go in and let that sit and that'll be online medical research establish a research partnership sure plus three medical points for a while well that's very helpful i didn't realize annie was gonna be out of action though all right, there we go. So we got our bun guest back. It's going to be the Death Ray followed by the LBX AC-10. So we go over to the Mech Bay. And the nice thing is we have got that 360 degree turret. We've got our bun guest. I feel like it's a bun guest V2, but we definitely want to start with that 145 point punch followed by the cluster. Afterwards, we have enough ammunition for 20 blasts of the thing. We'll go over to the storage, clear out anything that would require additional upkeep. We've got the Flashman. We've got the Royal Marauder. We've got that AEM. The nice thing is this is the one with the Death Race. We might as well get more of them, right? <laughs> we might as well get more if we can. Maybe something is beastly enough to somehow handle a ludicrous 320 heat. Somehow I doubt it, but that would be awesome. Uh, we'll clear out the remaining Dragoon part. We're sitting at 17 and a half million. We'll go ahead and ready up this Atlas. This is the S variant that we were able to acquire. And then once we've done that, a Fedcom upgrade, we've got the periphery stalker to clear. We'll hold on to the three out of four parts of the heavy mortar carrier. We'll clear out the Zeus 6S part. We got that rampage that we're gonna hang on to because we've been seeing that quite a lot. We got our Viking, Marauder, King Crab, Kiso Construction, Ironclad, and Berserker. So now we'll head on over to the store. We'll clear out the chassis. Or actually, we got to go to the Mech Bay first. What am I talking about? Head on over to Mech Bay 2. That's where new constructions are. We've got the Dragoon. Actually, one of the cool things, it, it looks very, very unique. Look at this. It's got like shields. That's so cool. And it kind of got a thug thing going or... or you know when you go to the restaurant and you're kind of in the waiting room and they've got those peppermint candies? If we were able to paint this a little bit of red and white, then I would think this is the most minty, fresh mech the world has ever seen. But it actually has some pretty nasty stuff on it. It's able to handle two death rays at the same time for almost 300 points of alpha. That's nuts at 600 meters. And it's got a targeting computer. This is actually really, really cool. I don't know if I'm going to break this down, actually. That's kind of scary. That's actually really scary. My God. And wherever they hit, you're probably going to get a breach because that all goes into one spot, right? So I think the one I will pull down, though, is the Atlas right here. And since we're in the middle of a contract, like, sequence, it doesn't really make sense to me to actually, like, break out and try and do anything complicated. So we'll be able to do any sort of modifications or piece things together afterwards after it's done we go to the navigation screen we kind of take a look at where we're at i'm predicting a 20 point split but i am wrong we've got a 19 point split so apparently we boosted our delta by eight so even more successful so we've got 19 points left it's probably like a couple more missions and then we cleared the entire flare-up that went from a i think it was a four was it almost a 50 point delta we're currently at a 19 point delta that's nuts so let's go over to, we actually don't need to go to the command center. We can go in and let it do its thing. One day out, we'll see what else they've got for us. Hopefully it's not like a blackout or something. Assassination, our favorite kind. That's excellent. We've got 315 here. Depends how many lances you destroy, how many points that moves. Ooh, I didn't think about that, Panzer. Thank you so much, yeah? Well, apparently we may have a lot of things to decapitate here. So that might work out in our favor, right? So let's go ahead and clear because now we know a little more, right? So the Inferno, maybe not such a great thing just at this moment in time, right? When it comes to the stability damage, probably not what we want to rely on. But we do have mortars, and the mortars do have fast cam augmented. That is going to function well. Uh, we got the Buntar. We've got the Heavy Mass Driver. That's going to function well. We got the Sandpaper Bun. That is excellent most of the time. We got the Bun Punchy. 
that has worked well we got the big bone bun we know that works well we've got the bunny rain it's still useful but let's hold on that the bun boom bun will hold on that the panzer bun it functions now <laughs> that is awesome i'm super excited about that we've got the streaky bun we got the donka bun we saw both of them as functional but maybe a little bit long range will be nice to have so i think i'll go ahead and bring the deus bunny i know we've got our bun dome so we can go nab that we can kind of see if the solar bun is going to play out well that's the one with the 20 clan small rotary pulses and we've got our thunder bun which has been excellent thus far has been very helpful to punch holes in the enemy and then we've got our bun guest the brand new bun guest this is the one with a big death ray and the shotgun follow-up you know and then of course we've got the bun bun cake which has been excellent and we've seen the hbc special do its thing so let's go ahead and grab this the mantoifel has been nice the demon is fast gotta love it so i'm thinking we haven't really tried our partisan right so what if we try the partisan that might be kind of nice yeah i explained last night they correlate with each other if you're in a situation like this you should bring as heavy a mech as possible so you trigger reinforcements oh i'm i'm already there whether i know it or not i'm gonna bring the heaviest mech possible i don't remember you telling me last night but you seem to tell me a lot of things so <laughs> i apologize if i didn't catch it all right so we got our brick panzer bun there we go we got deaths we got tank we'll put tank hair into the big bone bun right now we're out with annie unfortunately he's got most of our ballistic skills here he's great in the sandpaper bun obviously but we actually have a location designator here so we don't actually need somebody who has that precision master so Gigan could be helpful but he's been very very good to have in our bun dome the solar bun i definitely want dex mex dex he's got that beautiful beautiful knife fighter for those 20 clan small rotary pulses the thunder bun ex is going to benefit immensely from amiel with his beautiful not only his expert expertise with a thunder bun but also his missile mastery the bun guest out there it's going to be our brand new bun guest so i'm thinking that superior might be excellent for that kind of get a bit of a punch he can shoot more often now so his mobility is going to be fantastic for the partisan we'll get serve cold into that hbc special has a location designator in it we do not need a precision master so out of everyone that needs a pilot that's these top three so we got hb we got the bunster which is mostly mortars and indirect but we don't have anyone with the multi-target so we'll get sereni in that we got the sandpaper bun we will let's get let's get war bun bun he's been great for that kind of local stuff yeah and then of course we've got cyber and cyber's excellent in any fast thing here we go five skull difficulty assassination in the jungle well the bunny leagues suffer a part loss it seems like part loss has been working out pretty well five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got i rather gotta get out early tomorrow have a great stream Dex, thanks so much for hanging out i hope you have a good rest and we'll catch you on the next one have a good one man time for some very gentle killing that's right lumux well since you're in the cockpit of the atlas 2 i will imagine that you will be the most gentle of the bunny killers out there because after all if we can get you close enough then maybe the enemy will be able to survive the clan mrm 60 and then you'll be able to follow up with a little bit of a punch as they're dodging right because it's a little difficult to dodge when you're well dodge the fist when you're dodging the missiles right it's all dumb fire after all so we have a decapitation mission i have learned that you're gonna get more points if you take out more waves so i'm hoping they bring all the waves it's five skull it's on tau seti we currently have a 19 point split remaining in order to take this planet back we are defending it for house steiner and the cards were stacked against us but it seems like we have been having win after win they haven't thrown us into any blackouts or anything like that and fortunately we are not sitting in an urban environment this time so that's going to be very helpful to our poor poor computer <laughs> right and we are going to be able to continue to deal damage and learn about the current state of our mechs because they're awesome and we've got some new toys right so we've got that beautiful death ray a part loss is a much more interesting bet than pilot loss well excellent because we often are in under threat of getting a part loss that's for sure especially when the gun's shooting at you are for 145 points potential right what do we got darius these are the coordinates that steiner provided so the insurgent leader should be in the area. Move up to get eyes on the target and any escort he might have. Once he's down, head to the evac point for your pickup. 
So we might have some interlopers out here. I don't know. Oh, those are ours. Those are ours. So I think this is okay. But it, that was a big, big mech out there. I don't. It looked like a Daishi to me, but I mean, obviously it's it's probably not. That's gonna be kind of interesting. We've got quite a long ways to cross, and our poor poor Bunster isn't really gonna be able to do too much in that regard. But we're gonna hop forward as best we can. We're all going across the little tiny land bridge natural choke point. I'm sure that's the safest place. <laughs> it's the safest place for the bunnies right now. And Panzer Bun, a hugely fast 100 tonner out there. We got the Bun Dome. We're going to go in and queue up those 12 AMS systems, 1100 rounds. And then there's our Solar Bun, who is basically our point defense turret. We've got the Thunder Bun with our quad Thunderbolt 10. And we've got Superior in the brand new version of our Bun Guest. This is with a brand new super weapon, the Death Ray, followed with a Clan LBX AC-10. We'll go ahead and scout on forward, and then we'll get our brand new Partisan with a quad AC-5s on it, right, bringing up the rear, yeah? I noticed the price of the mobile command center has gone up dramatically. Yes, I noticed that too, and I was glad that I had one <laughs> because I didn't have that kind of cash. I saw that the mobile HQ was four plus million. That was a lot more than it was when it was like hundreds of thousands instead, yeah? Wait, or actually, was it? I think it was like a million or something smart. like that. It, it, I don't think it was more than like a million five. Bunster, on the move. All right, sandpaper. We're going. We're just going to move as far forward as possible. This is kind of where the natural speed differences of all of our mechs are going to become most readily apparent. You're going to get the slowest ones in the back. You're going to get the faster ones up front because we're just kind of moving willy-nilly in a giant blocky column. HBC Special obviously going to get contact first, so we're just going to barely move. And then we got the Partisan right behind, yeah? It was under a million. Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm glad I am glad I didn't remember incorrectly. And I'm glad you're experiencing the same thing, not because it costs four million, but because it's always helpful to have a, another opinion there, yeah? And perspective. So right now there are potentially potentially maybe we've got like 10 out there is my guess right because we might have two for the insurgent leader and then we might have four and four obviously we can Receiving potentially you. be higher than that as well but i would Look say it's it a out. reasonable estimate I'm on my oh, way. we've got enemy contact they've got that high ground we're looking at an 80 tonner and a 90 tonner at the top we're seeing 90 tons quite often in the bracket you. All right, we're moving. Seven evasion for Cyber. There's probably more out there, but we have no additional contact. Sandpaper Bun is going to move on into on a supporting way. position. Bun Punchy is going to start crossing over to the right. Big Bone Bun. All direct fire yeah. mechs are okay. over to the left. All the <laughs> direct punchy mechs are over to the right. We'll get the Bun Dome straight down the middle to provide some coverage. Solar Bun is going to sit okay. in the rear underneath the umbrella. And while we'll the Thunder Bun at the rear the bun guest is going to break over to the right because those are where the mobile mechs are going and the partisan is moving over to the left so we're kind of treating this like a line look at this it's like we're lining up we've got all the melee going to the right the fast movers and we got all the direct line <laughs> support mechs on the left side let's go ahead and bring it down to one there's that counter reserve they want to hold i hear you we'll get cyber Cyber's ready to go. We'll actually break hard left. I don't think they're going to be able to get direct line of sight on us, but we will be able to mark them up. We've got three. Okay, so we've got three contacts now. We've got two 80 tonners and the 90. We'll go in and lock up the mech. Got lock. We've got it. Oh, an Emperor. Okay, so that we've seen. Double AC, five double large, and three mediums. Surf is going to move up with the... Actually, we'll want to move some guys in the front first we've got brick he definitely cannot engage so we'll swoop forward we are close enough now that if we need to we can strike do a bit of an airstrike on the next turn we got tank carriers gonna break over to the left we're all stacking up lest they pop their head over the berm lamox bun punchy break to the right full speed hang tight I think on the next turn, we should be able to trigger Commander. the defensive formation, but I don't think it's necessary right now. I copy. They definitely have a lot of other units out there, and we are... Wow, okay. 
I mean, granted, we don't have any AMS coverage, so I'm unsure as to whether they were mortars or not. That actually sounded like they were LRMs, so that's kind of okay. We can actually deal with that. I'm curious if they're in that 350 meter arc. It's surprisingly wide, but not wide enough. But we'll go ahead and lock up the lead 80. It's the one that has not fired yet. These are mortars. So these are mortars. That one's got 40 mortars. There's the Emperor on the top. That's the 90 tonner he holds. We've got Serini on the push. A little bit of the slower one. So maybe we move our Bun Dome forward, even though it's not going to help with a heavy mortar carrier. You never know with that other one. If we are so lucky, we'll go in and try and lock up the rear, but we're a little too far for that. So let's just lock up the Emperor, bring them both down to zero. Both of them have been impaired a little bit. On the right side, we got a 70 and a 65 down below. There's the approach on the 80. Apparently, I was wrong. Oh, did he get to go? To no, there must have been someone else that I didn't see. Fair enough. Well, let's start zooming forward. We've got our bun guest with a brand new death ray and the clan LBX AC 10 to follow. Hold. And every time we do this, it's going to... There we go. There we go. So they got a long time out there. Oh, this guy. 95. Okay, so this is like the two and a half million long tom... Uh, v that's out there so we're just tucking up fortunately we don't have to worry about that until next turn if we are so lucky we might be able to reveal and counter bombard or something and right now they still have turns so that tells us something we'll have solar bun break over to the right we're close range only and we're gonna go ahead and lock whomever and whenever that emperor's been locked twice Probably should have tried to nail the heavy mortar carrier again. Got our Thunderbolt on 10. So we got the best chance. If we could, it'd be great if we could deal significant damage, maybe like a few into the side. Oh, there it is, beautiful. And the 40 are down. That is fantastic because we did not have a defense against it other than damage mitigation and evasion. And in this case, we don't have to worry about it any longer. We've got an 80 down below. That was a quarter of the sporting enemy forces. So it is a set of four. And we got the partisan to tuck up. Yeah, yeah, four parts. Seriously. Well, we've actually got three already, huh? Yeah? So we've got three parts in that sitting in our bay right now. So four parts. My God, that's impressive. Thank you for noticing. I didn't catch the number, yeah? So we're going to go ahead and bring it all the way down. I'm confident enough that I think if they poke on over, it's going to be okay. Hey, friend. Thank you so much for the resub. 40, 58 months. Whoa, getting ancienter and ancienter by the month. High five. Well, we are getting ancienter together. Yes. So you, thank you so much. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Yeah? If you're joining us right now, we're currently you, in an engagement against the Stefan Amaris and the Rimworld Republic. And we're hoping that we shall survive the day. They've got some fancy, fancy mechs out here. We're going to go ahead and try and lock the 80 up above. We're trying to vie for the hill. So these are LRMs. So this is what shot us at, shot at us earlier. They've got that LRM 40, but we do have our bun dome. I would still like to push it up a little bit. After all, I want to make sure that we can get that coverage so that we can get the bun guest in a position. Although, now that I'm looking at it, the Deus Bunny is in a pretty precarious spot. So let's go in and get some sight on the Emperor and some of his friends out here, yeah? And we've got down below. All right, so we see so much more. We've got a Royal Highlander in the flesh. We've got a Banshee 3, and we've got a Royal Catapult C1B, and we've got a Dragoon with a double death ray. We just put that together. We've got four on tap. We've got LRM-50 from a Rhino fire support tank. And we got an unknown 65 tonner down below. The Emperor is looking mighty solid. Let's go in for defensive formation. Oh, we're going to go ahead and send it to the we closes. And we're going to try and claim this hill so that we'll be kings of this hill. And we'll have the high ground advantage and just bombard all day long. That Highlander is so cool. Should we have two of them? Did I ever think we'd say that? There's the death rays being shot at us for the very first time. That is scary. Because <laughs> now I know how much damage they do. They do a significant volume. They really do. Well, we've got our mortars. That guy, if I understand correctly, I guess we can come in with the acid splash. We can come in with a follow the leader. Uh, we'll just hit him with the acid first. Stack it up. He's on one, which is this turn. There we go. Got 18. Got a significant volume of stacks there. That's awesome. Acid for days. It'll take 10% increased damage. 
and he's also been hit by the c3 master so plus two accuracy for all of the bunnies for this turn a little bit of indirect there we don't have any we no longer have the coverage ams coverage on our command mech it just purely relies on the jumping and the speed so hopefully it is enough we've got big bone bun i'm thinking he'll be able to do something pretty dastardly or effective so here we go we've got the chance so we see it it does say 63 percent 55 percent but that's just to connect right it's not to the head but we will try to kind of burrow our way through the front stack him and he's down to 97 out of 320 armor there and you got to remember that we do have some indirect on the follow-up. So we should be able to finish the job. There's that Royal Highlander staying on the ground. He says he's immortal. He says he's got blood of kings, but he's not playing like it. Be nice if he hopped on up here and we kind of had a mono a mono. Panzer Bun. We've got Lamux. Let's flip it on over because I think we've got maybe more appropriate options available to us. Like our Bun Guest. We're on the move. We've got the shots. It's going to be the very first time that we send a Death Ray Blast. What is the heat like? We do have a positive delta, but we're still okay. Very, very cool. Well, we're coming with a precise strike. 74.6. Oh, that is, that's nasty. <laughs> that is nasty. Oh my God. That is that guy. We had a fresh 120 and then we followed it up with a, a blast and just sort of shredded the rest of it. So we got a breach and we had the shotgun right after that is pretty awesome I, <laughs> we got to try that some more the great thing is we're able to shoot again on the next turn previously we could deal 200 damage every other turn with the mass driver which is the mass driver is hilarious let's be real but uh that's kind of terrifying let's go in and just keep sending it to the rhino up here i know we've got the long tom out there but it's kind of locked down at the moment so if we can remove some of the some of the lrms off the field it'll save some of our 1100 ammunition we don't really have a j27 with us or anything like that right so he's coming on up he's got the 40 coming on over to the bun guest but he is outside of the range unfortunately so he will get peppered but that's okay pretty decent volume of armor at 70 tons we got dex we got geigen let's go ahead in response we're gonna actually bring up the bun dome and we'll try and connect and push back on the initiatives but if we connect right in the front ah uh, but we do not we do not he's already bottomed out on the initiative order there's that long tom giving it a little bit of burn and hold all right dex just moving no attacking but he can lock in fact if we were Maybe we'll lock up on the... Yeah, we'll lock up on the Dragoon. He's already in a pretty bad way, and he's got some dangerous weaponry on him, yeah? Surf Cold is currently in our quad AC5 Heavy Partisan, so I'm kind of hoping that he'll get that line of sight. I kind of feel like even if we don't go for it, the enemy is going to provide it to us because they're on the attack now. So we, it, all we got to do is just keep moving. Eventually, we'll get the angle, right? So we're just going to sprint sprint on forward with the tank so to speak and get into cover and we'll go in and lock the closest to us or not we'll hold all right so they still have a decent volume they got a full lance left a lot of these in the background there sandpaper bun has a follow-up nice thing about it i believe one of them is gonna be uh i was wrong i thought one of them was gonna be the dragoon but that's okay because we need to get rid of this guy too and that's hag 80 we're not really probably gonna miss there we go beautiful so he's off of the board that guy also had lrms obviously the bun dome could probably handle it but it'll cause a lot of jamming too and then we've got all these v's on the backside here working their way up the hill as they try to contest the king of the hill engagement here 95 on the bottom on the bun guest which so that's a solar bun yeah no we're not in coverage anymore it's too fast for us yeah well we got brick we're gonna zoom in on forward we're kind of in a nice niche because we're trying to think about panzer bun's positioning he's got that strafing run comm suite how close are we can we get a line lined up somewhere if we know the mechs and the v's have to come up a certain path can we just basically stack that completely and negate 
a lot of the advantages that they would attain otherwise once they reach the top if they reach the top right so i'm hoping i'm hoping they're just going to keep filing in <laughs> it'd be great if they could they're all vying for shots they're vying for line of sight as well and now we finally have a little bit of coverage here that's excellent and then that leaves us with one that's going to be lummox in the bun punchy and he is moving into position fortunately he does have a long range option accuracy through volume of firepower that's 30 37 we're going to be fishing for that right side it's got i don't know if we're going to connect at all yeah we don't really ding it but at least we had an initiative effect right so got the hbc we'll push on up we've got the opportunity we got the resolve so sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head with a location designator mark 69.7 percent shot that looks like some of them actually hit and the enemy's down beautiful We're very, very close to the Rhino with the LRM-40, and right behind it is that 95-ton Long Tom battery. It's very possible that we've got two. Way down at the bottom, there's another 95-ton V, but it hasn't really marked us yet, so my assumption is it's probably not. So I guess that's good. Light damage. The nice thing, in two, is that we actually already have a part of the heavy mortar carrier. We've got three out of four, actually. And that's going to help us out a lot because we already have one. We can have two, <laughs> which might be a little ludicrous, but it's also excellent, right? So that guy's pushed back on the order. He's currently on two. We got superior in the bun guest and we can fire once again. That is correct. We're just going to go ahead and work the outside. We are so, so close to them, but I mean, wherever we hit, it's going to, it's going to suck. So vigilance for us. And we'll go ahead and just try and connect anywhere. There we go. We got the breach and the shotgun blast on follow. That is excellent. Partisan does actually have a firing position now. A little bit occluded, a little bit obstructed, but hey, that's okay. We got the Banshee. We got caseless ammunition, a little bit of AOE. That That's actually pretty cool. Didn't really think about AOE ammunition. I guess, yeah, let's do it. AOE AC5 ammo. Our primary target is oh, that's aim. neat. We're hitting the Royal Highlander as well. Apparently, is the Royal Highlander the leader? Now that I think about it. Oh, it's the Banshee. Very interesting. He chose, I'm assuming he chose it over the Highlander. That's a very interesting guy. <laughs> I guess he must be pretty important. He's doing things in an unorthodox manner. All right, Thunderbun. Great for clearing out little tiny Vs with egregious volumes of output so we're just going to push this guy back to one if we are unable to finish the job he does have a lot of armor but we also dish, dish out a lot of pinpoint but definitely not enough he's in a much better position for on moss accuracy if that makes sense dragoon with a double breach now left and right double death ray oh that is nasty so these things are hitting for 145 the first time we've had a breach this stream and we currently have a part loss bet up and it is on a leg for a quad. So that is probably oh, the, not the you best place for the quad to get hit, but we could probably get into assist. Maybe we stay down below. Deus Bunny, we can at least send a shot at the assassination target. We can send it at the Manticore. We can send it at the catapult, the Royal Catapult. We'll go ahead and ping that guy. Actually, this is not the Royal Catapult. I know there is one out there. I didn't realize that they've got two catapults. So we've got the Royal Catapult on the back here. There it is, the Catapult C1B. And then we've got a Catapult C1 right up front. So you've got the Royal version and the non. We've got Brick. He's in a position to airstrike. That could be effective, but I want to wait until the end here. So we're going to go in and reserve. Roger that. And we'll reserve once again. And then we've basically gone the two. So this one's on one. And who else? The other one? Probably a V. Oh, hello. The V on the top. Well, maybe yep, we can drop them out. Maybe we can take care of things before they get out of hand. Uh, we're going to work it. We got War Bun Bun. Ooh, the Royal Highlander with a reinforced cow. We've got our main target. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head. Hag 80 on a fresh high. Oh, fresh Banshee. That's the assassination target. It got dinged there. That transferred heat, though. So I was seeing a lack of heat from some weaponry. In this case, that transferred heat. That was a clan plasma cannon that raised the heat by 40. 
on our target. Ooh, that is really nasty. Our leg just got dinged on the exposed area. That shot got past my armor. Yes, it did. There was no armor there, unfortunately. We got the Bunster. He's ready to go. He's got the acid. He's got the faster, the follow the leader. We'll go ahead and just try and nail that torso on the right. Give him a little bit of a softening there. There we go. He's got seven. There's the stack. Got a breach. And they get to move five more units. Five more units. So, okay. So there's that long Tom. It has been designated. There he is, that 95 ton around the top. We'll go in and get the bun punchy. And it's going to cruise right on through. We should be able to drive that catapult C1 out for not being royal enough. <laughs> I know we're a bit of mech snobs here. You're not royal enough. You deserve a little bit of clan MRM 60, right? Excellent. Well, that guy has now thought about his creation a little bit more. I'm sure he's feeling pretty bad about himself. Actually, I feel kind of bad about making that. I should probably apologize to the guy. So better, who better to do it? Well, actually, you know what? There is our assassination target. Sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head. This is tank here. Big bone bun. Oh, there we go. All right. Target eliminated. Pop up the remaining enemies or head for the back LZ. There we go. HB, what's your favorite mech chassis? Oof. Oof. Are we talking about? Oh, man. So I have a very vanilla answer. <laughs> I have a very vanilla answer. If we're talking about clans, I was one of the many who grew up with a yellow box and the Timberwolf on it. So I have a place in my heart for the Timberwolf. And the Timberwolf obviously looks like a catapult. I love the catapult. But if I have to choose an inner spear mech, it's probably the Royal Highlander. So super vanilla, I know. <laughs> but it is the truth. It is the truth. Uh, thank you. What about you, actually? I'm, I'm always curious about that. It's such a wide and various set of choices. What? That's the evac zone. Oh, it's our evac zone. I thought, I was like, is the assassination target running? Is that its evac zone? It's like standing in it, but he's dead. I forgot we killed him. Uh, that was, he was so close and yet so far. <laughs> it's actually not his evac zone, so that's okay. We'll just go in and lock up that catapult there. Yeah, hold. Yeah. And we got Panzer Bun. I, I don't know, should we? Yeah, maybe it, it might be worth it. We'll go in and strafe on this one. And we might as well come in with the Mech Buster here. It's always a favorite of mine. We should be able to hit most of these guys. And let's do it. And then we got, of course, the last one, I think is a V. Yeah. Oh, does he get to go again? Oh, oh no, 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 no. It's the Rhino here. Yeah, I respect it. My favorite Inner Sphere Mech is actually extremely vanilla. It's, um, oh, yes. But my favorite Clan Mech is the Ice Ferret. Heck yes. Why the Ice Ferret, if I might ask? That's the one that looks a little bit like the... It's kind of a little boxy guy, right? Is it is it 35 tons, if I recall? And the, the Marauder's excellent. I love the Marauder as well. The thing is, I didn't even know the Marauder existed until Air Heavy Strike. Metal. <laughs> so that was... Ooh, hello. I forgot. Already I forgot about that airstrike. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Yep, yep, that's a thing. Oh, poor, poor. I don't know if we're going to be gentle to this Highlander. That makes me sad. Oh, hello. Yep. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Worth the 70,000. And it should have that second round right here. Although, apparently, we were a little bit faster than their activation. Let's come on in. And we'll get on the... Get right in its face. Here's the long tom, the source of the pain. And we're going to go ahead and drive him back. Shot. Close range. That's pretty devastating. My God. I'd love to send the Thunderbolts in on that. There it is. Watch the sky. He's gone. How much? Oh, hello. Oh, yep. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so so we were relatively gentle to the Royal Highlander. Yeah. It's a boxy guy. Oh, 45 tons. Thank you so much. It's Mech Warrior Online. Got me into the Ice Ferret. The legend variant for the end of year loyalty rewards got me. It goes 132 kilometers per hour, packs 12 ERs. Ah, a man of culture, I see. So the fact that you love small lasers, I can already relate to you. So the support weapon hardpoint is probably my favorite.
So that's why I think that even though you like the clan ferret, I bet that you might like our solar bun. Yeah? Royal or hero kaiju? King Crab, Royal Black Knight for interfering Kodia. Oof, good choices, Sanakitas. Good choices. The Hiro Kaiju is excellent. That's the one that we had with a bunch of PPCs on it, I think, right? That was absolutely nutty. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we got our shot. We'll go in and get that AMS online. I'd like to actually show Architects our solar bunya. Yeah? Probably a bit unconventional for Clint. No, not at all. I mean, that's just it. It's the, the supernova is beautiful. I just see it so rarely. You know what I mean? So I, I can understand because I do remember when we were going up against, uh, I think it was Clan Nova Cat. You were pretty excited about that because we saw one right on the, the spawn there, yeah? And I, I was super excited about it. I think we got a part of it, but we never really completed it. Ooh, hello. Okay, so obviously we're going to be able to punch this guy, which is excellent. Lamux was saying he didn't want to be gentle. I think it is okay that he doesn't want to be yeah. gentle. We got the bun guest. I think we should probably run on back to the side here. We got the death ray, the LBXAC10. I mean, all we got to do, this is not going to be gentle at all. I'm a little bit sad about it, but this is the right thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and take the shot. Yeah, that's to the back. That's an LBXAC10 seeking the breaches. Definitely not so great for him. Listen, the Kodiak is close second, especially the... Sp Ooh, the Spirit Bear. What's the Spirit Bear? I've heard of something, the Care Bear. I don't know if that's a nickname yet. I only got it in two playthroughs. It well, those must have been some good playthroughs, yeah? Definitely memorable ones out there, and it sounds like that was one. Partisan. Gosh, I almost feel like... Do we have to worry about that guy? He's on one. I don't think so. I have the faith we're going to be able to remove him from the field. So I'm going to stand right in it. And we're going to stack up. We're coming on in with a little bit of right, caseless here. Yep, there we go. And down he goes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to hold. I don't know if Lummox is going to appreciate that we're going to make him not punch the guy. But we're going to hold because I want to show our solar bun. Yeah. So we got Dex, Mex, Dex. So here's our solar bun. It is a 20 support weapon hard point 90 ton assault with 20 clan small rotary pulses. So if you like those ER smalls on the ice ferret, it's kind of the similar idea, but it has an overall potential output of 635 damage. <laughs> it, it has a decent volume of output. Yeah, it, it's just this might be a little far for it, so we can't hit reliably with all of them. This guy's got 129 armor in the front, so we should be able to get through pretty reliably. I didn't see any orange, though, so I don't know. Oh, oh, there's some orange. So maybe we spread out the shots a little bit. How much does he... He's got three. Oh, he's got three. So he's got three, and we shaved off about half... I don't know, like, yeah. We might have missed with some, but <laughs> Why it is hilarious. Is so we got smart? the Deus Bunny... This is the jumper, the X1. We've got the... Ro Ooh, we should jump on a Highlander with a Highlander. That seems the proper way to solve this crisis. We're coming in from on high. In three. Two. And one. Get up, on son. I like to call this Darius from above. All right. Got a little bit of a ding there. It, I found this has not been as spectacular anymore. Some things have changed, I think. <laughs> we have Brawler on and everything, and we've got Goomba Stomper. Some damage was done, but not too much, yeah. Uh, rotary lasers are some of the best. You try to Rotary PPC. I have a Rotary PPC. I haven't tried it, though. It can tune up to three bursts. Is that right? I, I haven't actually used it yet. Here, we'll, we'll tuck on up and we'll hang tight here. He has duct tape only on that spot. Yes, he does. Thunder Bun. Since there's so much duct tape going around, I feel like we can go half and half here. We can probably ping the Royal Highlander some and then we'll ping the guy on the ground a little bit. Like that. Although I did say that I wanted to get rid of, you know, the big long tom source. So maybe we'll actually target that guy instead. There we go. And we're, we're going to send them all to B. There we go. We might get lucky. 
need to ping that same side twice. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So that guy's out. We no longer have to worry about the blast. We had the faith. The Royal Highlander not jumping. Pretty, pretty gutsy blast there. And he is on the higher area there. Sandpaper bun. Well, if it's sandpaper bun, someone's going to get knocked out. So we got that catapult and we'll just go straight into the side here. I believe it's three. It's been a bit that he gets really hard to manage. So I end up switching for snubs. Yes, yes. So I, I thought about putting it on, but the heat was so well beyond what I was capable of pulling and jumping at the same time. Imagine that. Uh, that's almost... <laughs> I don't know how to do that. But that I, I, I almost thought, you know what? I have something that shoots three clanny or PPCs already, and it's the bun rotter or marauder with three clanny or PPCs and the fire control systems. So it didn't actually make too much sense to me to do that again, but only have one hard point there so we've got our punch we'll kind of come on in uh we'll come in from the front and we'll swing it's going to be from our bun punchy lummox finally gets to punch something and something so regal as a royal catapult c1b there we go hits the arm should be a follow-up there we go <laughs> and the head there it is fantastic very impressive it's able to absorb that kind of a beating with the Apollo. We got tank hair on the follow-up. Of course, if we want to take out a reinforced cowl, nothing better. Sometimes you got to just for kicks, hit straight to the head. Ding one and ding two. Beautiful double tap and the reinforced cowl is out. Lethal damage on the Royal Highlander. We got a Bunster. We're going to go ahead and clean this up. And shot out, stack on Rhino. LRM 40 should be off the field zone. Ooh, he didn't tag it at all. All right. We've got a little bit of a damage multiplier. We got the HBC special down below. Not too sure. We've got a demolisher double AC 20 and we've got an Ontos Mark one is the 95. So let's just come it around, pull away. A lot of direct line of sight firepower there. So we're just going to go in and hit at this guy. Hopefully we'll be able to hit the side. Looks pretty good. Oh, wow. How much does he have? That's very impressive. He's got, he's got 14. All right, so he's got 14. We should be able to get into the damage side. This is the rear. So we'll come on over. We want that blue. There we go. Acknowledged. And we'll send it and hope to tag that. There it is, people. We actually hit the front there, but that guy's gone. Finally, we've got three, two of which are the Vs down there. All targets eliminated, and we are clear. Fantastic. That wraps up decapitation. Well, the Bunny League suffer a part loss. That is a no. Congratulations to those who had the face. So very, very clean. We had a 19-point split that came down from the 27-point split. I wouldn't say that we cleared up as many waves, so it's possible that we're sitting at somewhere like 12 or 11 as a split, and then we're rounding this up just right. But that having been said, we can either finish up the flare up today because I can imagine that we're going to be able to do it or we can. Let me go ahead and get a poll up here. Or we can take a look at the Rattler again. So what would the Bunny League like to do? We can either continue with the flare up or test the Rattler one time. And I'm going to toss that up there. Obviously, we've got a build I'll need to load into a different save. I haven't even tried it yet, so it might not be worth it to check out now. But if you want to see what I'm kind of messing around with, then that's always a possibility. All you got to do is enter in one or two into chat. If you're in YouTube chat, I'll go ahead and manually tally it there. But feel free. I'll leave that up for a little bit as we clear up and take a look at status. So we got 258,000. All of the bunnies are OK. That was pretty darn clean. And we've got our catapult. We've got the dragoon. We've got four. We've got the four of the Royal Highlander. That's excellent. Long Tom artillery. Bulk heat bank. That's awesome. Love that. Com suite enhanced. Ooh, exchanger three. We were talking about that earlier. And gotta love the targeting computer for the heavies as well. Because after all, you get that on a bar guest or something. That's awesome. Long Tom. We can get another long Tom if we so choose. Another heavy mortar carrier two death rays there are so many options right now 
so far we've only seen one out of the four available super weapons the death rays and they're they're gargantuan so with a royal highlander i feel like we should probably grab i guess the <laughs> i want the carrier but the exchanger is so tempting i think i'm gonna grab that because realistically we're definitely gonna use it so we've gone four of a banshee we've got three quarters of an emperor we've got three quarters of a royal catapult we've got a full royal highlander 732b will clear the machine gun will clear the artemis 4 fire control system clear the standard ferrofibrous we picked up some more seismic charges for the long term. that's awesome machine gun half tons mortar standard srm artemis 4 very very nice indeed we're entering into the 22 million range haven't even cleared out any of the parts at all all right, so currently we're leaning towards continuing with the flare-up. That sounds excellent. Thank you so much for weighing in, bunnies. We are going to wrap this up. So let's see what we got. Right now, we got to check the navigation screen so we can see the current status. I think we're sitting at 10 and 19. We just dropped a few more points. So I'm assuming we're still at 10. I actually don't know how we jumped up to 10 in the first place because we started at 2. <laughs> we started at something like two it was two to 51 and then after we did one mission we jumped up oh actually no i think it was three to 51 because I, I remember thinking oh we jumped up seven and then we ended up at 10 and we haven't budged from 10 since i wonder if 10 is like a floor or something like you if you're below it you get to it and then you stay there until you actually outbalance the opponent i have no clue but very very interesting to see navigation screen where are we at we were at 10 to 19 and now we're 10 to 20. oh they got stronger that's interesting i did not expect that we won that assassination and the rim world's republic got stronger huh okay so they went up for maybe that's a net that they went up for but at least we didn't lose points to bottom out right okay that was unexpected but okay that's fine I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I wonder how that works. We'll go ahead and get a bit of a repair here. We did take a death ray blast, a single death ray blast to the leg. That was enough to almost kneecap us, which was a little bit, a little bit scary there. Yeah, you killed that commander. Unfortunately, he was incompetent. Therefore, the enemies become more dangerous. I can see that. I can see that. Well, let's see. What what do we got going on here? What have we put? I'm I'm. I'm tempted to put something together, but I keep remembering that we have another contract in three days. So it's basically just let's make sure that we've got enough money and everything like that. Right. So we got a Royal Highlander. We'll put two mechs together. We've got the Emperor that I we've seen that enough that I think that maybe hanging on to it's going to allow us to put it together and then sell it. So we'll go ahead and grab the Dragoon was cool. The Night Star is cool. I mean, we've, we're stacking up Royal Highlanders right now. I'm very surprised because i very rarely see a highlander let alone a royal highlander let alone have two i don't think that's ever happened before so <laughs> i love this career right now it's very very good to us it was a hydra one head you knock off two grow right back no kidding i want a base defense i went up two but the rim went up three glad it wasn't just me oh no excellent it seems like you know they're fighting just as hard as we are right Let's go over to the store. We'll just go in and take a quick look. It might have a bit of a cycle over, kind of give us more options. There's that mobile HQ we're talking about with Panzerbund with a 4 million C build price tag. Got the battle armor, fire, Drake, Gauss rifle, heavy Gauss, long tom cannons. Uh, we got the rack too, thumper artillery. We've got comm suite enhanced. That was one of the things we had an option to get. Foot axe. It's nice, but I like the scissors because they're free you can toss them on something they don't weigh anything it's all good right everything else looks pretty pretty normal and let us go so bun guest we'll get that back on in Job's done, Commander. and then we got two days until the next engagement we are currently at 20 and or 10 and 23 we've got a defend base mission okay that's kind of more our style <laughs> we don't have to go anywhere we just bombard people that's excellent so let's see what do we got on 315 we can actually go with kind of the more immobile stationary things right so we're gonna go for a full clear we're gonna stay away from the melee stuff right 
We've got Bunster for bombardment with mortars. We've got the Paladin. I know that works. Although the Inferno, not so much, but we got plenty of high explosive. The Sandpaper Bun, that's excellent no matter what the situation. That is always a joy. Uh, we've got the Bun Punch, it will hold. We've got the Big Bone Bun, that is obviously a very, very well used and well loved bunny. Uh, we got the Bunny Rain, which is going to be excellent as well. We've got the Streaky Bun, not so useful. The Daka Bun could actually be pretty decent. I mean, does it do a lot of damage? No, but does it provide a lot of, well, Daka? Yes. Yes, it does. So we'll get our Stalker out. We can now get one of our Carriers out. We can get the Shiltron Prime out. We can get our, well, I guess scouting. We've got the Bun Guest, which could move around kind of midfield play. We got the Bun Rotter. I'm actually thinking that maybe we'll bring... Maybe we'll bring the Black Marauder just because of the 10 jump hexes to be able to move with the Bun Guest. That could be very helpful because we tend to get that breach and then we need to exploit the breach. The LBX AC-10 is there for that reason, but it could be very helpful to have them as the backup or the buddy uh, for our bun guest on the approach, right? So we'll get Surf Cold out here. Yeah, the more collateral we can do, the more familiar style of play it is for us. If we exclude the slowdown, urban is our natural ground. Oh, that is, that's an interesting take because I feel like urban is my, my weakness, but I'm glad that you see it that way. Poor, poor Annie's been out for quite a while. So let's start. We got Amul. We'll get him in the Thunder Bun. We want to keep the same bunnies with the same mechs if possible, because after all, they do get those bonuses and proficiencies and everything like that. We've got Tank Hair in the Big Bone Bun. We've got our Bun Rotter, so that's going to be War Bun Bun. Uh, we've got our Bun Guest, which has been superior as well. And then for our Creepy Bun, we need... I guess Lamux can... Oh, I guess HP can do it. HP can do it. Yeah. That's a cursed one anyway. Wouldn't want to curse the bunnies out here. And... We've got Gigan. We don't... We're not bringing the Bun Dome this time. So we can get Gigan into the Sandpaper. We can get Sereni into the Daka Bun. We can get... Lamux in... Kind of odd to have a Brawler and a Bunster, but... <laughs> It works. It works, right? And then we got uh, kind of odd to have, <laughs> but that works too. We've got V pilots. We'll just toss them in and let's go. Five skull difficulty, defend base in an urban environment. That is excellent. Will the bunny league suffer a part loss? Five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got. Hopefully, I just got to keep in mind again, urban environment. Yeah. I see your bun rotter is a 5S, a man of culture. I see. Well, the 5S is just happened to be the one that we got and it has probably been Probably one of the most deadly mechs that we we still have. It's kind of terrifying. Like, that 5S has had more headshots and kills. It's kind of insane. It's kind of insane. So, yeah. I, I believe in the culture. <laughs> How come we don't have any battle armor? That's a good question. We actually do have some battle armor. We're just not bringing it. We're just not bringing it. Typically, we have to mount onto... I mean, our main delivery device is the Dakota and we don't really have any battle armor handholds on most of our mechs and we have some omnis but not a whole lot and they're not very fast so that's the main reason why but i gotta say that we do have that group battle armor it is fantastic big brick is totally right it is amazing and in the dakota it can fly around and shoot out of a firing port which is even more impressive and if you want to be able to connect with something that's pretty fast and they've got a breach because Let's say you drop a bunch of stuff on them and you want to seek those crits. It's excellent for that. And so it's just that when it comes to wanting to just drop people, <laughs> I tend to go a little bit heavy if you haven't noticed. Yeah, this is the only mission I regularly lose. Someone shows up and off the building so fast. Oh, really? Well, hopefully, hopefully we're not going to be in that situation. I believe, I believe we're going to be able to keep up with the damage. We're in an urban environment. We've got enough cash to pay to rebuild the whole city. So I think collateral damage is just going to be part of our strategy, right? Because after all, if we're staying still, we want to make sure we got a line of sight to every bad guy that comes our way, right? So that means premature clearing. It's actually more like preemptive setting up the ambush. 
that's how I like to look at it, yeah. All right, so here we are. We'll kind of give it just a moment to kind of fly forward. Let the animation, there's the hiccup. It's loading. All right, there we go, we're good. There we go, vision and you understand, high five, there we go. This is just preparing for the inevitable by dropping our version of a non-nuke, yeah? Are there supposed to be turrets guarding this place? Okay, so we basically have some engineers coming on in from the Lyran side. We are to avoid collateral damage, but that's just a suggestion that we have to pay for, yeah? We target energy transformers and buildings. Enemy mechs stand on. We are innocent. It's true. It's true. Well, I, I wouldn't say innocent per se. That might be a bit of a misnomer. Oh, hello. They've got a Titan. I don't realize it's got some wings here. Wow, it's got a spoiler. Oh my God. This guy's got some downforce. <laughs> Holy crap. 100 ton double PPC. He's got SRM 18. He's got six medium lasers. Oh, never mind. He's got even more. He's got SRM 20. Wow. Okay. That guy's, that guy's cool. Got a Royal Thunderbolt. That is a very cool color and paint scheme. And we see a third out there. Oh, hello. We've got a 100 tonner. All right, excellent. Commander. And it's actually moving on initiative phase five. That's scary. <laughs> I don't know why, but that is scary. Let's go down to one. We'll let them do their thing. Here are our engineers running for dear life because we're not going to do anything until everyone's gone. Oh, there's that. There's that kind of reserve. engineers working together wow we got a lot of engineers holy crap how many engineers does it take to raise four turrets apparently four well we've got we can definitely make those guys move a little bit later we've got more than they do so we can wait all day long uh we got a bun guest let's go in and cruise we're going to try and stay on the red so that we have a little bit more mobility here hang tight we got that death ray ready to do the punch in if we are so lucky hang tight that should force a movement. There we go. Excellent. That's why I like to see. Because if he didn't move, that means there's more that we cannot see out there. So that's excellent. We'll actually cross on over. And even though this is not a through point, it's a bit of a dead end. We do have the high ground and they're probably going to pass through this alley right here. There's that 100 tonner. You can either break left. He's probably going to break left, actually. That's fine. And we got HB in the creepy bun. So we know that... That what he is now he's an atlas ball. okay so we got an atlas what kind it is an atlas ddc we got an onion v oh we've got oh okay there we go there we go there we go so atlas ddc okay perfect well let's go ahead and ping as i understand it the spoiler is a radar or a cooling system i don't know which of the two but the thing usually needs a lot of cooling and titans can take a lot of beating oh that's excellent. That's why I like to hear. Thank you so much. There's that Thunderbolt. He's sending out a little bit of a ping. Well, yeah, we've also got a ping. It seems like we can see more now, right? So there's that Onion. There's the Atlas DDC. We've got the... The Titan over here. And then we got a Royal Thunderbolt right there. Okay, so excellent. So we can see the what I believe is the entire land. So we're going to move on up with a Bunster. We're coming in indirect. And since the onion hasn't really done too much yet, I think getting a little bit of fast cam augmented there is not a bad idea. We can go ahead and start with a little bit of acid spread. The nice thing is we actually have very low accuracy on him. So we're going to be able to spread that fast cam out really nicely. Yeah? It's like an F1 racer spoiler placed behind the head. That's right. I mean, you know, if you get, if you're driving around in a Titan, you probably have a really big head. And if your ego gets super inflated, that's probably their passive aggressive way of telling you that you need to tone it down a notch Commander. so they're like you need a little downforce for your ego buddy here have a little extra weight on your neck <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so passive aggressive i mean the rwr is under stefan amaris i think it kind of makes sense you know we're just gonna go in and lock this atlas right here there we go he's down to zero if we are so lucky perfect and then we'll be able to follow up with a little bit of bombardment. We've got our paladin. I mean, he can just sort of climb as we go. Kind of like a choose your own adventure. Uh, we've got... Ooh, ooh. Actually, you know what? Maybe I want to protect this area. I know it's a cooling exchanger. That only helps them. But I think this is kind of 
where I'd like to send it because we're going to blow up all the things and that's just hilarious. We'll go in with the high explosive here. Well, he is packed with mid short range weapons. So does this mean he runs to his enemies in close range and needs the aerodynamics? Oh, I can see that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, another way to handle that is just to bust all his leg actuators. Then he's going to be sliding across the ground. <laughs> that's, that's just, that's not even funny. I, I, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking, but, but inside I feel like it is. All right, Thunderbun, we're going to keep climbing. We've got the shots. We're just getting a little bit closer. We just got to rotate it around and we'll just send love where love is due. That Royal Thunderbolt trying to hit our engineers. So we'll try to hit him. Don't know if it's going to be successful. Looks like, oh, we got one ping. We got two ping. It's sort of like 50-50 there, yeah? That is funny. Like, oh, hey, five fish. All right, there we go. Somebody go. has a similar sense of humor. I love it. All right, we're in. Bunny rain. It helps keep the Titan's head down to avoid cockpit hits. That is a great reason that is a great reason i like it i feel like we could write our own battletech joke book and then i could just read from it and that's basically a stream <laughs> thank you so much that is a very 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 good perspective yeah heavy mortar carrier Ooh, actually we can't move that's actually not bad i mean i will careful maneuver but i'm gonna careful maneuver up we don't usually do that, but I will. That's kind of cool. I mean, I'll take that. Let's see. This guy is not having a very good day. So maybe we could kind of juice him up, grease him up, get him ready for what is about to hit. Uh, AOE? Sure, sure. There's going to be a lot of AOE coming his way. I just want to make sure he has a little breach somewhere. There we go. So now he's got a breach. He's kind of prime. It's like basting some meat first. We got depth in the Shiltron Prime. That guy... I don't know if that's going to be enough. So maybe we need to attack his buddy too. There is the whole intersection theory, right? So we'll go high explosive. We're actually just going to have him on the outside of this circle. We'll tag both a little bit, but it's not going to be that effective because they're so far from the epicenter. But I think it's going to be worth it. Or it's at least going to be go. funny. We got the bun rotter. He's going to reach on up. I copy. He's going to be able to give a little bit of a warning blast to this guy. Make sure he knows what's coming. Taking Hello, shot. guy. There's something coming that's going to hurt kind of like that. There we go. So now he's he's feeling a little intimidated. No I know. Oh, oh, well, there we go. A little collateral damage there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, right now he has the opportunity to move. It's just a question of whether he's going to take it or not. There's that Atlas DDC. Shot on sandpaper bun. Uh, does not manage to hit at all. That's kind of funny, too. We got oh, HB man. in a creepy bun. You got me. I mean, uh, I guess I guess we can... Yeah, I'm not too sure what to do with this. Maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll just hop on out and kind of tickle the guy a little bit. Actually, I know. I know. We should probably lock this guy, right? So it's easier for the giant AoE to take care of the guy with a giant ego. There we go. <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking about myself. Well, here comes the engineers. And who's actually on five? Is it the onion who's standing in the... Oh, wow. Do we have the opportunity now? It's on three and two. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, it... hopefully they're going to think they're pulling a fast one on us. I'm going to ask them to counter reserve. Oh, no, no. He didn't move that far, though. He is standing in the middle of a giant minefield. We just have to wait two more turns, bunnies. Just two more turns. Don't go anywhere. Don't go... Oh, yes. Commander. That means. Oh, see, we got Amuel. We Just got. No, no, no. That's not it. There, there we go. There we go. Deaths. Deaths is ready. So we're going to start this off correctly and hopefully get a little. Just prime that collateral damage. Right now we're at one out of four. Oh, yes. A little bit of a preview of what's to come. That's excellent. A little bit of coolant here and there. We got to keep him cool because it's about to get hot in here. That isn't a spoiler, it's a stopper. Like, artillery, it's there, so when your Atlas hits him in the face, he <laughs> You know what it reminds me of? You know the drag cars? That is awesome, Panzerbun. Google Translate did that well. No, I'm kidding. You, that's all you. Uh, you know... <laughs> Wait, can we move? Oh, I forgot. Do we have Ace Pilot? Oh my god, we've got Ace Pilot. Oh, uh, oh I guess we'll just rotate, because we can't move. You. you know, you know in, um... The drag cars, they've got the... 
what is that the the thing that stops you from rising too far yeah ghost gaming thanks so much for the follow and welcome to the bunny league yeah we're just we're just testing out some theories of engineering feats shall we say yeah we got the bun guest on the move let's hold you wheelie bar is that what it's called is that the is that the official term though it took me eight tries to get <laughs> well you did a good job i am in your debt for trying to get google translate to cooperate so here's the tight end he's trying to get out he didn't move very far i don't think he did oh that's yeah that's that's not gonna work out well for that guy that's actually it that is oh okay i stand corrected well here is the moment I hear you. now we get to show him well we get to show this thunderbolt we've sufficiently pr oh he lost a sign already well hopefully right now we're at two out of four for collateral damage firing on target we can do this let's go and we're at all right we got we got eight more buildings okay that's a <laughs> Oh, oh, oh is he still how bad how many part is there one part i mean he's that's a pretty jaunty pose i feel like see remember we were talking about those restaurant mints the peppermint ones i kind of feel like he's kind of got that vibe going he looks very chill he could like run a lounge or something we got dex mex taxis in his heavy mortar carrier i feel like the tight end could use a little bit more love that guy He's guided air burst. Do we have any? Do we have anybody with a little bit of love for burst? Maybe this guy did he burst his legs? No, he didn't. Um, well, eighty nine. Yeah, I wish I could use air burst so badly. You know, we're we're just gonna go with it. Well, I'm gonna try the inferno. I know we weren't having much luck with it, but I know we could burn the ground. Yeah, that didn't that didn't do much yeah that did nothing okay that's fine up, well we got our sandpaper bun we should easily be able to handle uh, that guy yeah chat don't get hp killed what are you talking about all right <laughs> i'm not killed oh oh because you're not here to protect me yes chat please don't get me killed all right hey. big bone bun uh we don't have a firing solution so we'll hold we got the daca bun there we go so we finally get to tune up the incredible long range firepower we got a rack five up to six we're gonna battle lord because it's not like we're hot enough already and ah, let's go ahead and send a little bit of daca soften that guy up there we go that tight end is reeling right now and we even scored another collateral damage that's excellent we've got amul and the thunder bun the nice thing about the thunder bun is that we don't have to worry about collateral damage unless we actually target the buildings which we might do later because you got to remember that this is just the vanguard it's not actually the big cheese the really nasty assaults coming on in here this is sort of the prelude to the rwr invasion we got the bunny rain with that artemis 4 should be able to hit this guy sufficiently i would probably have targeted the titan the one with a large eagle like myself just because he's already open but you know when it comes to artemis 4 if i've got an opportunity for dumb fire I'm, I'm probably gonna take it yeah all right so two questions hp what's the giant melee mech that you use that does nearly 700 damage what's your favorite melee so the one that we have right now is one that panzer bun actually told me about it's called the kiso construction mech it's a 100 ton quad and the one that we have i believe is the kr3 that's kilo romeo 3 oh we'll just send yeah we just hit this guy anywhere he's he's, he's gonna be fine and that one with juggernaut because you you want to put a pilot in it that can get extra attacks with weapons because it's got a pile driver and a rock cutter as well as two lifting hoists yeah that one actually will hit for in theory according to the toolbar for 890 is that right Confirm. it's it's somewhere around there i think it's i think it's 891 we can we can check we can bring it on the next mission whatever that'll be i think that's yep yep oh that guy doesn't have much left oh he's got legs and a head okay he's got leg well he's got a spoiler he's got a spoiler and two legs i mean at least he's feeling grounded now right we were talking about he was trying to go too fast and next thing you know we needed to keep him grounded yeah as far as our main yeah it's a really large number that's correct our favorite melee chassis that's tough i want to say I like the Berserker style ever since Friend of Entropy introduced that to me. But I, I tend to, if I'm perfectly honest, whenever I have access and weapons, I tend to work around oh, the weapon 
You as opposed to just stacking ludicrous volumes of stuff on it. So I have to say, before the Kiso and before the Berserker, I got the speed it was actually a Banshee. <laughs> I know, I know. It's kind of a lame answer, but it... I mean, now it's not. <laughs> now I, I, I gotta say that I actually really like the Atlas too. Those Battle Fists are insane on BTA. But before that, I would say that we had really, really good effect with their, there was like a pink Care Bear Kodiak that we had in Rogue Tech that the claws were functional. And that was disgusting. That was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, yeah. How about you? What do you typically use, yeah? There are three or four of them where it doesn't matter. They got minimal differences, basically the same when it comes to fixed equipment. Yeah, they got command consoles. They got a whole bunch of stuff, yeah. Well, this is probably going to hurt. Death Ray and a LB. Oh, there we go. We got a crit there. That's great. The Bunny God. Well, does that count as melee? Does DFA count as melee? Because if that's the case, I changed my answer. <laughs> I respect it. The Banshee with good miss weapons and MASC hits hard. The triple strength Mayamur really pushes it over the top, I think, for sure. I, I wanted to ask if anyone here knows a mod that can be used to know before traveling on the star map, what missions are there on a planet? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know of what that is because I, if I recall, and thank you for asking, Pajaro. If I recall, I think they're ruled like when you're on your way to it. So I don't know if there is a mod that does that. I know you can actually start the flight, get in the air, and then from where you are to the next jump, you can actually pause the timeline and look at the store and it'll tell you what's in the store at the next location, if that makes sense. So maybe not the final destination, like you make multiple jumps on your way or it's a short jump and you just get on out and then you decide you want to turn around, then you probably can see that store before you actually arrive, I think, yeah. Uh, if DFA is considered melee, probably HP has a thing for... Yes! <laughs> yes, I have a thing for the Highlander. That having been Wait said, you, for a long time until now, because it wasn't Where's until me? the improved jump jets, and in this case, the prototype jump jet that's currently on the X1 Highlander and BTA, I have to say, that X1 Highlander with the prototype assault the improved jump jets on it is insane, because it can do way more than i can do as a player so that can jump like nine hexes consistently and it's got other things on it too so it kind of outdoes anything that i could do so i really really dig that but before that i would say actually the catapult c4c our bunny mech was kind of excellent <laughs> We had the negative 30% self DFA damage leg mods on it. We had um, the increased DFA damage output on it. We had pilots that were set up for it. That was excellent. Uh, catapult C4C, yeah. Cooling. My favorite melee mech is definitely the yeah. Axeman. Yes, on 60, is that 65 ton, I believe, yeah? All right. Brawler, all the flare, the hatchman, 20 tons heavier, and DFA counts. All right, as we like to hear. I got into where I get an archer with my brawler pilot. Ooh, that is excellent too at 70. Load up all the leg and shoulder mods possible. Triple strength my armor, supercharger. I, yeah, supercharger makes a huge difference just to be able to walk as far as you can sprint. I mean, that makes such a big difference because you got to walk in to deal with this non charge type attack, yeah? That's huge. SRM 24. Sometimes got to just for kicks it straight to the head. A little bit of UAC there. Yeah, we oh we dinged the head once, but <laughs> we dinged him everywhere else a lot. Yeah. Going kicking and punching. Inferno. Yeah, that's devastating. What about the missions? The missions? That's a great question, Paharo. I was going to say yes, but I don't know for sure. As soon as we're done with the flare-up, uh, we might not be able to check it today just because we're in the flare-up and I don't know whether the points are going to go up or down. But um, if that's the case and you remind me, I will absolutely take a look with you. Yeah, but you might be able to do the same thing. I, I think you can, but I, I can't say for sure. Yeah, maybe some of the other bunnies know. Proto jump jets are amazing. Heck yes. Those are all the Kisos, Hanzer. This career took me forever to find an archer. I stayed in my trusty Vindy with all the mods way too long. Not nearly so much SRM. I've actually heard there's a gentleman on Battletech game Reddit. I think he's 
a a delbert or a felbert i'm for sure mispronouncing his name and for that i apologize if he ever gets this um he's a he was at least at the time seems like a huge proponent of a bunch of longbows with improved jump jets like that can jump like 10 to 13 hexes and are stacked with srms which is terrifying <laughs> he's got other things in there too but he says that it, it works like in almost any mission Ooh, they're right next to us i was gonna say that is a beautiful marauder too but that's our marauder too but they've got a dragoon and hopefully they can't fire oh thank god that's right on our butt look where they landed they got a royal crusader they've got oh i was gonna say they got a die sheet no they got an iron clan they got a rivalman three with eight lbxac2s dude their loadouts for the rifleman three are genius <laughs> i don't know how they pull it off they got the dragoon okay so that's the more like normal dragoon out there the aem 004 and in the distance we've got another lance on the drop we've got the dragoon this is the one the aem 003 we've got a royal king crab we already have one part of that we got 60 tons right here that royal king crab is a beautiful look at that it's got the big animal skull and it is juiced and ready to go double ac 20 large laser lrm 15 a very very nice close range brawling style we're just gonna go in and walk it on back if we are so lucky we're gonna be able to land this on the dome but he does have that spawn protection but we're gonna try anyway sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight at the head from downtown and we at least connect to the middle i'll take that yeah the three are basically the same chance that's for the key so yeah longbow hopper swarm sounds crazy rifle that's right it would save me time looking for missions for a faction that wants to raise reputation i thought someone here between you no absolutely i i want to say that i want to say yes to it pajaro I, I just typically, it's been a while since I've checked missions mid-flight, but I used to do something like that. I just don't know what the behavior is right now. That's all, yeah. But I believe it might work. Watch Wait, out for the Dragoon. It's got that scary is Mercy. That oh, see, we haven't seen the Mercy yet. We've seen a decent volume of, oh, see, look at this jumping distance. That's awesome on the creepy bun. We've seen a decent volume. That love from above. Royal Crusader at 63. This Dragoon moved already, so we'll go ahead. Actually, you know what? Precise Strike. We can... Oh, yep, that's fine. I'll send it to the back of the Ironclad. Or was that the side? Oh, you know what? That was the side. I meant to shoot the Royal Crusader. That's my bad. Yeah, no, we, we've seen a lot of the Death Rays. We haven't seen the Mercy yet. So I am... I'm really excited to check out some of the other ones. Right now, we're sporting the death ray on our 360 degree turret on the bar guest stefan amaris has a strange design team but i dig their style double large laser on this lancelot very much like an energy blackjack or something like that we've got on the distance another hundred tonner very interesting curious if it is a we've seen a couple of ironclads now we've seen well obviously the royal king crab a couple of times now including the ones in front of us yeah. all right we got superior in the bungus this is the one with the death ray this is also the one oh we got the double ac 20 that we got to be careful of it's probably not smart to move right away but i kind of wanna so we're gonna do it <laughs> go figure right and we get to see what is it isn't the iron clan oh it is a titan with the spoiler look at that it is the spoiler titan that keeps him grounded gotta love it you almost look like this is a face and he's from minecraft i don't know it's kind of interesting he's got double pp yep he's the one with the srm 20 the six medium lasers double ppc so with its death ray i believe we should be able to connect with him battle lord might be a little too much heat we'll have to see because we do have a positive delta already what is it we can almost handle it but we're gonna hit for 120. Engaging. oh my god that okay that sucks <laughs> that sucks we hit the arm the arm is gone i'm curious if that had enough to flow through or not it kind of flowed through a little bit by like one point but that's very impressive it seems like when i see a large number of royal mechs during the flare-up i won't see any super weapons can't wait to get up to five skull to start bagging titan so right now we actually have we're on five skulls the flare-up i think is like four and a half like it's it's not a full five Ready for order. and we've seen some of the super weapons obviously in the death ray that's about it yeah sandpaper bun is going to be excellent if we want to clear the rear so we're coming in with a sprint there it is 
because even if they've got that spawn protection, it's going to be hard to stay away from Hag 80. And with this guy, oh, we've got Bunny Rain. Are we going to miss? If we miss, this might hurt, but we will go straight to core on the Ironclad. Stack him. Oh, yep, we hit the Bunny Rain a little bit. Hopefully this was sufficient. All right, we got an opening. That's nice. I'll take it. He's definitely um, Sandpaper Blasted on the back there. Lancelot locked down probably from the turrets. Hello. Oh, wait. <laughs> They're shooting and we're in the strike zone. How rude. We would never do that. Well, we would do that, but it, it, we normally wouldn't. But look at all these LBXAC2s. Oh, and he connects. That is not good. Us coming to the rear, isn't it? Losing armor. Okay, that was just a kick. Excellent. Oh my god, that's a little bit terrifying. Maybe we should get more aggressive here. I don't want to have to worry about the bunny's butt, right? Only we shoot him in the butt. We're going to go in and try and tag up that ironclad. Rock him a little bit. Hang out. Please don't hit the other bunnies. Yep, there it is. We got Cyber Gizmo. We're currently on three. There we go. So we can actually move the bunny rain away now. That is excellent. I'd like it if we could pull the old do -si do There we go. do -si do your partner now. We are super close, but we've got Clan LRM90. It's possible to do it. Stack it in. I don't think he's going to survive, and he's not really going to be able to move. That's 90 Clan LRMs right into the breach, and the Ironclad is down. Beautiful. So before he can react, before he can get any of that firepower online, he is dropped to the ground. Poor, poor guy. That is one of the dangers of danger zone is one of the dangers Commander. of actually invading an occupied area well we got our shield tron well that guy's gonna move we could probably make them a little bit hotter i'm telling you what we're gonna go in and reserve a little bit who's on two so it's gonna be that that grounded tight any super super grounded and then after that it's gonna be the double ac20 i'm a little worried about that because superior jc is on the other end of that actually i'm gonna hold anyway not because i think it's gonna be funny but because so far the other guy didn't fire so i wonder if he can yeah if this were battletech with paper pencil and miniature the mech whose army ripped off would have to throw to avoid falling oh i didn't maybe he rolled and maybe he was successful i don't know back what did i miss well you missed the other guy's back being destroyed and you missed this royal well you didn't miss this guy all right beautiful so look at that look at that he came forward he's just waiting for a little bit of bombardment well, we're ready to send it, right, bunnies? Right. Well, guess what? We can target uh, the ground, and we are not going to be gentle. We shall target uh, that king crab. Well, actually, I don't want to target the king crab. We're going to target uh, these guys. How about that? Although, I would like a little more collateral damage, so maybe we'll target it like this. He's going to be on the outside. We kind of want to be gentle with that guy. Come in with a little bit of... Ah! We'll come in with high explosive stuffs, yeah? You love the paint? It is so cool. It is. I've had you in BTA for forever, Glenn. Hey, Creature JK. Thank you so much for swinging on by. I saw your comment. Thank you so much for using the HPFD pilot. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully we aren't causing you trouble because I have been known to cause trouble, right? And it would be really awesome. It'd be really awesome if I was actually helping you out. I would feel so much better. Well, we, if you're joining us right now, we're currently trying to gently massage this Royal King Crab, kind of make him maybe just want to stop, you know, doing shenanigans or anything like that. We're just going to start with the guys who are not currently in the blast template. If you do play any sort of tabletop, we're going to go in and just send a little bit over to the Dragoon. He's relatively untouched. Maybe just a bit of a ding in the middle there, but we've got sufficient stacks of acid. It's going to amplify and magnify the damage and in with the fall of the leader. Very sufficiently primed, basted like a turkey, I say. And we've got our big bone bun. Who better? to take a king crab than this sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head shot tank hair oh <laughs> that is not the head oof okay so if we do a high explosive that might not be so great but we can always try again no worries we've got our daka bun we should probably deal with the guys behind us, if I'm perfectly honest. I kind of forgot about them. I saw the Royal King Crab. I saw loot. I admit it. I saw loot. Not salute, but I saw loot. Yeah, so... <laughs> so we got that Royal Crusader. Heck, why not? Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. That guy we can see a little better. All right, a little bit of a ding there. Excellent. He's got five. 
when it counts there we go that's beautiful and that guy is down lethal damage on a royal crusader that is excellent and finally we've got all the guns back online so let's go in and get that we'll get that stack uh we've got our heavy mortar carrier well actually bunnies this is where death says this is the perfect time to use this we're gonna send air burst that's right this guy's open we tried to be gentle we weren't gentle we opened up the middle he's only got 80 structure the 85 structures might be too much but we've got air burst this might be the way to do it we might be able to crit this guy significantly gentle 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 so gentle <laughs> It's so gentle. Oh my God, it's so gentle. Why that Royal King Crab didn't know it hit it. In fact, it seemed like it got a lot. It got, it got air bursted in crab. Well, the nice thing is we actually have fast fire. That's right. So that's going to allow us to place a plate the size of Chicago right on top of that guy. And he's in the worst part of the Venn diagram right now when the Venn diagram is actually overlapping with the other Venn, right? So we're going to see if they've got what it takes, if they've got the speed, if they've got the panache to remove themselves from that which is the Bunny League's version of a game of, well, lawn bowling or bar darts, right? These guys are the target. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, please, someone save Gigan. He only has three armor. That's not good. Well, sandpaper it is. Hopefully, he's going to be able to move out of danger. We're on six. Commander? We got serve cold. Yep, I mean, Commander. served is going to give him a little bit of a boom. Currently, we're on 11 collateral damage buildings. And now we're on 19. That's fantastic. That's what we like to see. Wow. That was bad. <laughs> I can't take much more of this. <laughs> Whoops. Or exactly what we're looking for, right? All right. That's... <laughs> wow okay so war crimes are right up our alley that's what i say all right excellent i'm glad that i'm glad that we've got millions of sea bills so that we can have some fun in here hit that dragoon this is the x variant of it not the a variant with a mercy i'm told bun rotter let's go we're gonna bring it around we need to safeguard the bunny with three that's right three armor on the leg sometimes you gotta adjust for kicks it straight to the head <laughs> all right there we go walk it up that's what we need to do you start low you just walk it right on up that's awesome each shot with a significant punch in order to stun the guy into submission that's excellent cure bunny tactics all right what do we got out here so they've got three up above they haven't really moved too far if i'm perfectly honest there isn't much place for them to go they're basically visible to everybody there are no buildings i don't know where they went but the nice thing is they don't really seem like they want to get too aggressive. They just want to get out of the giant blast templates oh, that man. we're placing on the floor. You got me. So we got a creepy bun. We might as well get on over to the rear. And we're just going to go ahead and give this guy a little bit of a... Well, that. I mean, he can't have a lot of armor on the back. There we go. He's got 46. He's got 46. I am a little bit nervous about the fact that he's got so much LBX AC2 Daka. If he comes around to the sandpaper bun, that's almost definitely going to breach and almost potentially just going to cleave the cleave the leg in half right fortunately i think he gets to move on four right so i don't think that rifleman is going to well the rifleman three sorry yes commander it's going to be able to survive for very long we've got the sandpaper bun excellent so we're actually going to utilize vigilance and we are going to sprint like crazy to get a little bit of diff a little bit of distance here and we got that Hag 80 and shot to the butt. I don't think the Rifleman is going to be able to go. Ooh, actually he might. He's a very durable Rifleman, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm sure the city evacuated. The skyline will be nice and clear when the civvies get back. I know. Honestly, the problem with this place, you saw it at a lot of smog, right? There was a lot of smog. There's a lot of smog where these buildings are. But out here, look at this. Pure sunshine. This is like the light of the city right now, where we have done a little bit of terraform. I mean, maybe not terraforming, but stuff. We've, we've done some city reorganization, right? So 
it's a really a valuable service that we've provided. We're just going to go ahead and maybe send a little death ray their way. A little bit of LBXC. We'll go haunt for it. Why not? That's pretty good. 55. Eight damage. Ooh, nice hit from our allies there. Rejuvenating a planet's ecology is terraforming. What we do is terror for... <laughs> well, I mean, we rejuvenate the populace's fear, right? They used to have none, and now they've got plenty. Oh, man, that guy's still around, and we're full of explosive ammunition. I don't like that. All right, that's fine. I, I was a little bit worried. I'm feeling okay. Let's go ahead and send some arrow forth to that Titan. We're a little far away with our explosives, but hopefully... Yeah, see, we didn't even do any more collateral damage. damage. We've kind of already hit cap and density. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate. We need to find a new place to nuke some people, yeah? Ready for order. Uh, we got our heavy mortar. Excellent. Uh, we can go ahead in there. We got that air burst. Is that guy burstable? Is the thing uh, that guy? Oh, that guy's definitely burstable. We've got the air burst. Our last salvo of air burst, where we are the most gentle. If we hit this guy with air burst, we might actually hit the back of the other dragoon and score a two for. Let's go. We got one. I for sure. I kind of thought that we would hit the back of this other lance a lot because it was like detonating right here and his back is completely oh my god he's got three <laughs> he's got three wow that's excellent well we probably want to help out with this last guy right here we're gonna at least push him back on the initiative order shot this rifleman has caused us so many issues i'm actually very impressed with the rifleman three they're rather durable i see the word rifleman i instantly think wet tissue paper but this guy i definitely don't so very very cool we're going to give this guy a nice swift kick and uh, a little bit of a follow-up here. Stack his razzle-dazzle camouflage and give him a little bit of love. And there we go, I guess. Oh, that's open. That is awesome. Look at that. Look how durable this guy is. You kind of got to respect that. I don't care if you're in a 90-tonner. I don't care if you're in a 15-tonner. I mean, the fact that you can stand up after just getting stand up to that is very very impressive to me is he hitting us or is he hitting a building oh he's hitting an apc oh well that's okay it it, it was below our <laughs> there's an apc down here it really looked like he might have been attacking us but he totally wasn't so you know what i'm actually gonna just try and drill this guy out we're gonna go straight to core we don't usually do this i don't know oh yeah that worked <laughs> Well, that leaves the Titan. That leaves the Titan and it leaves the Rifleman 3. That's what we got. This is excellent. The bill might be kind of high, but I think the hilarity that ensued was totally worth it. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, yep. That guy's done. There we go. No, Kerensky went ape on these. The Rifleman 3 was removed from historic history systematically. The prototype nearly won a defense on failing Terra. Won a defense on failing Terra at the very similar how Maris went ape on the Night Star. Does ape ape as in uh, they didn't like him? Like they tried to to trash him or something? We're going to go with guided here. Stack him. Should be enough for the Rifleman 3. Oh my gosh. Very impressed right now. Going to be a lot of salvage. Yes. Oh, and he's even more captain there we go all targets eliminated sit tight and can collect it from you all right now all right bunnies total win total win will the bunny league suffer a part loss that is a no congratulations to those who had the faith heck yes so currently we are sitting at 10 and 23 on the flare-up we were at 10 and 19 we went up by four so i'm really curious if we're gonna go back down i thought we might be able to wrap it up but who knows? So cross your fingers that we actually bring that Delta down a little bit. Yeah, very much did not like the mechs. They were too good and wiped out during the civil war between Kerensky. They were too good? Wait, they didn't like them because the mechs were too good? I mean, they're very... That's interesting. Why? We're simply practicing urban renewal. 
We will rebuild this city as a cathedral to our might. Walls crafted from the bones of our enemies, stained glass windows from mech cockpits, and the streets paved with the blood of the orphans we create. Or so this small creature with bat-like wings perched on my shoulder whispered to me. Oh, yes. Well, let's see what we got. Atlas DDC. We've got the Onion, the Royal Thunderbolt part. Got pretty standard bunch of AC-20s. Command console. Excellent. We've got... <laughs> A lot of LBX AC2 ammunition. There's another full rifleman on stack. A full Dragoon on stack. Three Gauss rifles. Royal King Crep. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Do we have... Hang on. We do. So this one is the Royal King Crab 000B. And this one is... Zero. Okay. Okay. We have a full one with the three. Excellent. Three, two, one. So we've got a full Dragoon. We've got one out of four of an Ironclad. We've got an Onion part. We've got a full Rifleman three again. We've got a full Royal King Crab. We've got one out of four of a Royal Crusader. We've got a Royal Thunderbolt part. We've got five parts. So one and a quarter Titans with the spoiler. We'll clear the LRM 15s, clear the machine guns, clear, believe it or not, clear the middle fingers of doom, clear the case, clear the core and clear the SRMs. That is awesome. <laughs> what? the heck is that that is awesome go alliance so during the civil war the rifleman 3 was the most advanced stealth mech comparable to 3050 technology which to be fair is star league standard during the ameris civil war okay so it sounds cool right and, and it was too good maybe it was like people were afraid of it because it was too good and they didn't want that kind of power in somebody's hands is that the idea i mean that would be the main thing that i would think of if i hear that statement that it was too good it was too strong yeah but then it's almost like why don't you repurpose it for yourself maybe they're the ones with all the designs and the plans and the factories and, and things like that or no in this moment we need to go back to the navigation screen we need to take a look and see whether or not we brought that delta down uh, the Night Star was a 100-ton command mech marauder during the Amaris Civil War, and Amaris wiped it out to prevent Kerensky. Oh, gotcha. So in this case, now it's a 95-ton mech. So we've got three days. We'll go over to the navigation screen. Where are we at? Cross your fingers. We're not above 20. We are down to 18. So we actually dropped back down. Now we have an eight-point spread right here on this four-and-a-half skull difficulty flare-up. So hopefully we're going to be able to keep closing that gap. We're just going to get rid of a few parts and then we'll push on in. We've got seven days left in the month. So I don't think I'm going to actually put these things together just yet. We got a Royal Thunderbolt part. You know what? We'll just move forward because honestly, we might be able to piece these together and selling them right now. It doesn't make too much sense. Uh, we'll stop by the mech bay just in case. And the bunnies had asked about battle armor as well. We can probably bring in some battle armor. Currently, we've got two suits. We've got the baby bunny rain and the vintage VV bun. That's our gnome battle armor. So we can get in in the Dakota and definitely fly around. Hopefully, we'll we'll get a decent attack contract right here. And the next one. Who is a blackout? Okay, well, we'll... All right. I'm going to do it because I want to keep pushing forward. Five pick 23. But I want to say with a blackout... It's very possible this is the last fight we have of the stream <laughs> because they can be really long. So I guess the Dakota might be kind of helpful here. So so let's get this set. Yeah, they're scary. Uh, Alexander Kerensky was an idealist. He took the Rifleman 3 away. He didn't want the great houses to use it. Same reason all Helm core tech was hidden. And you're right. It's a 95 ton. I always give it an extra. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I was just thinking maybe it started out as 100 and then it got downsized. I, I don't know. Yeah but thank you so much that is really cool i honestly i really like the the night star so that's pretty awesome well tell you what we're gonna go ahead and move on in we're actually gonna bring the panzer bun and the bun punchy because in this state we need two bunnies that are going to stand tall and trigger these things and they're typically surrounded and blasted so i'm definitely going to need a little bit of assistance having the bun boom bun is excellent as an option the bun you know what what if we go melee we we go hard let's go hard the bun bear is not the greatest at it but it'll do it'll do we've got the x1 i'm a little disappointed in its new dfa performance it hits often but it does like 20 damage or something 
but uh we'll, we'll have to see how that goes as things progress we've got our bunny rain we've got the daka the streaky bun could be useful but i'd like to go a little bit faster so let's bring the fast movers we've got our bun guess we've got the mad 5s we've got the bun bun cake we've got our fire we've got the bunny spy and we've got the i guess the the thunder bun could be useful too so i probably didn't want it right there we'll get our dakota so that we can kind of look ahead there she is and we shall toss in the croup into the Dakotas. You can see that pop up right there with a new interface and we'll drop that right in there. Yeah. I saw screenshots of the new super boss today. I'm skeptical about its mortality. Yes. <laughs> so far, so good. We're trying to move through this flare up. It's definitely got a lot of verve trying to take us down. You say blackout like it was attack and defend. Well, attack and defend, at least I know where they're coming from. In this case, I don't know what we're going to face off against. And sometimes they're... Well, I guess we're going to be super, super assaulty. So that's kind of okay. Annie's out for how long again? I really would like him back. Debilitating severity threshold per location four. Oof. All right. Well, let's get in what we can. So we got Lummox. We've got Brick, who is our juggernaut. We want him in the thing to strike with weapons. For another set of punching. I mean, we don't have another dedicated puncher. So... We'll come back to that one. For the sandpaper bun, we'll come back to that one. We'll work with what we know first, right? So we've got Superior Daisy. We've got War Bun Bun in the Bun Rotter. We've got the Bun Bun Cake. That's definitely going to be Deaths. We've also got the Bun Spy. That's going to be Cyber Gizmo. Thunder Bun. That's going to be Amiol. We also have our Dakota. So we've got our Flyer. That's going to be Serve because he's the V only bunny, even though it's not really set up that way. And then we'll hold on the croup. Right now we've got three plus one so we need four more bunnies we only have four slots here so i'm kind of thinking maybe knife fighter we'll toss in we'll get dex into our little guy out there we've got serene we got tank hair let's get tank hair with a bun boom bun that we can kind of split fire with all those long tom cannons we got the sandpaper bun even though it doesn't need the precision master we've got gigan to use that master tack to push us forward and we'll get dex into the croup we're going in completely maxed out here we go Four Skull, Difficulty, Blackout in the Highlands against the RWR. Will the Bunny League suffer a part loss? This could be short. It could be long. Five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got, yeah? A Blackout with a minimum tonnage if that isn't sus at all. And five pick 23 as well, yeah? I can't go anymore. I have to line up. Panzerbun, thanks so much for hanging out as long as you did. I hope you have a great rest and we'll catch you on the next one, buddy. Have a great one, yeah? I saw... Oh, see, we got... I'm going to move on to something else. Have a very good last mission of the stream. Pajaro, thank you so much. I hope that you have a good run and you can check out the missions efficiently. Yeah, have a good one. Blackout does wear me out running me around the map. Click fest with all the lances dropped. What bet did they lose to drop in a fire starter in this tonnage? Oh, yes. Hey, Quintuple. Well, in this case, the bunnies love the fire starter. But yeah, we... <laughs> We want to move a little faster, that's all. When it comes to Blackout, sometimes we got to go through two different locations and it can take a very long time. So we're just trying to keep things rolling because we are eight points on the split in the Delta for control of Tau Ceti against the Rimworld Republic run by Stefan Amar. So right now we're just trying to get those last couple of points. If we can be efficient with this, we might have a whole nother hour. Maybe we wipe this out in like 25 minutes. That would be ideal because then I would imagine this is a very long flare up and it's against a Rimworld Republic. I would imagine that we're going to get pretty decent sized loot crate at the end. Yeah. So I don't think I've ever done this one. One that is this involved and long. Yeah. All right, Antonides, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest. We'll catch you on the next one, man. Have a good one. What's the RWR even dropping? That's great to look out for. It's been a while since I looked at them. Well, they actually have four different super weapons that have been introduced on the patch yesterday. I can't believe it's only been yesterday. That's crazy. Uh, one of the ones we have, it's a death ray. It's 145 damage energy weapon at 10 tons, and it generates 80 heat. And it also ignores a couple of pips of evasion as plus two accuracy. It's got a bunch of stuff, right? So that's one of those weapons. I think there's a, it's called like a meat grinder machine gun. There were a couple of other ones out there too. I know one of the bunnies mentioned Mercy, which I think is on a bunch of Dragoons. 
a lot of the mechs that you find against in with the RWR are all Royal variants. So we've seen, I've got two Royal Highlanders now. We've got a Royal King Crab we just picked up. We've got a Royal Thunderbolt part. We got a Royal Catapult part. So if you want to get Royal stuff, not a bad way to do it. Yeah. So let's see what we got. This is the blackout. Ooh, interesting map for it. Very weird. We've been provided a possible location the Royal is staying at. We've had no replies on our attempted comms though, which is unusual to say the least. Let's head to the nearest location and move on from there, team. We've got our sensors on the team's location. Bunnies will let you know the moment we see trouble. What's interesting is in this one, when they mention the Royal, I recall that there are two locations. This, the next one, you got to get right on the base and then they, they basically drop right on top of you which is a little bit terrifying. Uh, hopefully we'll get on down. It's not going to be a problem at all. We're going to hop quickly, efficiently make it work. We got our sandpaper bun on the approach. We got some hot pink mechs. That's right. We like to razzle and dazzle with the best of them. There's the Panzer bun. This is our Kiso. That's our melee mech. We've got a pseudo melee mech with our bun bear. We got the bun boom bun that's currently stuck. We'll come back to you. <laughs> got a bun rotter V2 on the move. Bun guest on move with our brand new death ray in the clan LBX AC10. Oh, we'll come back to you. Bun bun cake on the move all the way down. Come back to you. <laughs> our unfortunate bunny spy and the fire starter, the Omni, the 45 tonner. We have the Thunder Bun EX on the follow up. And now almost coming back to you. We got the Dakota full speed. He's got the croup inside. And we're going to be able to hold brace. And now we deal with tank him and his position. Okay. He's just got a careful maneuver for a few turns. <laughs> We'll just sidle it on down, no problem. And hang tight, yeah? Mercy, 19 tons, 50 times 350 damage, 35 AoE. I don't remember the rest. What I have a meat fuck? grinder. Oh, really? That's cool. Wow, you've been able to get a couple of them. That's awesome, yeah? All right, Deus Bunny. Look at that. Look at that coverage. Getting over to the high ground to kind of take a look, a little Assassin's Creed style. We've got to trigger that down there. So at least we've got a little bit of time. So let's move. Tank here cannot move, so he's got a careful maneuver once again. Oh, hello. The nice thing about it, though, is that he does have double long tom cannons. So even though he might be far behind, as long as he's not isolated and as long as they don't jump down on him, like basically drop on top of him and we're all separated, then I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be an issue if, let's say, he was a direct line of sight mech and uh, quite frankly, he couldn't do anything and he's super slow, right? So it's not, it could be worse. It could be worse. If we come down, it looks like we do have a bit of a hairpin down there. So we uh, definitely got to step lively. And we're going to zip on forward. We got our Dakota. Dakota doesn't have anything to worry about. We got the baby bunny rain inside with a croup and the battle armor tube artillery. Nice thing is, even though it's called tube artillery, it actually operates just like the cannons. So you can actually shoot and well move and shoot and things like that you don't have to wait those two turns it's not actually like the mech tube artillery or anything like that where you have to kind of designate the area and then shell away with pure aoe love now we're gonna come on down through the marsh extra stability there bun guest can we come on down oh we can i didn't even realize that that's excellent we didn't even have to go around and then the bunny spite can just hop on down, no problem, yeah? Hang tight. Thunder bun. At the very least, we're going to be in range by the time we trigger that thing and hold. Confirmed. So we've got a pretty decent variety of positions. <laughs> pretty, pretty decent. Oh my gosh. Are we stuck again? Well, wow, we are so slow. That's a walk. That's a sprint. Oh my God. All right, well, maybe... <laughs> All right, we're going that way. I don't think we're going to have tank in this engagement in particular, but that's okay. If we had a horse girl, I'd pick him up and I'd bring him with us. All right, we're, we're dashing over to the edge here since we know we can go down that way now. Panzer bun. We're going to maybe because I'd like to trigger with Panzer bun and I'd like to trigger with a bun punchy because that's kind of their optimal range, right? But oh, we got the bun guess. We're going to climb on the opposite side, get a pincer if possible. And we're just, we're just all maneuvering. So it's kind of the reason why it's nice to have a light or something uh -huh. like that. Just to be able to, to get on in. Apparently we already have one of the bunnies counting us within the target zone. 
If we pull away from it, is it the Dakota? Doesn't look like it, so we'll hold. Sandpaper. Right on. It might be the Sandpaper, even though he's up here. Or maybe it's dead. I'm not too sure. Got our dais. I don't know if that's a building, but we'll stand on top of it. Oh, it is a building. That's not good. You can lead a horse to water, but <laughs> you gotta you gotta bring your friends, right? You gotta you gotta pick up the mech and bring your friends. All right, Panzer Bunt, look at that. Close that gap, Bum Bears coming around the mountain. Got the Bun Boom Bun who's stuck, so we're just gonna careful maneuver. <laughs> Tank is trying. All right, Tank's trying. You gotta give him that. Bunny spy. Hello. Oh, hello. There we go. Pull it on back. Ready, and bun, boom, bun. I think that's sort of in the general direction. Oh, bun okay. rotter. Air is just water waiting to happen. Oh, that's a good one. All right, coming around. I'm curious if we're going to lose that one on target. It was Deaths who triggered that. That makes sense. And we're going to pop on up. Copy that. We got the Dakota. We're going to go wide. And hold. Gotcha. All right. I don't think we're going to have tank in this engagement. So let's go ahead and trigger it. We'll get yes, Lummox. Oh, wait. We got to go around. Oh, Trent. Okay. Well, Confirm. almost, almost going to trigger it. How about that? Uh, we got Brick. Ooh, look at that. Almost there. Deus Bunny can definitely trigger it. We can do that. There we go. Him that He's in. From above. And we got the Sandpaper Bun bring it around got the angle we got bun bear up oh, here we go that's all you need out. oh never mind i thought that was but apparently not Ooh, we can move that's awesome is that a key so that's right we've got a key so we got a kr3 that's right bun guest high ground bun rotter right to the edge bun bun cake oh boy let's do it there's the trigger that should be two. That is two. Halt in town. This is Commander Oliveira of the Bunny League Merc Company on assignment for the Lyran Commonwealth. We've been asked to contact Henriette Bosch. Do you know her whereabouts? Turret spinning up, boss. It's time for a fight. Line them up, bunnies. All right, so we got a bunch of turrets right now. We've got... Heavy sniper turret, double PPC, quad AC2, double machine gun. We've got heavy laser, double large and quad medium. It's very much like the actual turret you can deploy. Heavy mortar turret. Looks like maybe meleeable. Very interesting. We've got a heavy shredder turret, maybe meleeable as well. What that is so cool. You? Well, I would like to... I mean, I guess we can't really attack on this turn, so let's get out of line what of sight of the AC20. Let's kind of pull ourselves over. We got the Dakota because this is the non-turn based mode. Hang tight. Right, Commander. Uh, we got Baby Bunny Rain a hold. And there we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that means that guy gets to shoot at her back. Well, I guess it's a mortar. So it could be worse. What do we got? We got Dex. We've got the shot. He's going to go very soon. Heavy Sniper. Well, I guess he's kind of the threat right now. So we'll just kind of whittle away at him. Don't know how significant the damage is that we'll do. But that's that's a lot coming from a single battle armor unit. Holy crap. It's almost 200 it. damage on that turret. Wow. Holy crap, yeah. The Krupp. That's right. It's the Krupp. <laughs> My grip. What can I do for All right, you? Dakota. Keep that speed. We've got eight. Got it. Max speed. At the very least, we can do kind of some kind of sensor impairment or something. So we're going to go ahead and lock up the sniper turret. And then they got two more. So it's all the turrets going. Those are the mortars. They're going to slam into the sandpaper. Actually, the sandpaper and the bun rotter. A little bit of heat damage there. That's okay. Because I think we've seen we actually don't really take the heat damage at the moment. So... Kind of works out in our favor this time. I live by my Ravager battle armor with 15 piercing. Oh, that is excellent. Is that Good from the go. one from the Marian Hegemony? It's one of my favorite as well. It was my favorite until uh, I got into like the clan stuff and all that. Uh, heavy mortar turret. So we actually can melee them. That's awesome. 
but I think I will hold just a moment. We'll go down to one because we've got all the bunnies ready. Got our thunder bun. Hit them. Stack the mortar turret. Four thunderbolt ten. Down to forty six. We got the bunny spy. We'll come it around. Give me a little burn. Or plasma. Yep. They're the ten shoot ten ton shooty guys. That's right. They are the ones. They're so good. I love the ravagers. I mean, obviously, go. you got to pick them up and drop them off because they can pretty much only ever move like one hex, even under the best of circumstances. All right, we're going to... I don't think I've ever DFA'd a turret. See, this is where we see if there's something messed up with a DFA damage right now because I just want to show you something. <laughs> so, the DFA damage... Does anyone see this number down here? It's 1,479, right? 285 times 2. 96.4%. We've had no problem actually landing these, yeah? Okay, so I don't know how much damage we're going to do. We're going to try and land on it. Typically, we do the whole... Yeah, we did 150. All right, so we dealt, we dealt 225 damage total. I feel a little bit like I've been robbed. <laughs> There's something going on with the DFA damage, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know. It seems so weird to me. We, at, at, at least under normal circumstances, we've been doing like 493, I think? I think? So something seems off. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, yeah? So we'll just hit these guys. I mean, it's not that it's an issue that, like, is a serious issue. It's just sort of something that I notice and... and I, I don't think the DFAs are necessarily worth it at the moment. But we'll zoom in and we'll take care of these guys, yeah? Turk takes double. Yes, yes. Uh, it's not that, though. I mean, even though it took double, we didn't even... We didn't even pass 225 damage, you know? And we've got Goomba Stomper. We have the special DFA mech. We've got the... Um, We've got Brawler for extra 35% DFA damage. We've got all the stuff. Yeah. We got changing the patch to decentivize the AI. Yeah. So from what I read, and, and maybe there's more to it. From what I read, and that's a good point. From what I read, it was plus seven difficulty for the DFA. Does that affect the damage is my question. Uh, I'm not too sure. And, and it's not necessarily a question to you. It's just more of like, I, I'm not too sure what's, what's going on with it. Yeah. Got a little bit of the turret here. DFA is what makes Brawling here. I love, I love DFA. I, I think I understand the, the, I guess the, the impetus I feel like where it can be somewhat like suicidal DFA, but I, I'm okay with it. If I can still DFA, <laughs> you know what? I'm actually not even mad with it at all. I just... Oh, there we go. What's going on, bunnies? Why would they be firing at us? Look, I've no clue, but I'm sure we'll find out in the other settlement nearby. Let's head out. All right, so we cleared that trap. No problem. We got one more to get into. We got to find Henry at Bosch. Yeah, so just to be clear, I'm not, like, upset by it at all. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm not crazy. <laughs> If that makes sense, yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not imagining it. Because I... Understood. I was like... I think there's something wrong. <laughs> uh, it was totally... Also, I don't believe the plus seven difficulty would change them. Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay. I, I I, thought maybe I misread it or, or something. So I appreciate... I appreciate the sanity check. Yeah. We'll hang tight here. And we've got Sandpaper Bun. Wow, at least it's not too far away. That's kind of nice. Yeah. It definitely could have been much farther. We've had that before, yeah. Well, hang tight. We got Brick here and up. Uh, in fairness, the change was to try and trick the AI. To use it more as a last resort. Oh, yeah. No, I I totally understand that. Then calculating it would do the most damage and select it uh, as the okay. option when it wasn't having heat issue. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I get that. I think with the, at least from the explanation 
on the patch notes the way I interpret a plus seven is more like a like an accuracy thing or a success thing but it's very possible that it works differently and that maybe that actually translates into the actual output as well so in order to sort of get the ai not to dfa as much maybe that means hey the damage calculation is a lot lower now so you really don't want to do it type of thing and from that yeah i i totally didn't pick that up from my lack my layman's understanding how's it going so again it's more of i get that reasoning or the desire to have the ai drop their their frequency of use let's say and that totally makes sense to me i would just want to know or at least i'd like to figure out or for science it like what exactly is happening and because it allows me as a player to make a decision as to when to dfa because Copy let's that. be real even if i did like no damage like if, even if i did like a single point of damage with dfa i'd probably still do it <laughs> On my way. but i would probably do it when like the enemy is breached and red everywhere you, you know what i mean so it's just about making a decision as opposed to trying to get something to change or something like that if that makes sense yeah uh, it could get pretty bad with the ai oh no i believe me i remember in vanilla being annoyed with the spider that wouldn't die it would just limp around with no weapons not even in the tummy they've both been cracked to crap all right what do we got bunnies halton radio to let me know you were coming i'm completely fine you may now leave bunnies we've got an incoming leopard it's coming in hot oh uh no save me and my little dog bunnies uh, Miss Bosch, we're here for your dog as per your request. Uh, uh, bunnies, take these ruffians out this instant. <laughs> Sounds like there's more going on here than we expected, bunnies. No time to figure it out right now, though. All right, there we go, yeah. In fairness, the spooter that refuses to design to die is a design flaw with the spooters. I could see that, too. <laughs> there's a reason why they stuck all those medium lasers inside. Yeah, oh my god, it is the first time we are seeing both a Mercy and a meat grinder machine gun. Uh, we have been warned about these. Apparently, they deal AOE. <laughs> this is going to be in Oh, they've got a Crockett. Okay, so they've got a Rajesh Viper Kumar. We've got an Archer, LRM-40. We've got a Tolson. That's one of the ones that came back. This is the big prize right here. Those are two of the four super weapons on the same mech right here. Take that out quickly. Well, I'd like to get That's some, awesome. so let's see what we can do. We're just going to go ahead and position ourselves. I guess we can shoot on this turn. Is that right? Wow, I can't believe we can shoot immediately. Maybe a little AOE. Let's hold. Maybe we'll lock him instead. Lock on Dragoon. I don't know about super weapons. We got to see what they do. Yeah. Hey, Real Castle. Good to see you. So far, so good. We're checking out the RimWorld Republic. We just came across two weapons we've never seen. Well, I've never seen before. Yeah. We're going to stay a little bit far back here. And we're going to go in and lock down the Dragoon as much as possible. We want to make it as simple for us to maybe deal some to disincentivize them to kill us right we'll come in with a little bit of baby rain we'll push this guy back this is battle armor tube artillery but more importantly we're pushing him back into initiative phase three what can i do for you we've got our bunny spy we're gonna hop on up actually and then we'll be able to lock him again it's gonna bring him down to two and he's on initiative phase three so most of our bunnies are going to get to go first we will grab cyber oops he's here and we will overload that laser ams we got the bun rotter we're coming on over hold and since they've spawned and landed i'm pretty sure they can attack right away i don't think it's like a, a drop drop so we're gonna zoom on in and we should be able to finish off the last set here. We actually can use a precise strike. We can push him down to two if we would like. We'll stack this. It'll do damage. More importantly, we're pushing it back to initiative phase two. I'm making burgers, so it'll be a bit slow in response. No worries, Real Castle. No worries. Thanks so much for swinging on by you. Insanity PPC. They definitely want to get rid of that thing. That's awesome. I'm glad they're prioritizing it. Commander. Ah, we got a bun bear. Well double time who made the shot is the question the dragoon the tolson 
Shano. There we go. That UAC 20 connecting pretty hard there. And the stack. He's got 20 structure, 65 structure on the leg. Bun guess we've got our own super weapon here with a death ray. Well, guess what? We're going to go in and target a that. Well, we want to be gentle, right? We'll go Tolson. And that'll do it. That guy's out. Tolson's gone. They got three. Archer's up. Still has got those battle fists. Oh, all right. They're going for the... Oh, very interesting. I didn't realize we actually had to defend the building, even though it says it right there. Got our Thunderbolt right here. And we this guy is down on four. We've got the Dragoon on two. We're going to go in and slam into the Crockett. Push him back to two as well. You don't. You Have you seen how much HP that has? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have much. You oh, got man. this. Your lens is better tune. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Well, tell you what. We were going to go with Brick. We got the Kiso, but we're out of range. And I don't want to come in with an airstrike. That might be kind of right devastating. But what we will do is utilize defensive formation. We'll give that 20% flat damage reduction to the whole Lance. Allies firing within, I think, the Insanity PPC. Oh, it didn't fire at all. Hang tight on three. Both of them get to go after this. So we got Tank Care in the Bun Boom Bun. They are grouped up. We do have the bun bear in place. Hopefully, we're not going to accidentally hit our own. We're going indirect. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head. This is seismic charge that deals stability damage. But you know what? Forgot stability damage is not working quite right right now. So we'll just hang tight there. We can come in with a charge. Who do we want to slam into? Oh, that might be a little much. <laughs> Maybe we'll hold. We got Serene in the sandpaper bun. We don't have a line here coming around. Got it. Run, don't shoot. And hold the industrial. Are you talking about this one right here? The Panzer Bun? Or their mech? Oh, man. Our Deus. You got me. Lumux. All right, tell you what. We're just going to come in with the with the MRMs instead. So we'll just walk it in. We're in the marsh. The Panzer Bun. It's a Kiso construction mech, 100 ton quad, the KR3 variant. Yeah? All right, we'll go in for the Crockett shot, stack him. Yeah, the, the construction mech quad, that's right. It deals a lot of melee damage if it is in range to connect. Oh man. And we got the Deus. You got me. I'm at this point. All right, we got to try. So in theory, we do 493, but we've seen it does a lot less, right? You can see the DFA does 25 times two. <laughs> you know what I think it is, bunnies? I wonder if... So right now we've got Brawler on, right? This initially does 25 times 2. That's like 50 damage total. I think this registers, and I think this is correct. But the additional damage on calculation, I don't know if that happens right now. There's also a stability damage component that I wonder... Actually, I don't know. Let's find out. We'll find out for science. Here we go. We're coming in from on high. At least we're going to be gentle with him, right? In three, two, and one. Get up, on son. I like to call this. Come on, Alani. He's completely Come fresh on. on the backside. There we go. We get a good connect there. It is exactly 25 damage and 25 damage right here. There's an additional tick on the left arm. And it was for... 21. Oh, no, no. 31. 30, 31-ish. All right. Interesting. Okay. So we dealt like not quite 100 damage spread out over the guy. Oh, man. All right. That's we got fine. Well, let's go in. We'll go ahead and they might have an opening somewhere. We've got the Crockett. Ah, okay. Well, it's on his right side. So we don't really have to go too far. We can actually just move on in like this. Apparently, we got something stuck over here. <laughs> What is happening? I'm hearing a lot of DACA out there. We'll go ahead and just maybe like ping this guy with some mediums. We might get so lucky. At least we're going to be able to see that Kiso, yeah? Kiso's in range. We got the baby bunny rain. That Crockett's right side's busted, so we'll give him a little bit of medium recoilless and the battle armor tube artillery. There it is. Pretty devastating. It's excellent. And we got that breach. That comes from the crew. Fire. With the firing port in the Dakota. Then. We've got the burn. 
this is the dragoon so we might as well get on in give him a little burn here and we'll push this guy down to three mark up that gives us the plus or bun bun in a bun rotter if we are so lucky we've got the line come on over and sometimes he got to just for kicks it straight to the head of the dragoon Heck yes! And that's off. So the Mercy and the Meat Grinder Machine Gun are on the table. Lethal damage. That means we can be a little less gentle now. That is fantastic. So let's get on over. We're going to go for the green here. We've got the Crockett. His back is to us. We'll go in and slam this in. Stack it. Open up the backside there. He's got 29 in the middle. And now he's got nine. Nine. All right. Hey, we're again. Good to see you. Welcome. We got the Bun Bear. We're going to go in and try and give this guy a punch. It's been a while since we've been able to punch with this guy. We got a lot of stability damage mods, but it does zero stability damage. Oh, no. Does quite a lot. Oh, no. He's got a lot. There we go. And that might be a little too much. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So now we can actually see the key. So we're reserved down. That guy's going to do something. I don't know if he's going to run away. No, he's coming closer to the key. So very nice of him. We got yeah. brick and now we'll go in for melee. So you can see that with the weapon, it has a potential of 891 damage on the strike. So actually... So for here, come on over here, weapon, and here we go. Roger. Here's the little guy. That guy, yep. <laughs> And it's got 52 structure here and down he goes. I see someone decided to go with the invisible paint. That's right. That's right. Invisible paint is definitely a staple of the bunny league here today. <laughs> oh man. And we're going to walk it up. We got the shot. Guys on the ground. We get a free called shot. And sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. Hit straight to the head. Stack him. Got our bun guest. Well, this might be it because the bun guess has the death ray it also has that cluster lbx ac10 and we'll just go straight to core and that hits both the torsos oh all right all right surprise 42 35 well four thunderbolt tens sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head on the archer there we go beautiful Okay, that actually went a lot faster than I thought for a blackout. That's excellent. So we actually wrapped that up. That's not a problem at all. Will the Bunny League suffer a part loss? That's a no. Congratulations to those who had the faith, yeah? This is going swimmingly. So we had an eight-point spread. Curious if we can close that in one. If not, I mean, let's just hope it goes down, right? So it's currently 10 to 18 when we started that blackout mission. Now we've cleared through it. So hopefully it went down instead of up. So cross your fingers. Did the Mercy Super Weapon ever fire? I don't think so, Quintuple. So we're going to get to see what it is and maybe get it for ourselves. So let's go and bring that over. That's a really good point. I'm hoping... I've heard some stuff about it. It's supposed to be AoE. It shoots three times. So we got 296,000. The bunnies are okay. We RWR takes three point loss in theory. So we got the Crockett, Large Pulse. There's the Mercy. We'll grab it. Command Console, MASC. There's the meat Grinder Machine Gun. Ammo for the Mercy. And then in theory, we can get the Dragoon as well, which has the weapons on it. So three, two, and one. So we've got half of an Archer 2R. We've got a full Dragoon that had the Mercy. And is this the one with it? It does. This is the one with the Mercy and the meat Grinder on it. We actually picked up the three quarters of the Tolson. We'll drop the AC2. We'll drop the ER large. We'll sell the large laser, the LBX AC10, the LRM20. We have the same weapons again. We'll clear the machine gun, clear the small, clear the SRM. We'll clear case 2E cooling, engine excel for cash, LRM, machine gun ammunition, SRMs, and I think we've already got mortar fast cam. Oh, we don't. All right. Well, awesome. So now we can actually see what this is. So the Mercy. It's a ballistic auto cannon, 17 tons, takes nine slots, eight plus one. After his mysterious return to the inner sphere, Stefan Amaris, the usurper, set out to learn how military technology had advanced in the intervening centuries. 
When he was shown the rotary autocannons developed by House Davian, oh, this is going to be good, he immediately ordered his best scientists to develop a bigger and better one. To that end, they created the ironically named Mercy, a tremendously powerful and devastating weapon that is equally dangerous to the user thanks to its bulk, weight, heat generation, and ammo consumption. Effectively, the Mercy fires rocket-propelled grenade rounds that deal extreme damage to the target and include a small area of effect. Additionally, the Mercy is a rapid-fire weapon can absolutely spray shots across its targets, dealing tremendous damage. Almost sounds like bolters from 40k on a large scale. So it can be utilized with an autocannon fire control system to recoil increased jam chance, Weapon has an increased chance to jam as it fires more shots, 20, 30, and 40, and fire up to six bursts. It's a rack. It's like a rack LBX AC 10. <laughs> what? Oh my, well, I guess if you want to see crits, that's something. <laughs> that's, that's something. It's about as heavy as almost as heavy as a heavy gauss that's interesting sounds like something to test in an urban environment i think so and then we finally have the meat grinder machine gun so now we possess three out of the four special weapons he said here the meat grinder machine gun is a rare super weapon developed by the rimworld republic at the order of stefan amars himself with the express goal of slaughtering rioting civilians oh i understand and shredding lightly armored targets it does less damage than normal machine guns do per shot but fires three times as many shots per trigger pull, letting it absolutely shred light targets. The weapon deals 1,000% more damage to battle armor. Well, I think I understand what it's supposed to do. It's anti-battle armor for sure. It's half a ton. Half a ton uses regular machine gun ammunition. And it can shoot... Well, it says times three, but you can raise it three bursts, so it's like nine i have no idea that's a lot of a lot of daca <laughs> that's a lot of daca mount it on a gnome battle armor then you could call it gnome mercy Ooh, we actually have a gnome we actually have a gnome i don't know if that's gonna fit on the battle armor but i'm sure the gnome would love to acquire it because that's not a battle armor thing right it's just um a little bit of support weapon daca i mean that sounds like it'd be a good thing to maybe we throw 20 meat grinders onto a juggernaut r91 that has 20 support hard points it used to have regular machine gun these are only half a ton just gonna burn through a lot more ammunition <laughs> and jam a lot right but boy if there's a battle armor out there it's not gonna be around for very long right would be a bit of a pun ish bit Ooh, yes i love it wait i wonder if the meat grinder can have machine gun arrays can you so do you get the weapon as an array because i know there's like mg array weapons that you can equip like do you put them together or, or are you wondering like can you have them more than one is that what you mean or can you only have one at a time that i'm not sure of we can always check so we've got three of the super weapons now what's kind of interesting is that we stuck on that lbx ac10 on the bar guest i'm curious who can really utilize it i mean the bun bear i guess can you shoot this thing in close range? I don't know. Let's find out. I didn't really check, right? So we got the Mercy. I know the UAC-20 can be fired in melee, right? It usually will say. I mean, there's no better way to find out than to just bring it. The weapon does not fire in melee. Ah, okay. Due to either minimum range or AOE damage. But to be honest, it's a 480 meter range. And it's got a zero meter minimum so in yeah very interesting yeah and you want to fire in melee hey you never know <laughs> if you've got ferrovanadium it's minus 20 percent to ballistic damage <laughs> well we've got our scent you know what would be great what would be great we currently have the daca bun what if this is a part we can test it on the daca bun right we got a lot of hard points here we can pull off some of the uac twos we'll pull off all the uac twos We'll keep the rack five on this side. We'll pull off a couple of tons here. We'll pull off the ammo UAC too. And now we can stick on a giant mercy right there. There we go. <laughs> can we even stick? Do we even have space for an auto cannon fire control system? We do. Oh yes. Okay. Interesting. Heat efficiency is negative 43, but so, so how much is it per? 
So 45. Okay, we're going to need a lot of heat sinking. We had a rack five and a mercy, both rapid fire. <laughs> well, let's get the ammunition for it. How many, how many did we get? I think it was like three tons or something. Yeah, three tons. That's all we got. Well, we're going to be very hot. And I guess we'll stick on another rack five bit here as well. And then now everything else is cooling. Is that even viable? Heat efficiencies at negative 43. Um, it's going to be kind of a close range thing, I feel like. We got clandable heat sinks, so we'll just cram in what we can and adjust from there. Just as much as possible. Yeah. Torso for better protection. Oh, like stick it up there. That makes sense. Get the rack five. And then we can even put shield on it. I think shield, it drops it down to three, I believe. There we go. Shield. Heck, we can even stick on a modular plating there just to make it even tougher. Oh, uh, yeah. The Rack 5, I think, also takes an auto cannon fire control system. We can toss that on there as well. There we go. Oh, I totally forgot we've got the targeting computer up here. Yeah. So we can actually pull that off because with all of this shenanigans, we don't really need to. Yeah. Oh, you meant the... Oh, the Mercy. Ah, uh, well, let, that's a good point. Let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. I, I'm not too sure how effective it's going to be. And good to see you, Superior. We're just taking a look at one of the new super weapons here, the Mercy. Apparently, it shoots a lot. It's like a rack shotgun. So, we're on 10. How heavy is this again? It's 10. I mean, we could stick another one in it. But that might be too hot. Maybe that's a little too much. <laughs> That might be a little much. It might be a little much. We could have a shield arm and the shield side has all the ammo. That wouldn't be great. Um, so let's just go. We've got our auto cannon fire control system. We can actually increase the engine so we get better engine cooling, right? We've got a 375. That might be a bit much, but want to see. Yeah. 340s at 360. 360 here. We can pull that down and we can go in with four there we go so we got another half ton heat efficiency negative 57 what about cockpits all that kind of jazz yeah the mercy is when you're trying to decide what to put in a ballistic slot and it just says yes yeah <laughs> that's the way that's the way dna cockpit location designator seems just fine to me although maybe precision computer i don't know how that's i guess yeah that would actually be pretty good minus one recoil and better yet breaching shot with a mercy that would be something master communication suite we, we were too over actually bring a couple of these down how are we doing heat efficiency negative 45 i don't know if it's going to be enough but but we'll see maybe we will pull one Oop, not the mercy ammo that's the wrong one i meant to pull the rack five ammo we noticed last time we had a little too much so let's just grab there we go there's that ton we can actually take off the modular armor get back on some of the additional cooling because we're going to need it we're going to need as much as we can excellent so heat efficiency now negative 57 let's try it i don't know how this is going to be 11 days out yeah heat sinks in the feet oh that would have been a good idea well can we cancel oh oh excellent so we'll pull some into the feet there you go excellent thank you so much 11 days out here we go so let's bring this over and let's go in and take a look at the navigation screen. Are we closer? It should have been three points down. We are now two points away. I think it's going to be the one that decides the entire flare up. We started at two versus 51 and now we're at 10 to 12. We may have fended off the Rimworld Republic after this next fight. What do we got? That is very, very exciting. That started the last stream <laughs> and now we're coming on in two. What's the last contract? It is an assassination. That's excellent. Hard target. We're in the Highlands. That's kind of our style. That is awesome. I mean, at this point, oof. Man, this is going to be awesome. So we're, we're coming on in. It's going to be our five skull difficulty assassination against the Rimworld Republic. And we've got, let's see, we got to, honestly, what we had worked really, really well. Especially if we want to close that gap quickly. So let's do it. I love the fact this is already preloaded. I don't have to remember anymore. <laughs> Here we go. Five skull difficulty assassination in the Highlands. Will the Bunny League suffer a part loss? Five minutes of the clock and we'll see what you got. Here's the thing. We are 
here to seal the deal. This is probably going to be the last one. We're going to be able to see what the crate is at the end. And so far, it's been kind of kind of relatively clean. I mean, we did kind of get rocked a little bit. Fortunately, we didn't have to experience getting hit by the super weapons too much. I can attest that getting hit by that big giant energy death ray is not quite death ray ish but it really hurts i mean you get hit with it there's probably going to be a breach somewhere um unless you're in a severely severely tanky is severely tanky correct a very tanky very armored assault yeah something along the lines of like a hundred tonner or 95 tonner with max armor because that that'll hit for even without breaching shot and some damage reduction uh, seems to be about like 120 something like that but if you got breaching shot on or you hit from the back that's 145 and the fact that it is so light for kind of how much it dishes out if you can handle the heat you can actually follow up with a good ballistic solution afterwards or what might be more effective is actually like a stack of srms or something right that might be kind of cool bonus pay oh do we get bonus pay Oh, because of all of the bonuses? Oh, that would be great for Ghent. Granted, we did go for maximum salvage, so it's possible where the multiplier on 106,900 is not too much, yeah? Who dead? Nobody's dead. Only the enemy tank here. This is probably the last one. It's an assassination mission in the Highlands. The score is now 10 to 12. So we got a two-point spread this time. So I think this is it right here. It's going to be awesome. So after this, we might get to see what the RimWorld Republic flare up rewards look like. Let's give it a moment just in case we're kind of pink here. Yeah, maybe it'll be a 50,000 bonus. <laughs> 50,000 CFOS. Let's go. All right. That's only if we come out with a 50% boost because we did so well on this because we went minimum C bills. You know, multipliers are a fickle thing. What do we got, Darius? Bunnies. The intel says the final target in their escorts will be moving through this area. Orbital Recon shows a group of military units in the vicinity. Take them out and head for the evac zone. All right, so we already have a little bit of information on what they got out there. We've got heavy winds. We've got a coda in the sky. We've got a trash on over. We got a rampage. We got parts of that already. Heavy LRM carrier. That's LRM 80. We got another 95 tonner in the background there. We'll hang Hold tight. Yeah. I mean, I've had bonuses that were a set amount and said, oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of helpful, especially for our situation, right? So mind you, they've got all the LRMs. We don't have our Bundome with us. So kind of unfortunate, but that's kind of how we ran last time, right? So we're on five. We've got Sir Cold. He's in the Dakota. He's gonna go ahead and push it on up. We got that. We only have four evasion. I didn't realize. Probably should have been a little more KG here. Uh, we got that 95 in the distance. Go and get a little intel. Got a Banshee. All right, three E. AC5 PPC S small laser. We got the bun bear is going to charge on as far forward as possible and hopefully draw a little oh, attention man. himself. Uh, it's going to be hard to hit anybody at the moment. So we're just going to continue to lock down that carrier. If we can drop it before it goes, lock. that'll be excellent because we really don't have a lot of AMS Order. coverage, if any at all. We do have one system right here. Get the line. On the move. Full speed. 15, 22, hope for the best. All right, there we go. Got a little bit of sensor impairment on there on top of the actual sensor lock as well. Get that laser AMS overloaded. And we're actually going to stand in the water. Uh -huh. That's going to help out with the cooling a little bit. We'll go in and lock this guy down to four. Gotta lock. And he's on three. So if we can get him with the next set, that'll be fantastic. We got yes, Dex in the bun bun cake. We're going to tuck on up. On the move. We've got that Sanctuary Pro ping. All right. So we can... <laughs> We did not see those guys, but they're there. They've got a royal catapult. Looks like a bit of a yeoman from the distance. We've got ourselves a pillager. Probably double gauss rifle. It is that one. Royal Crockett with a gauss rifle. Guillotine with all the lasers right on the high ground. Let's go. Deadest is in the thick of things. We're just going to go with an AOE ping. We got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. We've got four mechs on the ping in 350 meters. Bun guest on the approach. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a shot on with the Death Ray. Oh, we actually don't have a shot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Can we come around this side? No, that's not going to work. 
Oh, that's a bummer. I thought we might. Well, let's hold then. It's going to be interesting because we know the Rampage can go. Okay. Stray shots for days. Turret time. Yeah, it might be helpful. The Sanctuary gear is so helpful. It is so good. All right, Thunder Bun. Get on in. Get into cover. What do we got? We can definitely ping that guy. Hope for the best. Double ping in the same place is all it's going to take. Heck yes! And the Lerm 80 is down. That is fantastic. Holy crap. Did anyone manage to kill the... Not that I'm aware of Twidget, but it's very possible someone has, and I, I just don't know. <laughs> I do have a force. If we finish this up, I can switch on over and we can take a look. I would need to reset Wait, the game anyway. Is this smart? All right, we'll hop on over. We got the Deus Bunny. From above. We've got the ping. We can follow it up again. That might be a little bit much for one guy, but, but we'll do it. In the distance, we see Rhino Fire Support. So very similar to what we saw with all the Wobbies out there. Rampage forward. Ooh, hello. The good thing that we're able to tuck on in into cover a little bit. Believe it or not, we're standing in a tree. <laughs> in a tree. That's right. I got big brick. Creep on forward with the Kizo. Did its specs get put out now that the event is over? Uh, it's still there. I mean, it's as far as an event goes, the Rattler is a permanent addition as far as I'm aware. The event that we're doing right now is the one that's sort of time gated if you get in and log in you'll have access to the event it'll still be there even afterwards i believe uh let's go ahead and just send a shot got it that's the new death ray oh my god that is potent that we hit the middle and followed up with a big lbx ac10 hit he's done 129 structure in the middle that's excellent so yeah so the the rattler itself i think has changed so i haven't looked at it since the hot fix last night the second one not sure it triggered you gotta advance Middle time i think until try like hey there. it should happen it is a very high weight according to bloody doves so it, it should appear if you time. advance time like till the next event or so would be my guess well we've got a hag 80 should Fire be enough we're fishing for the middle stack him but surprisingly we did not connect there holy oh, crap great. that's very impressive He's a wily one, that guy. What do we got in the distance here? We're on three. That's the LRM 50. Due to glitching. Ah, gotcha. Well, hopefully, hopefully when you get that restart, you're going to be able to get it to spawn no problem. It actually comes in a few waves of events just to break it up. And there are warnings that say, please don't worry, your computer's not freezing. It just takes a while to load. So I guess just keep that in mind too, yeah? Bun punchy set. We got the MRM 60. We're going to do our best to connect here at 30, 20. I guess we are fishing, so that's okay. We're just looking for things in the middle, but he has turned ever so slightly. We got one connection in the middle. down to 108. And then someone's left on two. We'll let them go. That's going to be this guy, the Banshee, with the PPC and the AC5. Wow, he were really he really went for it. Holy crap, I didn't realize he could tune that up so much. A hard hit there. Not really, you got pinged Come once, back. and there was a stray hit. shot afterwards. Looks like I might have tagged the sandpaper bun. And on two. Oh, never mind. So it was someone else that I wasn't aware of, yeah? It might have been one of the guys up top. Not the Crockett. Oh, yeah, so that was the PPC, the AC5. I was wrong. I was wrong. So let's go ahead and take a look. We got tank carries in the bun, boom, bun. Well, they seem kind of clustered up there. That seems like a good place to be. Maybe we'll come in with a high explosive. It seems to be a little more reliable. So we'll send the shots. There it is. Beautiful. That is fantastic. There was a change since I last logged in. Ah, that made some of my gear. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, I've definitely been finding some of our stuff not really like I can't do stability damage, uh, dealing heat damage with certain weapons it doesn't seem to work uh that the dfa seems to be like 
damage is it'll deal commander. like 70 damage <laughs> so there are some things out there but i think from what it sounds like they're looking into it so i fully believe it they work so hard there yo yeah? so it's really really cool that we get to see all of this and i cannot wait to find out what happens at the end for the crate because uh, this is fancy stuff compared to what we've seen prior it's going and ping on the side we might be so lucky kind of kind of wrap it around there amiel is in there or not amiel dex in our crook should be pretty significant very good at crit seeking so send it 88 oh and this guy's really sticking it in there we do have our turret but i think i'm gonna hold for seconds we will be standing out in the open hang tight on seven that's gonna be this guy the royal catapult the c1b it's coming down from above We don't have a lot of AMS right now, so a lot of those are going to connect here. Ambidex, can you use either one? Uh, for which one, forget? Yes, Commander. Bun Rotter. Hopefully, one of these are going to hit the middle there. Send three. Roger. Oh, not quite. Standing by. Bun Bun Cake. Well, that's all charges. That doesn't seem too smart, so we can zoom on behind zip on by and just kind of send full value into the butt oh hello there's more up there all right unknown we've got a rifleman three it's the one with the lbx ac2 we've got the pillager with a double gauss rifle in the prime spot a hundred tonner at the top they've got the high ground they've got clear lines of fire they're sitting in cover this is a nasty position to be in wow okay those are probably the biggest threat at the moment uh, I'm glad that we rushed on through. What do we have on the backside here? We're going to utilize Battle Order and try and just get some serious, serious breaches. We'd like to drop guns off of the field right now. That's actually really scary. On you, if we get any breaches at all, that could be devastating. So let's hold. Yeah, another rifle. Me. <laughs> Bun Bear. Coming on in. Six. On and we've got quite a lot. We're hoping to tag him. We'll drop that UAC-20 and just stack we're fishing for the middle we didn't really hit it this guy's just weathering the storm for days and days he basically been hit once in the middle I hear ya. bunny spy hold and we got superior in the bun guest well the lbx ac10 should do it so let's go in and make it happen we really can't afford to be picky so we'll come on in we got the death ray we got the cluster it's all good and shot Amiel dead. Oh, what about dead? If there can use either one, Ami Dex. Uh, dead? You mean in the in the quad right here? 360 degree. Good to go. Got our bunny spy. Hold. I really want to push, but we uh -huh. have the evasion where we're at. We're not in the middle of a crossfire. I don't want to put our mech there. We might have to stay on the outside. I really want to drop a turret as well, yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't catch it was a pun, Brigant. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you oh, explain the joke. Thank you so you much. All right, we got our dais. Well, I mean, if we stay on land, but on the outside, the nice thing is we're going to be able to provide some C3 master benefits. So let's get on in. We should be jamming things close. If we can connect with that, that's 30. That's 37. It's all shooting uphill. We've got this little guy. We've got the Royal Crockett. I mean, we are a little bit close for, for Gauss, but I'd rather hit where we're actually going to hit. So this actually is going to be plus accuracy on that Banshee. I don't know if we need it, but we hit him with a C3 Master. That's fantastic with it. Unless he's got like multi-track and he's shooting at multiple targets, but I doubt it. Shot and move. There we go. We got brick. We're not close enough to get into melee, so we shall just charge. Actually, you know what? Can we stray from here? Oh my god, we can. How close? Mech buster. Oh. Sure. I'll try it. I, I, I think they might move out, but it'll be interesting to see, right? So 
We're coming on out. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. We'll go in and narc him off. Shot. Got it. You like it? I, I, I mean, they might move out of it. That's the thing. That's usually why I wait till the end. But yeah. I mean, at this point, I think it's like 10 activations or something. Affirmative. We're on out. We can at least push some of them back in the order. We've got seven. We're on four. There's the guillotine. There's the pillager. I mean, let's let's go for that guillotine. We'll push him down to three. Buy us a, a phase. Those are some significant hits. That's awesome. Almost 50 each. And now we're on three. So we've got the Royal Crockett. I still, he's still in the, in the zone there. And he whiffs it. That's excellent. So I think, I think they will all get to go though. Stand and buy. All right. Sandpaper bun, sandpaper bun. We can actually return fire all the way at the sandpaper rifle meme up here. That's at 50. You know what? Let's, let's make him think a little bit rather than just feeling like he's invincible. Yeah. We'll just give him something to think about. How about that? <laughs> Hello. I know it's not enough. You're a brutal, brutal mech, but we've got something and we know you're there, right? That kind of thing. And three rhino fire. Oh, he didn't come out. That's excellent. I don't know why. It's like they can't see it. We've dropped smoke everywhere. I mean, it's not obvious. Let's be real. They're probably wondering, what is this smoke? Is it like giant here. mech incense, perhaps? All right, here we go, Bun Punchy. We might be a little too close. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a, a little too overzealous here. Let's slam into this guy. I hope I didn't get caught in my own airstrike there. I don't know if it works that way. We are usually relatively careful. I think we're far enough out. I'm pretty sure we just caught it in the circle here, yeah? Or they know you bring the smoke. Heck yes. Oh. Is that an awesome? I'm seeing three PPCs come from an 80 tonner up there. And we got tank hey. care in the bun, boom, bun. Okay. And we can definitely give him a little bit of uh, a ping here. Okay. Everything. Excellent. All right, and it's all them now. It's all them. Watch the sky. Oh, they're going. Oh my God. I thought they could have moved. Oh, all right. They're still going. She's coming through. All right, we whiffed it. That's okay. That's okay. Come on, mech buster. Come on, mech buster. Keep landing them. All right, good hit on leg. All in the pillager. Shot on Rhino. <laughs> this is a pretty good airstrike. Should be on Banshee. And he whiffs it. That's okay. That's okay. Wow. That's impressive. Well, now they're down on one. Should be coming around a second time at some point. If, if it's not their turn, that is. Maybe they're trying to figure out whether they should do anything or not. All right, Banshee's moving. Didn't move far. Oof, okay, okay. That's that PPC AC5 small laser. They've got three more opportunities. One is way out here. One is there. Oh, where did those come from? The hundred? Maybe? I think it was the hundred. And then we've got the pillager. Yep, double gauss rifle. And he lands it on the thunderbun. That's okay. Inner Sphere Gauss Rifle, 60 damage despite the damage reduction. And then there's the 100. Hundred. 100's in. Unknown is it Ironclad? Gauss Rifle, Gauss Rifle, 57. Damage reduction, 24%. It's probably... Huh. I don't know what this one is. There's the 8 LBX AC2s. Part of me is glad that there are stability damage problems right now. <laughs> I'm under heavy fire. We can't take it all day, but we can definitely take it at least. And uh, then guys? in theory, there's a second Go line on the airstrike. Way. All right, we got another breach on the guillotine. Shot on Royal Catapult. Hit the, uh, hit the other pod. Shot to the back of uh, the Royal Crockett. Shot to the back of the Pillager. Excellent. We got another shot on the Rhino, I believe. We got a breach back there. All 200 armor gone. 
last but not least if he's still in range it would be to the banshee but he might have cleared oh, okay so he cleared he cleared wow very very good seventy thousand. that is excellent the nice thing is we've got our dakota it's pretty pretty fast i don't think he can actually get over to the backside, unfortunately so we'll keep that aid evasion i was kind of hoping we can get to the side that had the breach on it but that's not really possible let's go in and ping out obviously if we had the guy with a sensor sweep that would be excellent for a pilot but baby bunny rain we might be able to just loop in shots to the rear potentially especially with the tube artillery but no joy that's okay bunny spy or better yet let's hold they got it on seven that's gonna be this catapult right here he has suffered tremendously in the rear he lost the torso he's got 73 structure left no armor center torso shot on panzer bun i sure hope they close with panzer <laughs> I sure hope they close with a Panzer Bun. And dead. All right, perfect. This is where... I don't remember. I think we've got Ace Pilot. I'm just going to shoot at this guy. Stack him. And then we'll move on over. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Walk up. And hold. I hear Got War Bun Bun. We're going to cross left. And if we are so lucky, it's going to be a difficult shot, but see that Rifleman 3, sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head. And yes, and the Rifleman 3 is down for another one. Lethal damage by War Bun Bun in the Bun Rotter. We got Cyber Gizmo on the approach. I forget if this guy's open. He is a little bit open on this side, so we're moving a little bit dangerous. We are exposing our rear butt. Hopefully, we're going to be able to make this count. We are getting into that back right side. A little bit of burn. Bun bear. We can actually get in on a punch. That's fantastic. Swing with a bun bear. I forgot to turn on that UX 20, but we will hit him. Oh, all right. And lethal damage. The Banshee is down. Never mind. We didn't need the UX 20. We're just going to go ahead and send a little bit of a compliment from the Bunny League right there. That is fantastic. Super clean on the Banshee. Excellent Gigan. And he doesn't even get the extra punch there. We got the Bun Guest. We can charge it on in. Got that 360 degree turret. Death Ray followed by that cluster to exploit any breaches. And we might as well go for it. That's on the left side. He's got 60 armor and 40 structure. Pillagers in. I mean, he's relatively fresh other than the AC-20 shots to the butt. Bun Bear takes it in stride. Damage minimal. And we're going to be able to follow up. We've got Amul. We've got oh, HB. We've got Brick. Got Brick is too far out, but... We can definitely get on in and at least draw some fire to ourselves. We're going to utilize defensive formation. It's going to give every bunny a 20% damage reduction for this and the next. We'll come on in with our Deus bunny. We'll get full value straight to the rear. We'll hopefully drop that rhino. Stack it. Oh, but he's still in. Oh my gosh. It looks like we've got him all tagged up 35 and 11 structure. Paying attention to two streams at once. Watching the bunnies beat the crap out of Amaris. Have a severe weather storm. Oh my gosh, crossbow. Well, I mean, if you've, if you've got to stop, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for wanting to be here. We're going to have the VOD, so you're not going to miss a thing, yeah? I, I just be okay, yeah? Hopefully you're safe. And we got three. They've got five left. We've got three to match. I think it's going to be more than enough. Oh, hello forget about that plus seven difficulty for the dfa they came in to dfa us and he was able to connect with us too so there we go oh well he he didn't like it though when he fell i'm good where i am for now but south of, oh man well i i hope i mean i'm sorry that that's happening but i i hope it remains good for you man yeah please take care of yourself yeah Got the Pillager. We've got the Royal Crockett. I mean, since we're this close, we might as well just hit that guy. I guess we also have the Pillager, so sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head. Hag 80. Stack him. Oh, 
Well, we did hit the head. And I love that the clan plasma cannon still deals that 40 heat. Yeah. Thought he missed. <laughs> I thought so too, but I saw the um the stability damage that went up. This guy gets angry this time of year where you are. Oh. Shot and move. Lummox in the bun punchy. We are actually. So we're not in a spot where we can do it, but we will get ourselves over and probably just try and drop the guy in the ground. What's left are all the guys above. We're just going to go straight to core and hope for the best. Stacking like 30 into the middle, just kind of whittle away little by little. Awesome AQ. Oh, okay. That was a triple PPC that we saw. That makes sense. So very reliable, can sustain that firepower. Oh, no. And then we got the bun, boom, bun, which has so. been hitting pretty reliably as well. We're going to go in and try and ping the pillager. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head. Long Tom, cannon high explosive. <laughs> you can't stop tank. I'm telling you, if he's got the option to hit the head, he's going to hit the head. That happened yesterday too. Wow, that is impressive. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks for that guy. Wow, well, last time it was an inferno round. This time it's a high explosive commander. round right in the dome. Well, so much for that guy. And we can see what the 100 tonner is once we get control of the camera. There are those shots on tank here. They do not want him around because they're really afraid he might do that to their buddy. They got the ah, ironclad it is with a double gauss rifle. And he whiffs it. All right, oh, easily remedied, I say. So we're we're gonna start flying on over. At least get him locked down, so it's a little bit easier to manage. We'll lock down the awesome AQ. He's got two evasion down to zero. Someone was trying to get tanks. Yeah, seriously, they were trying, but they didn't succeed. Oh, well, I guess they did get his attention, but then they they shortly lost it when they died. <laughs> going to be that catapult down here. Oh boy. All right. Well, that's that's not nice. <laughs> we survive it. <laughs> My grandma. Good to go. Bun rotter. I mean, we All also have another head shot guy, so we're hoping to manage Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the assassination oh, target. Right. And ding in the middle on 68. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the tornado. The massive rainstorm. Oh, man. Commander. I'm off. Yeah. Flooding is, yeah, not great. Waiting on you, Commander. Bunny spy. Ready, set. I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, for a moment there, I thought the Royal Cat Catapult had six evasion. I was very surprised. We're just gonna go in and lock down the rocket. Coming with deaths. We can at least get those shots on the ground. We are in a higher position. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head on the guillotine. Hopefully we'll get rid of him. That's... He's got one structure. The bunny league curse for sure. That guy is not feeling right. So we'll give him a little bit of battle armor. Tube artillery. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Not quite the head, but that hurts. Uh, this is fine. Yes, yes, it is. And we got the bun bear. The nice thing is that we don't really have an occlusion issue. You just kind of come on up with that UAC 20 back online. And we're going to go ahead. Actually, you know, can we ping these guys? These guys have been around. Stack will hold. I guess we'll just go straight to core. Stack him. All right, there we go. I was like, I'd be really surprised. That was a decent chunk of point blank there. It's kind of nuts. If we kick, I love that we can still kick and send the death ray. It's going to be hilarious. So it's going to be a kick that's monstrous. And there it is. And guns. <laughs> Holy crap. That even sounds cool. 
That is awesome. All right, well, uh, let's... <laughs> Out it goes. Uh, we'll ping that guy again. Give him a little Thunderbolt concentration. There it is. Oh, now we got the Deus. You Vigilance to clear the stability damage. From above. And shot. Enemy down. Beautiful. So we've got the Ironclad above. We've got the Awesome 8Q above. We've got the other Assault. And then, of course, we've got this Crockett down here. We got Panzerbun. I don't think he's going to be able to reach him. So we're actually just going to move on over to the ones above and then hopefully be able to call in a strike on him or something, at least so we can contribute. And then we've got the four left. Yeah, it sounds like West Union got hit. Oh, man. I... Yeah. It's... Yeah. I remember when my mother said that she would come home in the bus and there were floods in the Philippines and there were times where they were just in the bus and there was water, right, everywhere and then you'd have people coming out on, on the boats to go and get the kids I'm, <laughs> i was like very different place very different time but flooding danger is still the same right that's crazy all right we're going for the royal crockett sometimes you got to just for kicks hit straight to the head send hag 80 we did ding the head a little bit we did give him the heat with a clan plasma cannon that's excellent awesome aq triple ping That's probably to the Panzer Bun. We got the Bun Punchy. We're just going to charge on forth. And we're actually going to refresh the defensive formation and hold. And that's going to help everybody. We got tank here. We're actually going to start shelling the backside up the hill. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. It's straight to the head. Oops, wrong guy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I meant to shoot up the hill. I didn't mean to hit that guy, but apparently we did. So that'll do. We'll take it. Tank got him. We just have the three on the top. That's it. We've got the assassination target right there. Double Gauss. What was that one? It was a Davy Crockett. We did a double long tom cannon, high explosive, direct blast straight at him. And Tank Hera landed it again. Pedal to the metal. All right, so, oh, hello, there's another, oh my God. Okay, we've got a Royal Atlas too. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, okay, uh, I thought this was, apparently that's the assassin. Yep, that's the assassin. Wow, all right, well, let's lock this guy. We got a new target, bunnies. We got a new target. Well, we always had the same target. I just didn't know it was that target. Let's go in. <laughs> Shot work it we've got the last last four on the field this was 20 pick 90 i don't know about that what can I do for you? we have three pick 15 right now up push road. push push we'll lock on awesome oh actually yeah yeah lock on the awesome salvage the boy we we are actually already have one Commander. lummox is in an atlas 2 dht which is awesome. We can get two. <laughs> we can get two. Has the Royal Mick Quirk in it. Ready for All right, War Bun Bun. I am loath to try and headshot these, but we already went for it. So sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. It straight to the head. All right, we we, <laughs> we open up all of the torsos. Bun Bear on the push. Stack. Shot. Soften up. Wait. HB. We're slot? actually going to come in a little bit closer and center ourselves just with the hopes that we're going to be able to maybe, just maybe, ooh, actually. Shot. Giving them the biz, <laughs> I was hoping we'd be able to provide a C3 go. Master sort of benefit but doesn't seem to be the case our death rate we might just shoot the death ray by itself i think this might be too hot oh no we're good well if we've got a cluster we'll send it to that guy yep that hurts 
Thunderbun. Fun fact, every Atlas 2 that existed went on Kerensky's Exodus. That's cool. That is super fun. That is awesome, man. Thank you for sharing. Hold. So it came back, I guess, this one, maybe? Out. So far, he's only taken that single blast, which is kind of impressive. We got the sandpaper bun. I mean, uh, this guy could definitely use some sandpaper. <laughs> that is excellent. All right, that guy's down. That leaves three. We've got three. Coming around. We're shooting uphill with the MRMs. Stack. Double Gauss Rifle Pillager. Just hammer away. We got we got tank here. I think you sanded through the finish on that one. That's true. Sure feels that way. Well, we're switching over to a little bit of Inferno and hopefully we're going to be able to maybe make them think twice. Shot. So it's just for the damage component. We're not actually dealing heat. I am so glad that we have decent evasion because that could end us. My God. Send me a real opponent. Oh, he's not even moving. I wonder if he's stuck. Wow, can you can you imagine he's like stuck? He's got zero evasion. It rejoined the production line in the 3070s thanks to the wall. Oh, I, I thought you meant we hit the ironclad so hard it went back to the 3070s. But I I kind of get it. I kind of get it. All right, we're we're coming around. There we go. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Shop. And to the green. Oh, that's so good. Waiting for order. Now we got Bunny Spy. Hopping in closer and closer. So we've got one on two. We can push him back and tag him at the same time or narc him up. Get that plus accuracy. We've got dead with this speed here we go we can actually push both of them down to one so we're gonna target the awesome with the sole purpose of trying to drag him down to initiative one and if we can we would be so lucky as to actually stop them from having to turn at all or at the very least sensor impair and yes, disable some things we got the fun bear on my way and stack aye, aye. that's excellent we got that breach beautiful we can now take a little bit more be a little more aggressive take water. advantage of all of that we've got the cluster after all we'll get in the water Understood. keep ourselves a little bit cooler and we're gonna send what we got should be pretty good it looks like we might have hit the arm with our death ray. Yep. It's a little hard to tell where it actually connects until you see there's a breach somewhere. Oh man. All right, Deus Bunny. You got me. And we're going to keep focusing the pillager just because that's kind of where all the shots are connecting. And where are we at? We've got four. We'll actually come down. We're on. We can go down to two. That's actually going to be the Atlas two because he's got the highest initiative of his crew. Oh my God, that shot to the butt. I don't like it. <laughs> that would have been an insta kill. Oh my God. Good to go. All right, we're fine. We're fine. The nice thing is Sandpaper Bun should be able to take care of business because that guy has breaches in different places. And who else will actually pop into the torso there? Hopefully get rid of one of the Gauss rifles. There it is. Or more. We got two left. We got two left. All right, Lummox. And stack up. 78. 57. Nice thing we got tank here. He still has his damage only Inferno. 
and we'll give him that pink sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head inferno rounds trying to fish for pure damage we actually connect on the head brick on the charge i believe the reasoning for rwr fielding it they had access to all the star league tech and mechs at the time of the civil war which is fair yeah so they definitely have a lot of royal everything that's for sure which i'm fine with it gives us a chance oh interesting so we actually don't have the dht we've got the dh2 we got this i didn't realize that that's cool well we can make sure that we have eight evasion that's all i really care about and we'll go ahead and lock down i guess we'll lock down the well it doesn't matter we'll lock down the royal atlas too he's running kind of hot right now we're all trying to climb baby bunny rain stack that is our assassination target the real one all right bunny spy get it around give him uh, the burn yes commander we've got deaths who continues to climb And since this guy's on too, we'll go and ascend it to the rear. There's already an opening there. Opening in two places now. Receiving you. Got war bun bun. Sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head. Engaging with target. Oh, that was mighty close. That was Good mighty, job. mighty close. All right, bun bear. Burp. Might be enough to pop off a side. Stack. we did hit the breach and out he goes beautiful excellent so the only thing left right now is that atlas to bun guess on the climb i mean he's likely going to shoot at the dakota just because he is the main available target why am i in a cockpit Deus bunny matter serini man that's the big problem is he doesn't want to come off the edge or he cannot and we've got a lot of direct line of sight firepower. So we cannot bring all of our weapons to bear. That's for sure. But we do have Panzer Bun here. And he is coming on in. And he's basically a living weapon. We got Tanker and the Bun Boom Bun. We can go indirect, though. I didn't really think about that. So we've got Inferno. Not that it necessarily does anything specific, but sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. If anyone's going to land it like that. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Those are thump. Those are cannons. All targets eliminated. Sit tight. I can collect it from you right now. Good job with your only indirect fire. Mission successful. Holy God. Will the Bunny League suffer a part loss? No. Congratulations to those who had the faith. That might be the... Yeah, double arty. So mind you, Tank Care has been severely nerfed. The Inferno ammo right now isn't doing heat damage. It has reduced direct damage. Uh, he's been... In order to land that on a fresh Atlas 2, he had to land both of them right on the dome on indirect from a decline. So... <laughs> oh my god. Let's go ahead and bring that. Oops, I, I brought it over already. We'll flip it back. Sorry about that. Mm. My God, that is crazy. We got to see what we get here. We might have finished the flare up with that one. Yeah. Did he double tap the head or was that a head? That was double tap to the head, Vergin. That was a double tap lethal damage, I believe. So what do we got? We've got three pick 15. The nice thing is the Royal Atlas 2 comes in two parts. <laughs> and we get another Rifleman 3. Wow. What the heck? XL engine. Is there anything else? That's, I don't think so. Ironclad. Yeah. Three, two, one. There we go. Two to the head. You're dead. All right, let's go. <laughs> Banshee. Full Banshee. Full Rifleman 3. Full Royal Atlas 2. Three out of four of a guillotine. Half of a Royal Crockett. Large laser to clear, PPC to clear, machine gun to clear, SRM-6, engine excel to clear, 13 tons of Gauss ammunition to clear, AC-20 times 2, LBX-2 slugs to hold, and follow the leader to clear. Wow. 
that is profitable. So here's the thing. That is just the end of that mission. There's going to be the end of the flare up. So all we got to do is in advance it. And then I think we're going to take over to the final loot crate. That's going to be nuts. Why do we have 24 million? Because we've been doing the flare up this whole time. We haven't had a chance to buy things, Tank. <laughs> that was like a stream that started yesterday. That's how long this flare up has been. It actually, we won every single every single mission since yesterday and our rep uh, actually at one point like we were just continually to drop the enemy's points and then their points magically went up even though we won and then it kept going down the way to prevent hp from spending long flare-ups yeah but we, we were at like 12 million well let's put it this way we currently probably have eight plus assaults to put together and sell entire chassis one of which is a royal atlas 2 that i'm not going to sell We've actually kept, I think, six assaults. We've got, th we've had three rifle. Here, just take a look at this for a second. It, you'll understand. <laughs> How do we double the money? Well, you'll, you'll understand. Take a look at this. We're in Steiner territory. It's still Steiner territory before we get the loot crate thing. So if we go to storage, look at this. Atlas 2, DHT, Ironclad, Royal King Crab, Titan, Banshee, Rifleman 3. That's Rifleman 3 number 1. We've got Rifleman 3 number 2. We've got a full Night Star. We've got two Royal Highlanders. We've got the new Dragoon with the Mercy. And we've got the Death Rays. We've got... <laughs> you, we just keep selling... You sell off a chassis, it's like 2 million. Let alone all the stuff on it. So we've been getting really lucky... <laughs> We're in House Steiner territory. They're giving us full value. Not only that, but they're cramming in full assaults, full royal assaults into one slot on the pick. Yeah. You've got eight parts of the rifle. Oh, we've we've salvaged a full. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You have, yes, I do. There are three rifleman threes. Isn't that a thing? Let's go and take a look at the navigation screen. I think we might have done it. Hopefully the. Did they go up? Oh, my God. Did they go up? We were at 10 to 12. They went, we went down after winning. Well, I guess they went down by two. Wow. That's, they're rather tenacious, aren't they? The Bunny League is a Royal Regiment. Katrina Steiner is green with envy. So maybe we didn't finish it. I thought we did. Let's just hang on a second. We've got the upkeep. It's 1.7 million. Guess you'll have to collect more. I know it's true. Let's, let's just clean up because we have one day to the finance period. I will move it forward. I do want to see maybe just maybe we've won i don't know how that is possible it doesn't look like it but i just kind of want to check so we've got th let's put these together we can at least sell off some of these things right mind you these come with another mercy they come with another meat grinder machine gun here's the royal stuff next mission in three days that's true i have seen that before but i've seen it where it'll actually still say hey you are you're still good to go you know what i mean royal atlas 2. <laughs> i would normally stop and read all of this because i find it i love it i love it royal freaking king crab we got a rifleman three number one well number two rifleman three number three we've got the banshee i mean someone might look at this and go you cheated uh, and and i'll be like watch the stream oh we're out of slots wow we have so many assaults we're out of <laughs> oh. you know we're, we're forget the ironclad your monthly is about to skyrocket well no actually we're gonna drop this right we're gonna get rid of some of these here's the dragoon so take a look at this dragoon which one is this one it's the one with the mercy and the large pulse and the meat grinder machine gun so let me let me just bring this over so i'm gonna i'm gonna shred this one yeah we're gonna shred this one so we're gonna drop this dragoon this is the dragoon with oh my god wow that's i didn't realize we got this one that's all that's a decent amount of lrms in a dragoon that's crazy and artemis 4 at that wow that's kind of cool i god i want to keep all of these but i'm not gonna we've got this dragoon this is the one that we were messing around with this is energy and ballistic on both sides so it's very very nice the double death ray yeah uh, we've got multiple riflemen. Uh, <laughs> 
so wait which this is a rifleman okay so we got two rifleman three l variants i don't think it's necessary to keep all of this right oh it's this one the eight lbx ac twos okay i mean if we had all the clan ux twos i'd just stick it on there it'd be hilarious this is all ballistic this is all energy i guess we can hang on to one of each we got a royal king crab which we're gonna hang on to just because it's the royal king crab dear god we can clan ux 20 that all day and then we've got the royal atlas 2 which is our other atlas 2 <laughs> and it does have the royal mech quirk oh my god negative 12 heat at the end of the turn that's amazing it's basically a heat bank in your dome i'll just drop that that's awesome so before we can put together any more assault mechs to sell as we clean up we'll go ahead and sell this for 1 million we'll sell that for 1 million we'll sell the ironclad for 1.6 million we'll sell this rifleman 3 for 750,000 I probably don't need this longbow 2 we'll sell that for 1.7 million look we got 32 million it's never necessary to keep a rifleman wait did I say that out loud oh in my opinion of course well it's a rifleman 3 <laughs> well let's see so now our well how come wait how come our monthly's going up I don't understand I thought we're getting rid of stuff aren't we all right Titan we'll clear that so we'll go over to the mech bay we can now drop out the Titan what's that even look like oh my god it is so boxy wow a lot of PPCs SRM 20 six medium lasers we'll sell the Titan we've got the Banshee we'll just drop that that's a PPC AC5 and a small laser go to the store and sell the chassis we've got the Titan 1.6 million 1.56 million for the Banshee now we're at 35 million <laughs> sea tank you see you were wondering why that's how all right how are we doing here so we've got sidewinder prime royal marauder part sun spider royal catapult tolson we could probably honestly we could probably finish those uh once 1.758 we got a heavy carrier i kind of want to hang on to the heavy carrier the longbow oh my god maybe the royal crockett will clear it's another 1 million the emperor will well you know what we'll just clear it that's fine i think what's how does this work with the finances i really ought to take a look at that it's like we're selling stuff and lightening up but it's still up i think i don't fully understand how it works yet we'll clear the tolson oh you know what it might be our components and things that we've got i'll have to adjust that so currently we're almost at 40 million <laughs> that's crazy so let's advance one because if it's going to end the flare-up it will do it on the Ready one even though we've got the finance port yeah i think it needs time to calculate uh okay hold i don't know who you are uh, neither do i neither do i okay so uh, my guess is we did not do it yet because it's still a two-point delta <laughs> how did that's fine that's fine if the Rimward World Republic wants to go at it, they can. All right. Well, that's funny. Well, bunnies, my God, we did quite a lot. We got a lot of loot. Dear God, I've never had so much money in my life. That's incredible. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. And the next stream, that's right. On the next stream, we're going to be trying to clean up this flare up, right? So bunnies, just to let you know, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. So actually, I'll, I'll bring this over here. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap up here, but I am going to take a, I am going to take an experimental lance into the Rattler fight. Um, I was going to do that on my own time, but I can kind of keep it running. But for the bunnies that can't stay, thank you so much because we are at time. We are at time. This is something that I, I wanted to test myself. So if you'd like to hang out, you can. Um, it's not going to be super thorough. It, it's not going to be anything like that. I just put something together with a save editor and I'm curious um what will happen so um if you gotta go i really really appreciate you hanging out we did quite a lot of that flare up i had no idea it can go up and down but apparently it can and there are some wonky things going on but we've been for sciencing it and kind of figuring things out as we go it definitely the rim world republic they've got quite a lot of tech available and they kind of gave it all to us <laughs> so i'm very excited there's actually only one super weapon we haven't gotten yet i don't even know what it's called so we've gone three out of the four so that's really really exciting uh the next time we'll be streaming is well other than 
just kind of the informal one afterwards. Uh, we're going to be streaming tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be trying to finish this flare up in theory. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to be to finish it because maybe we'll go up. Maybe we'll go down. Who knows? But um, I feel like we're much closer than that 50 point split when we started. So um, if you'd like to hang out, raid targets. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that's a good point. I can go over. We can do a raid. And then I'll drop everyone off and then I'll actually... How does that work? What happens if I start up another stream? <laughs> does that work? Because if I raid, then I don't know. How... Does anyone know? Because <laughs> I've never done that before. Yeah. NGNG. I love NGNG. Ooh, Bloody Doves on Battletech. Yep, that makes sense. Well, tell you what. Let's give Bloody Doves a raid. And then I will kind of start up another one but it's just going to be super short i don't and informal so all right so if you'd like to hang out until the end of the music we'll go and get bloody doves raid i had a total blast i hope you did as well and i'll catch you on the next one have a great one bunnies just a really basic simple weapon it's not complicated but it just it just does its thing and it's just it's just really fun to use and i like that i like weapons that are just like hey, you're here on this leaderboard awesome. Yeah, it just it's I, li I like those kinds of weapons. 